We're really professional. Jesus yeah. Yeah. So we like being professional with you guys. Thanks. Yep. It's five minutes late tonight, actually. That means we have to go five minutes longer at the end. Oh, fuck. My as soon as God. we're ready to stop, we have to not stop for five minutes. Christ. Nobody who's there is going to remember that. They might. And we can't let them down. I'm not going to remember it, though. So I'm going to be letting people down. Mm hmm. Yeah, for those who don't know, I spilled water right before we started, so I had to go clean that up. That's professional. That is actually the plot of uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Yeah? Is it? Yep. Really? Just float a float of the world. Yep. Aw, man, it's like the same thing happened with my half a cup of water. Exactly. It was actually some Mio. Oh, that shit stains. Yeah. It does. XXX Genesai, though. Thank you. And Soul Sweeper. Thank you. Did you and say genocide? El Panda Cat. Gen inside. Gen genocide. Oh, I thought it was ge oh, I thought it was genocide, and you were just saying it like genocide. I was like, what? No, no, no. And El Panda Cat and Trudy Senpai. Thank you. Oh, nice password, bro. Thanks. <laughs> it's very similar. I had some <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to. We have the same sound as last week. If you guys don't like Dodger making sounds, I'm sorry. You'll have to deal. I find it pretty creepy. Just I, I like it too, but some people might not appreciate <laughs> the weird-ass sound that comes out of her mouth when she does that. I have not, not heard balls. this. Oh, you're missing out. I just realized I don't have tabletop sim on this new computer either. It's, Luckily, it's not that big. Yeah, it's pretty small. But it's very unprofessional of you to be not ready for tonight. I know, just like we're all prepared to play The Witcher. Listen, we all know the rules that we didn't look up. <laughs> I should make our own rules as we go. That is impossible as it enforces rules. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. I'll mod the game. Oh, okay. And Lunantic and Yummy Bubbles, thank you. You know, speaking of bubbles, mm -hmm. that Trailer Park Boys show, is that actually good? Yes. Yeah? Well, I, I don't know. It's actually pretty, pretty good. That, I've never watched it. It has a lot of stoner culture in it. Oh, that And it's Canadian. Kind of show. But if you start watching it, it's, it, it can get pretty funny. Oh. Just because the relationships between all the characters is pretty silly. <laughs> I see. I need to poke my head in it one day just to see. But I'm probably yeah. never going to do it. Do it. Okay. To hide his, like, hashish bricks, he makes his, like, driveway out of it. <laughs> and they don't figure it out. It's pretty smart. And then, peop and then they end up start smoking his own driveway, and he's like, "Hey, yeah, quit that! I gotta sell that." <laughs> what? <laughs> they smoke a driveway? Well, okay. When when you process like weed into hash, it's it's like uh -huh. in a bricky form, and so to hide it, he made his driveway is from the hash, <laughs> so nobody would find it. It's like a stash, and then like him and his buddies keep smoking it. Well, he tried. Oh shit, yeah. this is, Tabletop Sim is made by Berserk Games? Yeah. Dude, they, like, I used to, like, oh my god. What? I, I, I knew them. From, when you uh, did Flash, Flash games. And, yeah, they, they made, like, really good Flash games. Oh. Like, really, really good ones. Well, I like, used to talk for, like, to some of them. They're really nice people. Each. Yeah. Now they stepped up the game. They did. Yeah. They evolved into Unity. They did. Yeah. Also, thank you, Kemlit and Dark Napoleon and Evermore Lost and Buck In and Booze. Appreciate it. So, um, do you want to do the stream video for a minute and then come back and not do sure. stream video? And Jam sure. Overlord, thank you. Okay, All yeah. Right. Let's do it yeah. then. It's okay. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Stop. Okay. Break. Bye. Yeah, um, I cut him off. I'm sorry.
That was about as beautiful as I remembered. Which was yesterday. Still good. You jerk. <laughs> Why am I a not jerk? You. Not you. Oh, okay. I'm not a, oh, shh. You guys never watched Cousin Skeeter? No. Ah, oh, dude. I missed out. That was pretty much the epitome of early 2000s. It's great. Man, you're being such a bitch right now. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> it comes Leave the right decks back. alone! It comes right back! You're creating chaos. Chaos is in two? Oh, dude, I have music playing now because I have that enabled and now I'm gonna oh put on God. this. I'll, I'll be right here. Fine. Ban you. Have we set the game to not Super Smash Brothers? Now you're purple. That's what you get. <laughs> What's yeah. up, Smash Brothers? What? Is that it, the OST we're going with? No, 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 no. no. I just don't know what game is set on the stream right now. Is it The Sims? Why would it be The Sims? Not The Sims! That's <laughs> talking about soundtrack. God, I swear you guys are doing things. Well, there's just so many games, like, we're talking about right now. I got a little confused, I'm sorry. I understand. Just but look, welcome to Late Night it. with Cran Russ. Hello, welcome to that. Welcome. Thank you for Featuring welcoming. Featuring Scott. Hello, welcome. Scott. Featuring hey, Snake. What's up? Featuring Cheyenne. There we go. I gotta hide this window, otherwise they'll Come see on. the password. That's a really good password. How did you figure this they out? Can hack into every single thing I own on the internet. I probably no, I got it right. I did it. <laughs> There's no game set. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm having espresso frozen yogurt right now. Got little, like espresso chips in it. God, it's so good. You're wrong. Yeah, it's really good. The Hagen Dazs coffee one. Yeah, I thought that too. I, really I love that one. I will set the game to not be no game right now. I'm so sorry. I think Apparently, that did it. The people are quiet. Oh, not again. Uh huh. Tabletop Simulator? Well, I guess that's the game we're playing. Alright. People are quiet, though? Apparently. Who, though? Which ones? I need these answers. Uh, Snake and Cheyenne, apparently. Snake and Cheyenne. Why is it you're, always you two? I know, it's... God. Somehow Cheyenne is always involved, one way or the other. Uh, Sorry. It's all your fault. All right. Hopefully you two are better now. Whenever you do talk, I will be on the side. Uh. Oh, we're missing a snake then. Yep. Leia bug, thank you, and Darukle, Jam Overlord, thank you. Did you update the game, by the way? Someone else they did. Would? They beat me okay. to it. Okay. I just didn't see it. I understand. My robot hand's ready for this shit, though. What the fuck is wrong with you? My robot hand? Yeah. Dude, I put my hand in a blender, and then it fucked up, and then I had to get a fixed new one with the robot. Duh. Oh yeah, the GIF audio is kinda low. I'll change that right now while we're waiting for Snake to join. What music is playing? Tristan. I wonder what happens if I use Cheat Engine and open this game. What can <laughs> I do with it? I have no idea. I'm gonna try it. It's on multiple on tables, like on top of each other. I think it should on be better now on that. <laughs> All these? Everything should be good audio-wise now. Should no more issues be happening. If there are, mm. then Aww. I was wrong. Testing. Hey. Hello. 
Welcome back. Hey. Okay, I'll take it. Were you having issues with something? More or less. Ah. Cool, man. That's me in high school. That is 852 cards. Damn it. Didn't work. I tried changing your name. Demon Healer MVM. Thank you very much. Also, you tried to change my name with... With the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think because it's online, I can't do it. Ah, I see. That works the Unity stuff? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're good to go then, if everyone's in here. Wait, Snake hasn't picked a color yet. And Gamer Gully thing, thank you. Aw, uh, that's a nice blue. That was my blue. That it was. Me. That was a very nice blue. <laughs> nice boobs. Thank you. Welcome. Alright. Um, should we roll a die to see who goes first? That was the youngest. The youngest? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I was making a mess on the table. I know, it's gross. They made, made a smiley face and shit. Yeah, let me get a die. Ugh. Figure that I out. Clean it, okay, god. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Alright, look. Wait. This is, my, this is my impression of Cry. Yes. And like, god damn it. Devon Shark, thank you. I was gonna go like, oh, god, it's water everywhere. Uh, I smell <laughs> it everywhere. Oh, thank you! But it's orange! <laughs> that oddball Favorite attack, color. thank you. <laughs> and Loon Soul, and Legendary Pascal, and Gay Sparkle Prince, and Sugar oh. High Fire Ass. No. Sugar what? High Fire 13 SS. Your name is very long. Appreciate what it. What even. Mm. What are those? I don't know, I'm hitting tab. The oh, fuck? Dude, whoa. Whoa! Dude, take caution over here. Watch out for the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> we can play League of Legends on this shit! Christ. That's they don't know how to get weird. to the spawn thingy. I don't know how to spawn things again. They changed things. I'm not sure. Here, I went last last time, I'll go first this time. Okay? That works. Oh. Here, let me deal some cards. Bucken is sub me, thank oh, you. Oh shit! Look at thank that. you. And Hootness. Alright, let's see. All right, no! Which pile do I take? My right art! Here? Black one. Okay. What's, what's the white one? It's uh, your ver or your nouns or whatever. Oh, right, right, I'm stupid. Okay. Wait, goddammit. <laughs> this did not work I... at all. Come on. Some of these are horrible. Alright. 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 What do we got? Uh, that's a good bullet. Zoom in. Thank you. Alright. When I am president of the United States, I will create the Department of. Mmm. Mmm. Now, now everyone's all. All of these are workers. terrible. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, nope, I'm gonna use. A, I'm gonna do a good one. I'm just gonna get rid of this card because I'm never gonna use it. Cause I don't even know what the fuck it is. Hey, you guys bitched me for doing that last time. Fuck You're you. welcome. Take it, Bubble Rapson. Thank you. I just got a card. That pertains only to Jund, so... Duckrius. Nice. My car can't wait to use to it. <clears throat> I am Jund. Matt, everybody? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Christ. Alrighty. Alright. <clears throat> Do it. I am President of the United States. I will create the Department of Full Frontal Movie. Nice. I can dig that. Here, here. Thanks there you me. go. He didn't fully... Alright. Alright, listen. When I'm create... not a perfectionist. When I create the... When I am president of the United States, I will create the Department of White Privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's a good one. <laughs> that's pretty. Wait, whoops. Oh. Alright. When I am president of the United States, I will create the Department of Swooping. What Goddamn the fuck is swooping? Just Alistair, don't worry about it. Uh, when I am president of the United States, I will create the Department of Actual. That's gotta be yours, Cry. No. Mine was swooping. Really? Really? That's yeah. a snake card if I have ever seen it. What is swooping? Swimming and pooping. Swimming and pooping? Yeah. Why have I never heard yeah. that? That sounds amazing! Thank <laughs> what? you. What is he Hold on. Sorry. It's unsanitary. What the fuck just went in my hand? Oh, um, this one. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to go with the white privilege, definitely. Yes! I, I just mean... noticed there was a dick on my thing, I'm sorry. 
No reason to apologize for the dicks. <laughs> Alright, do we go uh, left or right? Your turn, Cray. Alright. I'm gonna shake it up. Hey, there's some scrabbles under here. It's Jundus, if I've ever seen it. Ah, uh, Jundus, your scrabbles got everywhere. What is this? Hey. What, what, what do we do with this? Uh, uh, it's just discard pile. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, just hey. leave it. No matter, yeah. Damn it. Damn it. <coughs> Damn it. God. What is, what is wrong with all of you? Oh, fuck it. What's the latest bullshit okay. that is troubling this quaint fantasy town? Also, Cat Siza, Tori Loveroar, and someone else who's gonna pop up in a bit on this list. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm dumb, but I forgot. How do you rotate on the table? You and me. Okay. That is not working for me. <laughs> Hey, yo, this that one's mine. Don't look at it yet. Well, thank you, gay sparkle is friends. It? Move the subscriber animation. I can do that. Oh, is that everything? There's only two! No. You need double it! Not need, happy. Need another quarter. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me shake this up. Third up. Doing it. All right. Oh yeah, you draw a card. Uh. Katsumi Inuzagi. Thank you. Inuzuki. Inuzuka. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> What's the <sighs> What's the latest bullshit that is troubling this quaint fantasy town? Bowser's aching heart. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> What's the latest bullshit that's troubling this quaint fantasy town? A sad hand job. That's that's it. That's it's depressing. What's the latest bullshit that's troubling this quaint fantasy town? A for real lizard that spits blood from its eyes. It's a horny toad. <laughs> What's the latest bullshit that is troubling this quaint fantasy town? Hurricane. <laughs> Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a tragedy. <laughs> No. It's not supposed to be in a fantasy town now. Apparently cards against humanity. Fantasy town. Cards against fantasy. <laughs> and fuzzy kitten, thank you. What the shit? Why is my Q and E not working? And silent demon, thank you. Try to remember you... the basics of Q and E. <laughs> <Do you> have... <laughs> Are you holding the card when you're doing it? No. Uh, is uh, control and or shift or something held down right now? No. Then your shit's no. broken. Oh, 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 oh. All right, snake. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's... <laughs> I like the card I just got. I'm feeling fine, Scotty Dog. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Correct. Jealous or greedy, whatever. You want all those cards. That's already everything. Shit. Thank you, Tibbs. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's... Hillary Clinton's death stare. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's... Sweet, sweet vengeance. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's... Immaculate conception. <laughs> How does that even work? <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's... Elf cum. <laughs> Fuck. That should have been the quaint Fuck. fantasy town. Yeah, you're trying to get Hillary Clinton, aren't you? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> that's my boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Good man. Where are we playing? In like a fucking... Is this an alley? Fuck yeah, dude! This is where yeah. we Fox always play CODs! <laughs> this is right next to all the sword units. Oh god! This isn't oh, sword god. units at all! Oh dude, we're gonna get sunburns! Fuck this! Get out of here! I'm not. White people. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> All right, in its new tourism campaign, Detroit proudly proclaims that it is finally eliminated. Oh, God. Oh, no. 
now. <laughs> I don't agree with this. <laughs> I don't agree with what I just put down. Alright. new tourism campaign, Detroit proudly proclaims that it has finally eliminated a sassy black woman. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one. Has finally eliminated <laughs> drinking responsibly. It has finally eliminated a homoerotic volleyball montage. Or it has finally eliminated the gays. <laughs> God damn. Those two kind of go hand in hand, don't they? <laughs> Think of Tumblr. Don't do it. Oh! Why have I lost connection to the server? Oh, the card sucked. Yeah, I guess so. I could join her back in, right? Yeah. Thanks, so. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where is that? Why is it hard to f there it is. We gotta, we gotta hide it, otherwise they'll see it. And... Oh god, it's loading it all again. It's gross. I uh, wasted a sassy black woman. Which one won? <laughs> so did Detroit. <laughs> Thinking responsibly won. Oh, it did? Okay. Mine was the gaze, by the way. Mine was yeah, the erotic yeah. montage. <laughs> so I guess we both agree that Detroit hates the gaze. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Alright, let me know when you're, you're good. I'm good. Alright, time to do it. It's a twofer. Alright. Blank a slippery slope that leads to blank. You put Detroit in the gaze, it might work. Okay, so it's the... Alright, the second one will be on the bottom then, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It just got a very specific card. <laughs> Alright, so make sure Wait. not to mix up these cards. Yeah, the I'm not bottom looking. one? The bottom one is the second card. So it goes... Okay. When I pull it up, it'll be the first noun is the first card. Ah, sorry. What? Make sure not to combine Seriously. them. Don't combine your... Okay. Okay. All right. Here, let, let's uh, let's Here. put him in the space between me and Cry. Uh, okay. Don't stack on on accident. <clears throat> All right. I also don't agree with mine, but I like it anyway. Mine tells a story. I think it's pretty good. I just stole someone's <laughs> card. <laughs> <You're a dick. laughs> I'll still going or what? No, we're good. You're, we're good. you're good. Oh, okay. So, blank. Oh, let's, see. let's just take this one first. Uh, hold on. Let's move the card over there. That'd be easier. All right. So, my sex life is a slippery slope that leads to a fetus. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's as correct and. No, you shit. shuffled it. Ah. Oh god, I'll, we'll we'll tell you whoever it is. I'm guessing that one's yours then. <laughs> well, I'm. No, it's not mine. Is this right order or yes or no? No. It's oh, not. Okay. All right. Duck. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Coughing into a vagina is a slippery slope that leads to Italian. That is how Italians work. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. Hot pockets is a slippery slope that leads to literally <laughs> eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tweeting is the slippery slope that leads to flightless birds. <laughs> That's cute, but hot pockets. Yes! Are not, obviously. I knew it. Uh, God. I mean, hot pockets are amazing. Don't get me wrong. But mm -hmm. some of them aren't the best. You know what you're getting into. Exactly. 
All right, Zen, you're up. Ah, oh, save the Scooty card. It's time. <laughs> But before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you. Oh God! Oh, God. Damn it! I had a fucking perfect one. <laughs> there you go. Literally just my dick. Ah, uh, none of these are the best. But I'll try. Mine actually works. The Bond universe. <laughs> All right, go ahead and shuffle and you're done. But before I kill you, Mr. Bond... God damn it, why does it keep doing that? I must show you sharks with legs. Wow! <laughs> but before... Wait a minute. But before I kill you, Mr. Bond... I must show you on my computer. <laughs> God damn it! I don't know what I have. But before I kill you, Mr. Bond... I must show you... Casting magic missiles at a bully. What the fuck? <laughs> Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you historically black cards. <laughs> He's like, look at these black cards. <laughs> Can I go with this? Yes! Uh, oh, God. The most educational villain ever. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate history. Alright, good. Okay, here we go. I never, the, I never truly understood blank until I encountered blank. I feel like we've had this card before. Great, you already have three. Yeah. We have. Yeah. All right. <laughs> also, Firestorm Redux. Thank you very much. Oh, I should not look at the screen, right? Right. Alright, it's fine. Oh, look at chat. Hello, chat. Joe Hearthstone says, I can't. Okay. Uh, is there an anime deck of Cards Against Humanity cards? Probably. There's a fuck ton of everything for uh, tabletop simulators, so I'm sure there is. Or if not, there's probably one for the... Uh, what's the browser-based version of this? Uh, um, my name is Izzy or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. But I'm sure there probably is one there. We good? We good? Oh, shit. Um, yes. I know which one Cheyenne's now. Second time in a row, who cares? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> I never truly understood beefing over turf until I encountered Multiple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what a good start. That's a great one. <sighs> I never truly understood oh, exploding pigeons until I encountered having shotguns for legs. Jesus. <laughs> I never truly understood team building exercises until I encountered a windmill full of corpses. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. My bad. Take it. Alright. I never truly understood a hungry man frozen Christmas dinner for one until I encountered sexual humiliation. What, what the fuck? Oh, I get it. You have oh. to get those because you're okay. Good yeah, story. But I'm sorry, this one has to win them. absolutely. Yeah. That's like too Obviously. good. There's no way in hell. <laughs> good job. Fuck. I didn't get cards. Ah. Uh, What's just cheating? How many should we have? Seven, uh, seven I'll totally. What are we playing to this time? Uh, what was the normal one to play to? Six was the last time. Let's do seven. Okay. All right. Let's do it then. Six. Seven. Why do I hurt all over?
Uh, I don't think this this works out, but <laughs> makes me giggle, so I can only hope. I hope this one works out too. It's just true. It works so much better. I. Uh, it happens. What do I hurt all over? An outbreak of smallpox. That just makes sense. Yeah. Spending the year's insulin budget on Warhammer 40k figurines. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. Getting a <laughs> cube with a hot babe and pressing the transmute button. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> God damn <laughs> Too many smallpox involved. Some sort of illness or transmuting, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally understandable. Also, thank you, Ryukashin, Monochromic, Monochromatic Rainbow, and Six Isatis Nine. Thank you. Did I draw? Yeah, I did. What are you doing? What are I you want to doing? See what do you have? You just hover the mouse over it. No. I literally don't need to do no. anything but look. Like, like accurate representations. God damn it! Ugh, it's not stacking him. You broke my shit. Ugh, I'm so sick of these twos. If you can't handle blank, you'd better stay away from blank. Hmm. This is a good game. This is a good game. I like this game. We should have so many people watch us when we play. I don't know the why. The least Twitch-like related game ever. I know. It's weird. Mm. That's weird. Alright. We done? Uh, yeah, we are good to go. Assholes kind of put in <laughs> If you can't handle blank, if you can't handle a lifetime of sadness, you'd better stay away from my relationship status. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes and it's sad. Uh, if you can't handle another shitty year, you'd better stay away from the violation of our most basic human rights. If you can't handle fingering, You'd better stay away from unlocking a new sex position. <laughs> if you can't handle flying robots that kill people, you'd better stay away from crypto's <laughs> ashes. God. Alright, well, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. God, Snake, stop. GP Dealies, thank you very much. Oh, look at that card. I'm so amazing. Oh, dude. No, you. F oh, God. <laughs> I was so My proud! Lifetime achievement. <laughs> Your lifetime to this in tabletop simulator. <laughs> oh gosh. In the distant future future, historians will agree that blank That's marked nice. the beginning of the America's decline. Hmm. I give it to you. Here, you want this? You want this right here? Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, oh. no! It's ruined! <laughs> I don't even know what it was. I'm not even looking. It's ruined! God! Here. <laughs> Is it done? Um, no. That's two. Oh. Okay.
Can we get out of the fucking fields, by the way? There's like cows and shit. No, I like Will the smell. Are you baby? I don't like the smell. I remember Junt had one of these in his custom story, and I could see the watermark. Yep. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Boop. Okay. In the distant future, historians will agree that dropping a chandelier on your enemies and riding the rope up marked the beginning of the America of America's decline. In the distant future, historians will agree that eating all the cookies before the AIDS bake sale marked the beginning of America's decline. Fuck. In the distant future, historians will agree that fancy feasts marked the beginning of America's decline. <laughs> Those damn cats. Yeah. In the distant future, historians will agree that a really cool hat marked the beginning of America's decline. Fedoras. Oh man, you're pretty close. Someone shouldn't have eaten all the cookies. Uh, uh, <laughs> they were snakes. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then uh, your cards got stolen. Yeah, absolutely. Also, uh, W Strugger, thank you very much. And Coloster says, appreciate it. Oh, whoops. You're missing one. Yay. Alright, you're up. Oh. What? No! What? I do not know what weapons World War Three will be fought. Wait, I do not. Oh, I do not know with what weapons World War Three will be fought. But World War Four will be fought with the gaze. <laughs> hmm. God, always. Hey, anyway, I should give it to you. Here, don't look at it. I've seen people look at them. Don't do it. Not even when the turn is up to look at it. I like the one I just got. Brings back good memories. I'm holding on to like two poopy cards and I don't want to waste them on you guys because that's mean. Oh, Fancy so Feast was long. one of my poopy cards. Been uh, too specific. Right. <sighs> I do not know with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with. Whipping it out. Okay. Will be <laughs> fought with. A sweet spaceship, that's probably accurate, mm -hmm. <laughs> will be fought with unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. There would be no war then! <laughs> will be fought with. You can only fight war and with peace. And plot twist. I like Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> did you like their viral marketing ad where it gave the homeless it the food? I did. I saw that. It was good. It was delicious. You know what? I'm gonna pull my card now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the blind date was going horribly- God! Thank you. The blind date was going horribly until we discovered the sh our shared interest in... What? Also, I want Christ babies, thank you. You will not get them, though. Did what does it say? I want Christ babies. Uh, no. No, the card, asshole. <laughs> God, I do want Olive Garden now, though. Flap it. I just realized I just made mine like the beginning of a romantic comedy. God damn it. Oh, that's cute. Alright. <clears throat> the blind date was going horribly until we discovered our shared interest in the way white people is. <laughs> that's good. The blind date was going horribly until we discovered our shared interest in. No clothes on penis. <laughs> no clothes on penis and vagina. And that is just a good thing to have a shared interest in. Blend was going horribly until we discovered our shared interest in. Wait until. Mm. That just makes sense. <laughs> it's just like normal. No one is that interest. Okay, maybe people. The blend was going horribly until we discovered our shared interest in. Loading from a previous save. <laughs> I kind of like this one, just because blatant racism. <laughs> this one was second best, though. Go on. This one would never win. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Christ. 
Stop taking my goddamn <laughs> cards! <laughs> Give me a- It should be like part of the game too, just I have like a baseball stealing rule. <laughs> you you can steal them without they cards. noticing? This is only yeah. one, where'd my other two go? Are those- <laughs> Did... This is mine. Where'd my other this two go? I had three! Is there any Those are mine oh, then. Christ. God damn it! Oh, that works too. Oh, but no, that didn't, because I saw snakes. God damn it. These are yours. Thank you. It's not that hard. It's very hard. I'm God. very confused. It's just. Thieving is happening. Alright. Wait, God damn it. <laughs> Snake, you're up. What gets better with age? Hmm. You son of a bitch. Get right. Nope. Me first. No. <laughs> if you use my dick here, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> oh, okay. I won't use my dick. Mine is totally not related to your dick at all. What gets better with age? Being a motherfucking box. <laughs> God damn it, that's so snake pandering. <laughs> what gets better with age? Actually taking candy from a baby. Accurate. What gets better with age? Balls. <laughs> <laughs> What gets better with age? Blood farts. God. Christ. Yes, yeah, I knew it. I know. You That's why I did it. Box and snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you were up, Shane. A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with blank. Ah. Jack Mayhoff, thank you. Like the animation is so funny. A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with Ted Parent. Damn. Aww. Jesus. A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with a murder most foul. <laughs> a successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with jerking <laughs> off into a pool of children's tears. Or a successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with. Exchanging pleasantries. <laughs> well, that... <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? Ah, that one's clever. I like it. Who? Who was it? Who, who did it? Yeah. Apparently, you guys don't understand jerking off the children's tears. It's fair. Oh, well, I understand it. <laughs> All right, good. You're a buddy. Yeah, and I got this one last time. Hmm. Hmm. Russ, you're muted, by the way, in case you don't know. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought I, I didn't realize. Blank! High five, bro! <laughs> and then here's the joke I made. If you have Bazinga, you win. <laughs> God damn it. What was the Bazinga thing, anyway? Did you not watch it? I watched <laughs> it, I just don't understand it. It's fucking Bazinga. Oh, Bazinga, bro. Alright. Have you ever watched fucking The Nerd Show? I don't even know what it's called right now. Big Bang Theory? Oh, yeah. I've never actually watched it. it. It's it's like his fucking... I don't know, what is it? Catchphrase that he always fucking says. It's so fucking... just cringy to me. Oh, Christ. And so, somebody replaced all the, the textures and everything with it. It's great. <laughs> 
Good job. Eating a pizza and laying it in the street to gain health. High five, bro. Tentacle porn. High five, bro. <laughs> Chivalry. High five, That's bro. so you. Man meat. High five, bro. <laughs> I'm going with tentacle porn. Yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm sick of these fucking specific cards that I have. Right. So annoying. You are up then, Jund. Alright. <clears throat> As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without blank in his dressing room. Mm. <laughs> I like this card. <sighs> what? Damn it. Shuffle that one card. Yeah. Oh, this one Where's it gonna perfectly. go? Ah, oh, it's right there. As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without Glenn Beck catching his scrotum on a curtain hook in his dressing room. Ow. Won't perform without. A spontaneous conga line in his dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Won't perform without the Harlem Grove Globetrotters. The whole team. <laughs> Won't perform without a beached whale. Oh, I stinky. I gotta go with the conga line. Fuck yes. Ah, uh, dude, I'm on a roll tonight. I need you one more. Now. One more. All right. Uh, Y'all got seven. Yes. Yep. All right. Action stations, action stations, set condition one throughout the fleet to brace four. Action stations. Also, Atomic Threat, Connor 55 Commando, and Daydreamer. Thank you very much. And Black Laser Knight. All right, let's do this thing. <coughs> action stations, action stations. Sec mission one throughout the fleet. Embrace four. A magic hippie love cloud. <laughs> Just like old men with like military <laughs> uniforms not <laughs> understanding <Floating> magic <laughs> hippies. <laughs> action stations, action stations. Sec mission one throughout the fleet. Embrace four. Science. <laughs> Action stations, action stations. Second issue, one thread the flea. Embrace four. Hot people. Hmm. All right. And action stations, action stations. Second issue, one thread the fleet. Embrace four. Vikings. <laughs> I think I like the magic hippie love cloud. <laughs> it was just. It's a nebula, you know. It, yeah. Exactly. This what is not proper. <laughs> oh, was... you suck. <laughs> uh, the science was also good, though. <laughs> Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells the story about. Ah, oh, I just drew a good card. Uh. Oh well. Ah, some of... <sighs> some of these are good, some of them are like... Shit! Like this is Part like, is all close to being good enough, but I don't know which is better than the other. Oh Alright. I'm gonna put my faith oh. in this one. This one... Nope! What? Mine. Fucking <laughs> reject it. What? No! Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story about moderate to severe joint pain. It's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you about the arthritis. Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells the story about rubbing under the folds. Ew. Yeah, babe, thank you. Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells us a story about 
an alternate universe in which boxes, goddammit, store <laughs> things inside of people. Catering! <laughs> Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story about... Lordy. Yep. My god. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still making music while doing it. <laughs> With their brooms and their trash cans. Getting hilariously getting banged by the Blue Men crew. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Fair. God. Alright. Oh my god. Clean. Up. <laughs> hey, one. it's all stacked. Uh, that's close enough. Alright. TSA guidelines now prohibit blank on airplanes. Hit one. That worked out. Good. <laughs> Need one more. What? God damn it! It's mine. All right. TSA guidelines now prohibit an army of skeletons on airplanes. <laughs> TSA guidelines now prohibit making pe making the penises kiss on airplanes. TSA guidelines now prohibit temporary invincibility on airplanes. Damn. TSA guidelines now prohibit the Chinese gymnastics team on airplanes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Is that your final choice? No. Got here. Is that yours? Huh? Well, obviously I picked it. God. <laughs> <laughs> I should have picked it, everyone. I had better choice. All right. You're up, buddy. Oh, my. That's a long one. 2 a.m. in the city that never sleeps. The door swings open. She walks in, legs up to here. Something in her eyes tells me she's looking for blank. <laughs> 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 I have the trump card though, that's the thing. <laughs> Fine cheese. Oh, well you were slow. Alright, as I was saying, something in I tells me she's looking for Quickly a cheesing orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for the secret formula to ultimate female satisfaction. Nah, she's looking for a cop who's also a dog. <laughs> no wait, she was looking for Keanu Reeves. <laughs> He's just all so excellent. I know. But I'm going with Sweetly. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that sweet. was my Trump dog card! Oh, uh, it was a good one too. I know! But that last one just like ladies yeah. continue. Yeah. Orgasm. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely understandable. All right, you're a buddy. Oh, I'm also a buddy. Yep. That's how it is. You All both right. get to be buddy. Snake can be buddy too, and Shine you can be buddy buddy. This is oh, long end too. <clears throat> There's a three. Jesus. Oh, that's three. Holy shit. No. <laughs> wow. All right. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on, and there's some stuff about, and ends, and then it ends with. God, that's good so. Lord. Hang on. It opens I'm gonna go make some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually gonna work pretty good. Wait, that wasn't the right order. Okay. 
I would see this movie that I just created. Yeah, the one I just made is pretty good too. I'd say so. He's black card is this over here, <laughs> and your black cards are gone. God damn it! Seven. Oh, Cheyenne wins. All right. Are we good? No, wait, no. Don't look. Let me know. Two. Did you draw three? Yeah, you had to use three cards. You're supposed to draw two according to the card. What? Look at it. Read the card. Oh. Alright. Well, uh... Here you go. <laughs> eh. Alright. You good? Yep. No. Nope. All right. You guys, last night I saw this crazy. Oh movie. my god! Did I just Wait, not say no? It. We're not ready. Come on. Here. Hold on. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll mix them around so you don't know who's who. Okay, I got it. All right. Close your eyes. I am. Are you looking? Nope. All right. Don't look. Don't look. Are you looking? Nope. Now I'm looking. Okay. Don't look. Alright. It's not ready. Too bad. Alright. Don't look! Oh my god, this is so annoying. I hate threes. <laughs> I... I fucking... <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Let's just hope. Alright, yeah. Can I look? Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Alright. Even though we yeah. know that one's over there. It's... Obviously. I, need I saw go. this crazy Fuck. movie last night. It opens on what? It opens on waking up half naked in the Denny's parking lot. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. It does. That's how it, the movie opens up. Oh, I thought it meant that was like the opening date. Nope. Oh. Okay, okay <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. That'd be funny if we had date specific cards. Okay. It opens on, and then there's some stuff about Ronald Reagan, and it ends with the euphoric rush of strangling a drifter. All right. <laughs> That's kind of beautiful, man. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then there's some stuff about a kiss on the lips, and then it ends with a defective condom. God damn it. <laughs> That's okay, the garden cut. I'd watch that too. You guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on the hiccups, and then there's some stuff about a big black dick, and then it ends with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I saw this crazy movie last night. It opens on grave robbing, and then there's some stuff about a toxic family environment, and then it ends with black people. <laughs> oh man, I gotta go this one just for nothing at the end. Yeah. Mine could have been incredibly racist because I had the Underground Railroad in here too. Jesus. <laughs> so wait, do we really have only six cards on our hand though? I have seven because I didn't have. Well, you're supposed to draw two before you do it. Oh. Well, fuck that. Oh. We didn't do that right at all. No. Uh, the defective condom one. Arnold Schwarzenegger and everything. He accidentally took a card, by the way. John. Oh, wait. God damn it. Yeah, I have Ronald Reagan. I didn't do that. Get this out of here. This, this. I need a bridge. That was right next. <laughs> All right, Snake, you're up. Also, where's my cards? Is it? Are these them? Why am I up? Yeah, why are we skipping you? Oh, it's me. Wait, does, does Cheyenne have seven? I have six. Why? Oh, God damn it! Are, are, are six cards. of those mine? <laughs> Can I have those back, please? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where they went. <laughs> oh, there they are. They went to. Please see don't the take cows. my cards. God damn it! That's mine. There. Alright. Okay. Call the law God, offices of Goldstein so and Goldstein, of because no one should- this isn't multiple. Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein, because no one should have to tolerate blank in the workplace. Uh, oh, I, 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 wish, one before. I really wish yep. the Jews. Mm, 
Also, thank you, Secretive Wolf. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. He's very secretive about things. <coughs> Call the law of this is of Goldstein and Goldstein. Because no one should have to tolerate getting abducted by Peter Pan in the workplace. That would suck. Call the law of this is of Goldstein and Goldstein. Because no one should have to tolerate snapping turtle biting the tip of your penis in the workplace. Call the law of this is of Goldstein and Goldstein. Because no one should have to tolerate. Racially biased SAT questions in the workplace. And call the lobsters of Goldstein and Goldstein, because no one should have to tolerate firing a rifle into the air while balls deep in a squealing hog in the workplace. Or your <laughs> game no, freezing. Like, then lose. You should not have to tolerate your connection being lost to the server in the workplace. God damn it, really? Yeah, let me reconnect again. Those are all pretty mediocre, though. Kinda disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna lie. That one didn't have any, like... The setup is not that good. I There's know. nothing we can do about it. I know. Yeah. Oh, shit. I Orbit's also had happening. the Jews card, by the way, so... Did you really? Yeah. Oh my god. That would've been uh, so perfect. I'm looking for Russ on the list here. Just join off of Steam. Could I? Yeah, that's what I did. Huh. That might be a lot easier then, huh? Yep. Well, I should do that. I cannot do that. Really? I could. Mm. Oh, I can do that. And there we go. Okay. Showing game again. It's gotta load up the game. It won't take long, it's really short. What's wrong with my internet? Nothing's wrong with my internet, it's just the connection to this game. If something's wrong with my internet, then I would be dropping from everything. This is true. Yeah. This game is like Unity, and Unity is that Assassin's Creed game, which isn't very good. Yep. Yep. All right. Oops. So, um, uh, this one because it mess. it's like wait. You're not even. Yeah. You haven't picked a color yet. This idiot. one. I'm sorry. This one because it's like someone brought it into the office and it's bad. Yay. Yay. Uh, is it on? Yes. What? That? What? What is this one? What? What? What is this one? <laughs> what did that, come from? that is, We haven't even used that one. Oh. <laughs> what? <It> stays here. <laughs> All right. That's just we don't get to use it. Fuck it. All right. Good. Good hand, to everybody. I thought you had six. Why do you only have five now? Did he have six? I thought he only had five. I have six. Oh, is that the one you had? Uh, we haven't even played that oh, card. Oh, you mean those? No, I have five. Oh, okay. Oh, you should have six as in, uh, like, you should have seven uh, I have cards. Six in my hand. You should have seven. Think... Silly bean. Okay. What are my parents hiding from me? Hmm. Where did this come from? This one? Yes. That's my choice for your uh, life. Gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh. Coming in like an F-14 out of the side here. <laughs> what are my parents hiding from me? A box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure is inside the lid. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it. Wait. Inside, inside is, is hid. hid. Inside is hid. Yes. In interesting. Mm hmm. What are my parents hiding from me? The gulags. Damn. What are my parents hiding from me? I'm real thick. The taint. The grundle. The fleshy fun bridge. <laughs> what the fuck? Good God. <laughs> I'm so happy you read that. What are my parents hiding from me? 
a box that is conscious and wishes it weren't a box. That is no box of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the gulags, it's pretty dark. <laughs> nice. Alright, so since I'm uneducated, what is that? Isn't that the uh, Russian prison? That, like, it's, it's kind of like Rikers Island, if, in a sense. It's a really terrible place. The gulag? Yeah. Yes. It has oh, the name of, like, a fruit. <laughs> like, I could see a fruit being called a gulag. It's a... it was an agency. Like, uh -huh. like a... Kind of like KGB. <gasps> is it ISIS? Sort of, more like the SS. Ah. Uh, when I say ISIS, I, I mean the Archer ISIS, by the way. Oh. That, you yeah. know, the... Okay. Dying ISIS? No, the ISIS with the, uh, the Sterling Archer. I can't remember who... What, um, German... Or... Whatever group that ran the concentration camp, but that's like the Russian version of them. <clears throat> so not necessarily the SS, like the police, but whoever ran the concentration camps. Mm. Alright. Next from JK Rowling, Harry Potter, and the Chamber of... <laughs> I doubt this will win, but it, it's. I think it's a fun concept. Yeah, mine too. Go to your local market and ask the Russian produce worker for a gulag. That doesn't sound safe. Dude, there's frogs chirping outside my window. Too late in winter for that. Frogs chirping. Yeah, or croaking, whatever. My goodness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, the Gestapo. There we go. That's right. All right. <laughs> All right, Thanks, Russ. Bray. Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry or no, that was Christ Yeah, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Jews. Oh, that's great. After we talked about fuck concentration camps. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Axe Body Spray. You can't breathe. <laughs> Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of the Forbidden Fruit. It's delicious. JK Rowling, Harry Potter, and the Chamber of... Uh, <laughs> that's terrifying. just nightmares. That's terrifying, yeah. That's not funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. God, I hate that he's winning. No, thank you. Uh, I win, actually. That's seven. Yeah, you, you just made him win. Good job. That's, uh, that's my, that's my point. Complete, I hate that bias. I just made him win. Yay! Complete, complete bias. Complete bias. bias. <laughs> I win! Woo! I'm better than all of you! Woohoo! I like how the hey. writing stays. <laughs> hey, hey, look at this writing over here. <laughs> uh, all mine! <laughs> nice dick! And there's. <laughs> Into uh, the abyss of purple. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Good game, guys. That was fun. Good game. It was a terrible game. I had such shitty cards. You had one card win. I won. I had one. This is so disappointing. Yeah, it's the luck of the draw. Alright, so we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back with uh, Gender Bender, whatever the fuck Christ. it's called. And Russ is not excited for it one bit. Nope. Why should he be? Because he's not a fan of gender bending like I am. <laughs> Listen, I love Fiona. From... You love Fim Cry. No, no, no. Um, you know how like Fiona it's Finn cake. from Advent Adventure Time. There's like the female Fiona version of him. Cake. Yeah, cause she's an actual character. Yeah, I love it. It's so hot. Prince That's... Bubblegum, so dreamy. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Good break. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back, guys. And uh, yeah, break. Hi. Hello. Hello. You guys excited for this? No. No. Anything one? is better than what I just did. Oh, yeah. You're not happy at all because you had to pick up dog poop. Cute puke. I'm sorry. That's gross. 
same thing. Yeah. This game is gonna be good. You know? Shut the fuck up. It will be. You know? Yeah, you know. Hang on a second, I gotta update the thing. I know we're crying. Russ. And this game is called Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. And Penguin subscribed. Thank you. That's a resubscribe, I believe. God, this is gonna be bad. Alright. So. Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. No one else is excited to play this but me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, no problem. Nobody. Not I even really the stream watching. It, but I uh... want to play it so bad. All right. So there's an option. There, there's options between starting stories. We can be yeah. Sounds like a straw poll. Bree. No. We nope. Got, we. Well, actually. Just put. Just put the names. Don't even tell them what it is. Let's. Can I do that then? Well, I mean, if you have ones that you decide that you definitely don't want to do, like Cheyenne had suggested earlier, leave those out. But, but... just put the names up there. <sighs> Fuck. I'm so wanting to do that now, but I understand the reason not to do it. It's up to you, man. I think we're just going to go with Yale, you. but I want to show what the other ones are at least. So we're going to do Yale. Which features male to female protagonist, one female love interest, four endings, and breast expansion. There is also Brie, though, which is male to female, one and two female, one male and two female love interests, and eight endings. Uh, there's Lynn, which is male to female protagonist, extra transformations including mermaid, anthro, and animal ears, two female love interests, and eight endings. And there's Dinah, which is male to female protagonist. Extra transformations including breast expansion, cat girl, furry, snake girl, and slime girl, and three endings. Then there's Steph, which is female to male protagonist, both a male and female love interest, and five endings. Dan, which is male to female protagonist, both male and female love interest, and five endings. Zara, which is male to female protagonist, both male and female love interest, bunny girl, and furry transformations, and five endings. I would love to do that one. Are they all male to female? No, there's one of them, I think, that I noticed, at least, that was a female to male. Yeah, just that's, one of them. That's sexist. Well, they have 13 being uh, in the works, like, for total. And right now, there's only seven. So, maybe the other ones are that. Also, Obsidian Tooth and Rash Winter, thank you very much. But yeah, we're gonna be doing Yell, which uh, has boob expansion. That's cool, right? Right. Totally. Yeah. Let's fucking do it, man. Start. Can we play Corruption of Champions after this? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Alright, this is absolutely snake right here. Okay, class, settle down. Now that we've covered the majority of today's content, we'll be entering the lightning round. Failure to answer a question in the lightning round will result in immediate failure of this course. Yale. <laughs> I am Jesus Yale. Christ. I am this character. Um, yeah? What's the squared coefficient of the li- The ligated polypeptide. Holy shit. <laughs> In the adipose tissue of a common sloth. Um... Can- can you repeat the question? <laughs> I said, what is the squared coefficient of a ligand polypeptide in the ap adipose tissue of a common sloth? Also, one second. Snake, do you, is it weird to like snake sound like really shitty quality? He's fine. Really? He's fine right now, yeah. yeah. You might oh, hear him on okay. Skype for some reason. He doesn't. Oh, then I have no idea. Oh, whatever. Continue. Well, it's, uh... Wait a minute. Why the hell am I a girl? And what on earth am I wearing? Oh, I just noticed the clouds. This is a dream. Uh, Answer the question or you fail, Yale. Well, uh... Isn't the fact that I'm suddenly a girl more important than answering some silly question? 
It isn't important at all. The only important thing is the question. Now answer it or you fail. I'm so confused. I don't understand what's going on. For the record, it's not just me. People are healing. Yeah. Here today, they're saying being yeah. shitty quality. I hear him just I, fine, though. Me too. He sounds like almost no, like. No, he sounds like he's cutting out for me. Yeah, it sounds like it's cutting out like low bit rate and it's like it's too loud. Weird. But he's not actually too loud. It sounds like he's like yelling into his mic. It's weird. That's weird as hell. I don't know how we can be hearing I'll, different I'll, things. Yeah, like especially when I hear him and I'm streaming. Lowering this. him wouldn't help though. He would have to like be further away from the mic or something like that. Oh, then I have no idea. How am I now? Much better. Here. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, yeah, you are actually. That was perfect. Interesting. Also, I beat Bubble Men and ZG Unlimited. Thank you. <laughs> Did you say time's up yet yet or no? Um. You failed the university and whatnot. Oh no! No! <laughs> I I can't fail. This isn't fair. Put your Can hands I at least try another question? Nope. You only get one shot in the lightning round. Now get out of this class. No, I. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. I'm Thor. Ah! Well, what the hell is up with that dream? I was a girl with massive tits, and I was wearing the world's most ridiculous outfit? And ZG Unlimited subscribed? Damn! That's the last time I stay up until 3am reading that Valkyrie webcomic. Jesus Christ. Ugh, never doing that again. My name is Yale, and I'm 19 years old. I'm a university student, and apart from the crazy dreams, I'm a pretty average guy. I'm currently in my first year of university, and I'm studying for a science degree. I'm also single, and that kind of sucks, but overall, things in my life are pretty good. Well, guess I better head to class. No point in overthinking that dream any longer. It's 9 a.m., so we'll begin today's lecture. We'll be focusing today's lecture on the role of ribosomes. One of the subjects is... Actually, you get this, the the thing that has no anything, Jund. Oh, thanks. You, well, you, you'll get more, that, too. That's you, though. <laughs> I'm nothing. I have no soul. Yeah, you're that's having. you speaking, though. One of the subjects I'm studying... Wait, well, wait, I don't understand. It might be me speaking, but... That, that, that's you. This is, it's how, you speaking! How about, this, it. how about this is my inner voice as Jund? That's stupid as fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Fine! One of the subjects I'm studying this year in biochemistry. It's not a particularly difficult class, but the amount of homework we get is insane. I'm not exactly the best at keeping on top of my assignments. Oh well, I'm still managing to pass everything and that's all that matters. Uh. 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 And that concludes today's lecture. Make sure you do module questions three through seven tonight, as I'll be quizzing you on the answers in our next lecture. Failing to answer a question will result in a 1% demerit from your final grade. That will be all. That's terrible. Also, purse pony subscribed. Also, that lecture was quite possibly the most boring thing I'd ever sat through. I actually preferred the dream lecture I'd had this morning because I was Thor. Because that, at least, also was eventful. Holy shit. These tits, damn, yeah, I everywhere. Know. Wow. Well, that was awful. And I even have homework, too. It's like I'm in school. Like, it's such a waste of time. It's not like that stuff will be in the final exam anyway. It's just an excuse to make us show up for class. Ah, oh, well. At least that's all of today's lectures out of the way. I've got to make it through the work this afternoon, and I'm home free. Yay, work. That's always fun. One of my mandatory subjects this year is workplace studies, and it requires students to spend one afternoon a week in the workforce. We're meant to do that the entirety of our course in order to get a feel for the working world, because we're not going to actually get what we're trying to be in college for in the first place. We get paid minimum wage, and we mostly have to do entry-level jobs. It's a massive pain in the ass. 
For the past few weeks, I've been spending every Tuesday and Thursday working at Abaddon Laboratories, a scientific research firm located on the university campus. It's a research lab owned by some big drug company or something. That's probably how I'm going to be turned into a girl. They worked out a deal with the university to let them build their lab up there on the condition they take on student trainees every semester. And guess who was the lucky student that was chosen to work with them this semester? Mostly they make me do grunt work when I'm there. Like cleaning benches or putting away unused equipment. I even get to, I don't even get to touch any of the computers. It's like they think I'm an idiot or something. Or I'm not trained in this field at all. At least I'm Fuck. getting paid. That's, that's terrible. Holy shit, look at that freaking poster. Like usual, I made my way across the campus to the lab. I took my time getting there because I wasn't in any particular hurry to start working. Oh, that's definitely a junt. There you are. Yeah, wait, should I be should I be having voice mods for this? Nah, I didn't consider that. Fuck okay. that. There you are, Yale. You're late. Yeah, sorry about that, man. I'm taller than you. I know. You've been late an awful lot recently. Yeah, I just don't care. Don't let it happen again, okay? It's gonna. My supervisor is a tall guy named Lam Nissan. It's not his name at all. He's doing research on a bunch of diseases or something, but I'm not really sure what he's been doing. He could be researching male pattern baldness for all I know. I've been tuning out a lot. All I care is that I have to do this job for my degree, and then I'm getting paid for it. The fine details of everything else doesn't matter to me. Alright, that doesn't seem important at all. Like usual, I settled into my regular work schedule. Labeling test tubes, pushing buttons on machines. He said he didn't get to touch the computers. <laughs> Fucking liar. Nothing overly complicated. People would ask me to do something and then I'd do it. Simple as that. It was incredibly boring and I absolutely hated every single second of it. I tried to do as little work as possible so we didn't go insane from it all. I was cleaning up some beakers when I was approached by Liam again. For whatever reason. Everyone around me had started working really frantically, and they all had a determined look on their faces. It looked, shit like they... <laughs> it looked like I wasn't going to be able to coast today after all. Hey, Gale! Come here for a second. Uh, what are these? I need you to weigh out these tubes and then load them into the centrifuge for me. You need to make sure that both sides of the centrifuge have the same amount of weight on them, so you'll have to add a tube full of water to balance them out. Here comes a puzzle. Use these scales and let me know when you're finished so I can check them over before I start the machine. You got all that? Yeah, this is going to be an accident that's probably going to turn me into a girl. Yes, it is. Yep. Thanks. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask somebody. Enjoy the boobs. Thank you, man. More boring shit, though. It sucked that I kept being given all these useless jobs, but I guess I was expected. Uh, it was expected, I'm sorry. I wasn't an actual employee, I was just a kid here on work experience. This isn't actually an important job or anything. Should I really bother putting any effort into this? Shit employee. God, he, he just keeps falling asleep, he's narcoleptic. <laughs> it's not like they'll care whether I do a good job What's or anything. What's up with that mouth? I know, it's like he's trolling. I'm kind of tempted to not even bother with this. Uh, hmm. I should... I can tune out and half-ass my work, or focus on the task at hand like a responsible young adult. How about you not be a shitty employee for once? Yeah, I know, right? Actually, I better do this properly. The job might be boring, but I am getting paid to work here. It'd be really shitty if I got fired and had to take my work experience course again next year. Who knows where yep. this stupid university would end up sending me. I could end up working at a farm or something equally awful. Okay, let's do this. Despite my best intentions, things didn't work out that well. I suddenly had tits. After a few minutes of weighing out test tubes, I got really, really bored. So I loaded up some music on my phone and listened to it while I worked. My music was pretty distracting and I spent a fair bit of time shuffling through my song library instead of paying attention. But I was getting everything done. I was a bit worried I might have screwed up some of my measurements, but I managed to get everything weighed out and loaded it into the centrifuge by the time Liam got back. 
Sorry I took so long, Yale. Is the work finished? I don't see tits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me either. I must have did it ages ago. Good. You just give me a second to check it. Yeah, it seems fine to me. There's an even number of tubes on each side of the centrifuge, and it's not showing any balancing errors. Looks like we're finally ready to mix the reagents. Good work, Yale. Thanks, I'm gonna be like Teddy Spider-Man. Nice. You're free to have a short break if you'd like. Just be back here in 20 minutes. Uh, make 25, buddy. Oh, well, you weren't last time. Just keep an eye on your watch, okay? We'll have a lot of work to do today. Don't worry. I'll remember. Well, okay then. I'll trust you this time, Baka Senpai. Packed up my stuff and got ready to go outside. I figured I'd go sit under a tree or something for half an hour. Maybe I'd play. It's not half an hour. It's 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Holy he's shit! He's employ! My god. god! He's the worst! He's never gonna get hired. Maybe I'd play some games on my phone, like freaking that Elder Scrolls game from way back in the day. Timer on that. Yeah. They didn't need me here. And I didn't think Liam really cared all that much about me taking longer lunch breaks. What a dick! As I left the lab, I heard a whirr in the centrifuge starting up behind me. It was a big machine that made a lot of noise, and had given me a headache on numerous occasions in the past. Like usual, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that supposed to say, make it happen, and science in all caps? Sure does. <laughs> Is science? Hey, never mind. Whatever. Like usual, the machine rapidly became louder and louder, and the sound of everyone working in the lab was completely drowned out by its monstrous whirring noises. For some reason, the machine sounded even louder today. I could already feel my ears hurting, and I was halfway out of the lab. I was glad I wasn't standing next to it right now. As I reached for the exit door, I heard someone yelling at the top of their lungs. Titties! <laughs> then all of a sudden, there was a loud crash. <laughs> <laughs> Holder. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> it was a nuke! We made a nuke! A titty nuke! Oh my god, this is the shittiest game. And then there was titties. A huge wave of smoke completely engulfed me, covering my body and blocking my vision. A few seconds later. How much was this? How much was this? Twenty five dollars. <laughs> Skyrim is five dollars. Yep. A few seconds this later, better. I felt this. In they they had to pay the artist, dude. It's true. A few seconds later, I felt this incredibly strange sensation in my stomach. <laughs> it was like my body was on fire, and it was getting stronger with every passing second. The burning sensation ramped up my <laughs> intensity and spread throughout the rest of my body. Every part of my body hurt, but my crotch and chest were hurting the most. It felt like I was on fire down there, and my chest was aching like crazy, and there was a huge buildup of pressure forming inside my chest, like there was something inside of me trying to push itself outwards, like titties. <laughs> and the pain didn't stop there. My crotch began to hurt because it was turning inside out more and more, and I began to feel the strangest feeling. It was the opposite sensation to what I was experiencing <laughs> in my chest, as if parts of my body were being sucked <coughs> inwards rather than being pushed out. Look at that fucking face. <laughs> he doesn't have a neck anymore. My nipples also began throbbing with pain, and the pressure in my chest began to slowly subside as I felt my chest push outwards. The, my waist was stretching and pushing outwards as well, and my ribcage hurts like hell. The pain was worse than anything I'd ever experienced, and I couldn't even run away. I was immobilized. And that's <laughs> God. I was immobilized. The pain was so intense that I could barely bring myself to stand up, let alone move forward to some place safe where I couldn't be affected by this weird body changing smoke. It was a nuke. A <laughs> nuke of titty. After what felt like over an hour of agonizing pain, it finally began to dissipate. As I regained control of my body, I leant forward to catch my breath. But as I did, so, my hair dripped over my face. Which was weird, because my hair was normally short. Had the explosion made my hair longer like a Super Saiyan 3? But upon closer inspection, it became clear that my hair wasn't the only thing that had changed. What? 
Why is my voice so high? And why are my hands so small? They almost look like a goyle hands! Eh. A quick look confirmed the obvious. The balls were gone. For some ridiculous reason, <laughs> that explosion had turned me into a goyle. Holy carp! Boobs! Boobs! <laughs> I'm... I'm a goyle! But... Why? I didn't get it. This didn't make any sense at all. That was an explosion. A big, loud explosion with lots of smoke. And it kind of demolished half the lab. I'm sure lots of people are dead right now. It should have killed or wounded me. Not caused my gender to spontaneously switch. What the hell is going on? I oh god. To a cute girl with long, brown, and big tits on my chest. My body had become physically smaller. And I had big, curvy waist with a super smooth skin. On top of all that, I was barely fitting in my clothes anymore. I'm aroused. Mm-hmm. Already got my hands in my pockets all casual. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make sense. And I was pretty freaking freaked out right now and embarrassed. I was that lab looks... The lab it's is fine. Yeah, the lab <laughs> is entirely fine. <laughs> Absolutely fine right now. <laughs> uh... I was meant to be a guy, not some cute brunetti. I needed to undo this as soon as possible. I decided that I should find Liam or Derek, as they were the two head researchers here. Surely they wouldn't know what the heck had happened in that blast, and no way to change me back to normal. I mean, they were scientists, right? They had to know how to fix this. I tried to walk back into the lab to demand an explanation, but this proved more difficult than I initially anticipated because they're all dead inside. My shape had changed dramatically, and my sense of balance was completely different. I had difficulty even walking a few steps without losing my balance and having to grab onto something to steady myself. Like a dick. <laughs> You'd think that walking like a girl would be easy, but this sudden change in center of gravity had really thrown me. Walking back to the lab was almost a nightmare. But when I finally entered the lab, I noticed I wasn't alone in my ordeal. Oh, <gasps> everyone's got titties? Liam Senpai? Yes! Yes! All the people who had been men just moments before me transformed to voluptuous women. Not a single person was left unaffected. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so big. Look at them. Jesus. They're so big! <laughs> One of the girls was really short, but had enormous titties. And they were way out of proportion <laughs> with the rest of her body. At least they understand that. That's true. And another girl was short and cute but had bright green unnatural hair. They didn't look anything like normal hair should. Anime. This was not good. Everyone was panicking like crazy, myself included. But after a few moments of absolute chaos, one of the girls... One of the girls stood up and tried to restore order to the situation. Um... I don't know who this is. I don't know either. Um, Pretty sure that's you, Colonel. That's yeah. Liam? Alright. Everyone calm down! Man, my voice sounds so high pitched when I'm yelling. <laughs> Southern, <laughs> too? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we all need to take a deep breath and calm down. Clearly, something really freaking weird just happened. I think it was to do with the centrifuge, but I have no idea where the explosion placeholder came from, or why our genders suddenly switched. Whatever happened, we need to settle down and figure out what caused this. Screaming and running around won't help anything. Judging from her clothing, that's, I guess that... this mystery girl was Liam. Fuck my life. Keep going. But I couldn't be sure. Apart from the clothes being the same, her new form was completely unrecognizable. Is anyone hurt, apart from the gender swap, I mean? I'm still struggling to figure out what exactly caused this explosion, but I'm pretty confident it had something to do with the broken centrifuge dish fly- Fuck, it doesn't make it. it's just- well, it's a lie, keep going. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> but as to why that caused an explosion is anyone's guess. <laughs> Alright guys, you probably have no idea who I am, Baka. If you hadn't guessed already, it's me, Liam! I must admit, seeing myself- with seeing me turning into someone like this is probably pretty hard to believe, but it's really me, I promise. 
He's really level-headed right now for this. I know. Although you probably do believe me, because it looks like everyone else here was turned into a chick too. Wow, sexist. Anyway, I think we should survey the area for any damage first, just in case there's a risk of another blast. If anyone is- if everyone- blah, 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 then we should probably all reintroduce ourselves. I seriously don't know who any of you are, Baka. The explosion had damaged quite a lot of equipment <clears throat> in the lab, and there was still some smoke lingering around. But luckily an explosion hadn't caused any major or major Major's mask of structural damage to the building. It wasn't exactly ideal, but at least I didn't have to worry about the roof falling on me or anything. It didn't look like there was going to be a second explosion either. The centrifuge was completely broken, and there was pretty sure that it was was it triggered the blast in the first place. It was a fucking nuke. <laughs> it appeared that one of the giant spin discs from the centrifuge had fallen out of its casing, and when it hit the vent, it somehow exploded. They were still figuring out the details, but it appeared the area was safe. For now. I thought that the exploding centrifuge might have been my fault, as I had set up the moments before the explosion. But on the other hand, Liam had checked all my work before starting the machine, and said it all was perfectly fine. The centrifuge going haywire was probably due to an electrical fault or something. Tuning out while I'm weighing out a few test tubes shouldn't have caused something catastrophic to happen. While everyone was else surveyed the lab, I managed to find myself a pair of scissors. My fringe was way too long and was driving me crazy, so I decided I should do something about it. I gave myself a haircut. There, much better. There you go. I think I might leave the rest of that this length, though. Call me weird, but I'm beginning to kind of like having long hair. I like metal. I can't exactly say that about the rest of my changes, though. I don't like tits. <laughs> After having double-checked the lab to make sure there were no further explosions, we gathered in the middle of the lab to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Double-checking to make sure there are no explosions. <laughs> nope, no explosions here. All right. Um, hello. I'm, a uh, Yale. And the explosion turned me into a female as well. This is a support group? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Did, did my hair just immediately change? Uh, they- I guess you, like, put it behind your ears. Oh. Oh my god, she is adorable! God. Oh uh, god, um... Snake or Russ? Snake, Russ, or Cheyenne, if Cheyenne wants to get in on this shit. Cheyenne's actually a girl though, she needs to play a guy. Yeah, that's true. Playing. Russ doesn't want to know this. I understand. Snake. Snake, it's you then. I know, right? <laughs> Did you give him the kid's voice? <laughs> Is that what you're doing right now? So freaking cute. I'm doing it. God damn it. Uh, can I go sit down now? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Yale. Bye. I sat down and watched the rest of the girls reintroduce themselves. A few of them were pretty embarrassed about their new tits, so it took a while to get through everyone. It was pretty interesting, though. Some of the transformations were simply incredible. There were giant boobs and weird hair colors everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, most of, the lab so aware. <laughs> most of the lab victims had turned out really busty. I was glad I had managed to end up having relatively normal-sized tits. Interestingly, it turned out I didn't need my glasses anymore. The reason for this happening was just as bizarre as my sudden gender swap. But, so it's like, it is titted Spider-Man! It is. <laughs> it's great! But, at least I didn't have to worry about my glasses falling off my face anymore. According to everyone else, I looked super cute without my glasses. They just wouldn't shut up about it. And it was starting to piss me off. I should've got contacts, but I was too lazy. I know I looked cute and fluffy on the outside now, but I was still the same old Yale on the inside. However, I had to put my rage aside and focus on the task at hand. I wasn't the best scientist <clears throat> in the bunch, because I wasn't a fucking scientist at all. But I could help with basic stuff, and any work I did with the help of the other research could cure faster, could research cure faster. With that in mind, I tried my best to help out. But things didn't really work out that well. Pity man. Ow. Oh. Good god, they're huge. Um... Cheyenne? Ugh, are there no boys? N uh, at least not right now. Oh, yeah, whatever. 
Did you hurt yourself again? Yeah. Nice girl voice. That's a great Thanks, girl I've been working on it for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit shorter now. So I keep bumping into things because I misjudge distance with my breasts. I've hit my elbows in the cupboards at least a dozen times now. Oh, look at me squeezing my tits for you. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been trying to carry test tubes and stuff, but my boobs are so big and my frame is so small, I end up losing balance and falling over. And I'm even shorter than you are. Think about this, though. At least I have tits in this game. Those are not supported right now, either. So those probably hurt like a bitch. Boobs are so annoying. Jesus Christ. Tell me about it. <sighs> but hey, at least you look cute. Is this gay? I can't tell. Why do people, 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 why do people keep saying that? Ah, oh, so cute. I I order. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Today has got to be the worst day ever. Yep, pretty much. Do you think we're gonna be stuck like this? Yes. Oh. I really, really hope not. I don't think I could cope with this body for the rest of my life. Look at those tits. You could fucking cope. Yeah. So much free shit. And yeah. At least you don't have two massive melon boobs on your chest to worry about, though. I feel like the creator of this game was just jacking off the entire <laughs> time he was making it. <laughs> Oh, if I take a single step, it sets off a chain reaction of super boop jiggling. It throws me off balance and it makes me, or it makes it impossible to do anything. You should get a bra, dingus. At least you look cute. Obviously. I had that one coming. Bye. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get used to my new form. I was weak and girly now and I, that's really sexist. And I hated it, and I was desperate to get my old body back. <clears throat> However, the research team was working very quickly. Being turned into chicks didn't really seem to hinder their performance much, because that really shouldn't. And judging by the conversation fragments I was hearing here and there, it sounded like they were making great progress. After a few hours of cleaning, I was approached by Liam, and a lot of typing. I was hoping he'd finally found a way to get me out of this ridiculous body. Thanks for clean. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Do it! Christ. Uh, pride. Thanks for cleaning up, Yale Chan. Lab's looking great. You hate Can't it. Can't wait right for that now. audio. You, you hate it. I'm Ah, oh, I gotta get grumpy with you. Yale Chan! I hate my fucking life. Yeah, because you're so cute. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. What if I called you Linda? <laughs> cute names isn't fun. Cause Linda's not like a forty-year-old woman name. <laughs> I know. Actually, that might work. What? Oh, wait, wait. What? Linda? No, just Lynn. Has a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Well, I'm stuck in this body. Just call me Lynn. What? Why? Well, I hardly look like a Liam anymore, do I? I guess... Then Lynn it is! Anyway, Yale, you're free to head home now. The worst of the damage is cleaned up, of which there was none, so there's that much more you can really help me with here. But what about turning me back into a guy? Go fuck yourself. Oh. We're all gonna have an all-nighter. It's a sleepover. There's no way we're going to have a cure ready by the end of the day. It'll be ready tomorrow afternoon at the absolute earliest. Uh, uh what? What am I gonna do about tomorrow? I have a mandatory lectures I have to attend. I have to go to class looking like a girl. <laughs> Why not? It'll be fun. My ID won't work, you dummy. It won't be fun. It'll be horrible. Don't worry so much. It'll be fine. I'll just bring your lecturers and explain the situation to them. I'm sure they won't mind. This was an accident after all. 
like Hiroshima. No! <laughs> Alright, listen. Hiroshima would have been a lot less of a horrible tragedy if it was just If it just turned into everybody tits. into... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was just changed their gender, that's all. That would have been fine. <laughs> no! If anyone ever found out about this, I'd never hear the end of it! There's no way I could show my face in public ever again! Everyone would think I'm a freak and I would die from embarrassment. Liam, can you keep this a secret for me? Whatever happens, can you promise not to tell anyone that I'm a girl now? Lynn, not Liam. God, you... Shut up, Liam. Fine. Hey, you transphobic bitch. Sis scum. <laughs> Fine, Lynn. Can you please keep this a secret? I'll just skip lectures for a few days until you develop a cure. Wait, I'm not doing it right. You've got to promise you won't tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I have reported this incident to Abaddon Pharmaceuticals. Still, you know what Abaddon is? That's fucked up. But I'll make sure the general student body doesn't find out the details. That was like Abaddon. There's too much money involved anyway. Yeah, I think that's it actually, you're right. What do you mean there's too much money involved? Yeah, we just accidentally created an explosion that changed everyone's genders. If we can find a way to replicate this accident and sell it as a drug, goddamn, we can make millions of dollars. True. But you won't have to worry about any linked information about your gender swap getting out. Huh? Of course there's nothing stopping you from telling everyone, Baka. No! Wait, wait. So, they want to make a gender all. Side effects includes death. <laughs> yes, that is indeed it. I thought as much. Just keep a low profile file and you'll be fine. With that being said, you're going to have to Those attend class. Those angry faces. Mm, mad. What? Keep in class will just draw attention to yourself. I know the university here monitors attendance. Oh yeah, unlike every other real-life university. Hmm. Don't be that bad, just wear a hat or something and nobody will notice you after this exchange. <laughs> Apparently everyone's a fucking idiot. Excuse me? Have you seen these titties? How on earth am I gonna cover these up with a hat? Those are great New York boobs. No. Oh, they're not that big. Whoa! Damn! Damn! Tits still, suck. Oh yeah. <laughs> still feel pretty big to me. <laughs> Don't worry, nobody will notice. Trust me. You are literally insulting me. I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? There wouldn't be much gameplay if you did. Sorry, <laughs> Yale. There's nothing more I can do. Man, this sucks. Like me when I'm gonna go suck a dick. Everything about today sucks. <laughs> hey, at least you're cute. Yeah, because that's how girls should feel. At least mm -hmm. they're cute. Despite... This is like shallow this is the game. Yeah, it <laughs> really is, dude. <laughs> despite being dis wait, despite being discouraged and a little bit pissed off, I didn't really have any other option about then heading home. I was dreading going out to class tomorrow. But what could I do? This is a great game. Reluctantly. I left the lab and walked back to my apartment. As I walked, one major problem with my new body became apparent. When I walked up the stairs to my room, my breast started heaving around <laughs> like crazy under my shirt, and I had to readjust my balance to compensate. Not even gravity bouncing, just fucking going crazy. You know, at, the at that exact moment, I realized that I just walked the entire way back from the lab without trying to hide my appearance at all. I was dreading tomorrow so much that it hadn't even occurred to me. I was incredibly lucky that I didn't see anyone around at this time of night. If the long hair wasn't obvious enough, my jiggling titties were. That could have been really bad. What was I thinking? It's okay though, I got away with it this time. But if I'm gonna go to class tomorrow, I need duct tape. I guess I could cut my hair? Nah, it'd be such a shame. I'll think of something tomorrow. I hope. Why would you not cut your hair? You literally say you hate this, so just cut your hair. <sighs> I was
was You're attached. I guess so. Like, so soon. <laughs> I was really haunted by my own thoughts that night. What would happen if I was stuck like this forever? What would my friends and family think? They would disown me, right? Well, would I get used to this? Or would I feel uncomfortable and embarrassed for the rest of my life? I just wanted to get back to normal and put this chapter of my life behind me. It's terrible. I didn't feel any better the following morning either. Nothing miraculous had happened and I was still in the body of a curvy teenage girl. As depressed as I was, I had to go to class this morning. It was the only way to keep my body, my new body secret. But if I was going to go to class, I needed some way to hide the fact that I had transformed into a girl. Hmm. Oh, this might work. I ended up grabbing an old t-shirt, tying it around my chest. It flattened my titties, and I made them less noticeable. But it was really uncomfortable. On top of that, there was a, still a slight bulge in my clothing. But it was a start. Once again, I contemplated chopping my hair off, but eventually decided against it. I didn't like the short hair on girls. <laughs> That's superficial. And wow. the off chance I was stuck like this, I'd at least have... I'd, wait, I'd at least like to look good. <laughs> what a dick! It was better than to be an attractive... Seriously, is shallow in this the game. It really is. It was better to be an attractive girl than an unattractive one, I Clearly guess. Clearly made Holy by a dude. Holy shit. Clearly made by a dude Jack in the yep, entire time. Absolutely. Man, that sounded weird. That sounded like an asshole. I decided to wear one of my hoodies over my regular clothes. If I kept the hood up, then nobody would notice that my hair was longer. And it was loose enough on my body that it helped hide all my new curves. Did I just realize that we're making this game popular and it's probably going to be on like feminist blogs in like five days and everyone's going to like boycott it. Good. Despite no one actually buying it. Good. Uh, first of all, yeah, this, he's the only person to give this person money. <laughs> no, there's That's a few true. reviews actually. So, some people have. They didn't, they didn't play it. <laughs> they just bought it. I put my own glasses on as well. Even though my essay was perfect now thanks to my only positive aspect of my transformation. I didn't want anyone at university to question my I wasn't wearing glasses anymore. All in all, I say I did a pretty good job. I wouldn't pass any close inspections, inspections. But to the average person, I looked like the same old Yale I'd always been. I always get away with this after all. I might just get away with this after all. I, I wonder if any all. silly shenanigans are gonna happen where they find out that he's a girl. I know, right? With that in mind, I grabbed my laptop and headed to class. Okay, hold on. These people are saying that this game got $27,000 on Indiegogo. Really? The lot of horny weeaboos, I guess. How were they not able to pay for a better game? There's literally a thing that said placeholder. Yeah, true. Well, it's an early access game still. Oh, four people donated 2500 each. Apparently, Holy this is like shit. four super weebs. There's four, like, there's really, really fetish enthusiast rich people. I almost yep. instantly began to have second thoughts. Maybe I should have gotten that haircut after all. I can barely see with this hair in my eyes. It was incredibly obvious that I was hiding something. Not a dick. I was walking funny and my face was flushed bright red. I sit out like a sore thumb. I was wearing a hoodie in the middle of summer for crying out loud. The t-shirt tying back my breast didn't seem to help all that much either. Although my titties were so obvious, they still wobbled underneath my hoodie with every step I took, every breath I took, and my hips were swaying uncontrollably I'm watching my titties. As my nipples rubbed against my hoodie. Holy <laughs> shit! I started to feel a moist sensation. Holy! Okay, all right. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. We can't. We can't do this anymore now. Well, um, we gotta stop. Um. Um. Are there rules against this? I, I hope to God there's a fucking admin in this goddamn Twitch I chat. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> I have no idea where to go from here. You get for more. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, it seems like he's trying to make this pass, so maybe this is just like a one-line thing. Maybe it's, maybe it's okay. I let's think... let's let's tread on carefully. This is a two-strike right. game. This right. is one. If this is a one strike. strike. If there's a second strike, okay. <sighs> if an admin's watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't expect this. I just expected titties, not Niagara Falls. <laughs> 
As uh, my nipples rubbed against my hoodie, I started to feel a moist sensation build up in my crotch. I knew what was happening, but I needed to get my, to my lecture and calm down as soon as possible before things got out of hand. I tried walking faster, but that only made things worse. My jiggling breasts increased their rhythm, and it turned me... Alright, well, we're done here. Dead. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we, we don't feel like getting banned from Twitch. <laughs> Good God. Alright. That... Glad you joined us this far. Yeah. I want your money back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is gender bender DNA twister extreme. <laughs> Maybe we should have gotten the just DNA twister version instead of extreme. God damn, dude. Well, um, if you guys want it, it's like twenty five bucks on Steam. <laughs> Go and get it yourself. I'll be playing this later alone. God damn it. <laughs> this is like the most viewers we've ever had ever. I know. Holy shit, dude. All right, we, we can't keep playing this, though. We're no. going to get banned. So someone isn't going to report us. Yeah, absolutely. God. All right. Well, I think we need to just take Thanks. a break and come back with something that's not going to get us banned. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... All right, we'll, uh, we'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Y'all uh, excited to be back in your normal bodies? Yeah. 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 I never left, so. Oh. I was always a girl. Oh. Lucky. I do miss the tits. I understand. The, yep, I understand that. I miss my green hair. <laughs> it was nice green hair. I understand that as well. <sighs> Got turned on just walking to the university. Christ, is that I know. Normal? Like, is, no. that a, is that a thing females face? Every Nobody day has treacherous lives. that hypersensitive of tits. No woman. What about the hentais? When you just touch the lady's booby, just milk comes out for no reason, and then suddenly she's <laughs> moaning everywhere, and then the, like the the world around her is just sparkly and gauze and blur. Unless you're playing one of those meat and fuck games, then you have to like touch her leg like six times. <laughs> right. And then no, her, it's then the her... left one first, then the right. Oh one. right. Yeah. If you do mix up the orders, don't touch me there. <laughs> and then she's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you did it. Thank you. <laughs> and then don't touch me there. Don't do it. Oh, sorry, That's sorry. So weird, let, let me let, let me poke your thumb. Oh yeah. <laughs> poke your thumb. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. During that, we got a fuck ton of subscribers, by the way. Purse <laughs> ponies, shadow power sixty nine, tripping bear, one iros twenty seven, DVD lesher, habath laugh. Morse Mode, The Real Cheyenne, Sincerely Liss, Cat Naros, and Extraxer. Thank you very much. The only person I know from that list is Extraxer, though. Mm. Good people. Good people. And there's Kanye. <laughs> Alright. So, what we're doing next is something that none of us know how to play. That is why we're all going to learn it together through the tutorial video. So, this should be interesting to see how this goes. Probably. Probably. Do y'all have the video buffered up so you can watch it together or no? Oh. Yes. Okay. How about you, Jund? Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't think he's there. Shit. Well, we tried. I guess the game's over now, because we need him to learn, too, because we need him for the fourth, because he actually has right. the game. Does it not have in-game runes? What is this? It does. It's just, if you haven't looked at any of the rules or tutorial stuff, it's pretty weird. This is very... I have no idea what's going on. 
So, yeah. We're just kind of waiting for Jen to get back then. You what are just... you talking about? I'm here. Oh, hi. You weren't responding. Oh, I didn't know you were talking to me. Oh. I want to go brush your teeth. Oh. Jen, do you have the video loaded up and buffered so we can watch it together? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, cool. So, we're going to watch this video together, and we're going to learn how to play this game. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, go. Triggered. <laughs> God damn it. All right. How do we play? The Witcher Adventure Game is a game of mystery, danger, and questing for two to four players. Take the role of one of four beloved characters and it's the from the best-selling novels it is, and yeah. award-winning <laughs> video games. <laughs> Y'all travel the world, braving vicious, bloodthirsty monsters and gold-grubbing men. Unravel webs of deceit and solve problems both royal and rural, magic and seemingly mundane, to complete various quests around the Witcher's world. As you play, y'all craft a story of your adventures, complete with side quests and surprising twists. Will you be able to uncover the most valuable information and have a greater impact on the world of the Witcher than your opponents? In the Witcher adventure game, two to four heroes race to complete quests and earn victory points. To do so, they battle monsters and draw cards presenting them with obstacles and opportunities. They are able to help and hinder each other in their quests, but when the game ends, the hero with the most victory points a measure of great feats performed and glory gained is crowned the sole victor. Hey, I already lost. Very pretty, though. Geralt of Rivia, Monster Slayer, Triss Merigold, Cunning Sorceress, Yarpin Zigrin, Dwarven Warrior, and Dandelion, Roguish Bard. Players assume the roles of these four distinct characters from the Witcher franchise. Do you demonstrate your physical strength, conjure a powerful spell, or try your hand at diplomacy? Each character has unique skills and multiple ways of overcoming obstacles. But you must decide which approach to take each time you play. As Geralt, you can bring enemies around to your point of view with a sword, or, as Dandelion, bribe them with gold and threaten to call on powerful friends. If a situation calls for strength in numbers, Yarpen has his own fellowship of dwarves at his command, and Triss can rely on her expert magical skills to protect her. Each of the four characters has their own skill set, so you'll experience the world of the Witcher differently depending on which character you choose to play. Their individual strengths are represented on their own custom dice. Triss, for example, comes with a die that allows her to cast spells in battle, while Geralt's dice focus on brute force. Combined with each hero's own dice, the battle dice give all characters the potential to defeat any creature that stands in their path. Each character also has his own deck of development cards. So each time you play, you Just can explore different strategies. Cards properly. For example, when playing yes. as Geralt of Rivia, you can specialize in brewing and using combat potions or focus on casting Did powerful you use potions signs. to be a litterer? Yeah. I know that reference. Performing actions is the primary means by which heroes travel around the world, investigate possible leads, and complete quests. To perform an action, the hero takes one of his action tokens and places it in an open <laughs> action really space nice on his hero sheet. Then he executes the action as described. To travel, the player moves his hero figure along one or two routes. He places his figure in one of the open spaces at the destination location and receives lead tokens matching the number and one of the colors shown in his space. To investigate, the player chooses any one investigation deck, draws its top card, 
reads the text aloud and resolves its effects. Investigating yields various types of encounters, including battles and gaining leads. To develop, the player draws the top two cards of his development deck and chooses one to keep, placing it face up near his hero sheet. Then he places the other card face down at the bottom of his development deck. I'm gonna forget that. It's gonna automatically To die. rest, the okay. player removes either two minor wound tokens or one severe wound token from his hero sheet. Each hero also has a special action shown on his hero sheet. These actions are unique to each individual hero. Geralt can brew a potion for later. Triss is able to prepare her spells for future use. Dandelion can sing a far-fetched tale to earn a few coins. And Yarpen is ready to command his band of companions to assist him in various ways. Action spaces can contain either an action token or a wound token. An action space is open if it does not contain a token. Conversely, an action space is occupied if it contains one of these tokens. There are two different types of wounds, minor wounds and severe wounds. Each wound token is double-sided, with each type of wound shown on one of the sides. When a hero suffers a wound, he places the wound token on an open, woundable space on his hero sheet, with the appropriate side up. While a wound token occupies an action space, the hero cannot place his action token in that action space, thus preventing the hero from performing that action. A hero can remove wounds from his hero sheet in several ways, including performing the rest action, entering a location with a heart icon, and some other card effects. The wounds are bad, don't get them. Right. Back there are three so types of quest cards. Combat, magic, and diplomacy. Each hero can only draw from the deck indicated on his hero sheet. Some quests require gold or proof tokens. Some require fighting battles, and others require various miscellaneous tasks. One quest card is kept face up at all times. This card shows the main quest, side quest, and support objectives for the player's current quest, and its consequences, good and bad, of completing them. The main quest is described on top of the quest card. To complete it, you must acquire proof tokens, usually by exchanging lead tokens. These can be had by traveling or by using the investigate action to draw a card and resolve its effects. Leads can be exchanged for proof tokens according to the exchange rate listed on each hero sheet. For example, to complete the main quest on the Crow Pass red quest card, a player must acquire two red proof tokens, travel to Tretagore, and slay an overgrown wyvern. A player can complete the quest only if he is currently in the main quest location. Side quests earn you additional VP at the cost of extra resources or visiting an additional location. For example, the side quests for the Crow Pass quest require that the hero travel to Maribor to obtain a protective ointment and spend four gold tokens to pay some peasants for their help. Then the player places common markers on the bottom of the quest card to indicate that the quests have been completed. Support quests are a bit different. They can only be completed by other players, yielding VP for both players involved. When a hero completes any quest, be it main quest, side quest, or support, he immediately scores the VP for this quest, and then, in the case of the main quest, he resolves its consequences. In the Crow Pass quest example, Geralt would receive 8 VP for completing the main quest. Geralt adds the VP for the completed quests to his score and moves his marker along the victory track. Next, he must resolve the consequences of completing the quest. In this case, Geralt receives one good fortune card and two gold. But the beast's venom leaves him wounded, so he will most likely have to rest during the following turn. Finally, he draws the two top quest cards from his hero's quest deck and chooses one to keep as his new quest, returning the other. I can 
kind of understand it so far. Yeah, it's yeah, not too complicated. It's a lot of character development. Yeah. yeah. Just a lot of choices. Though. Like, there's a lot After to take a in, but it's not his two that actions, bad. He checks the obstacle zones on the side of the board to see if there are any obstacles in his region. If there is an obstacle in his region, he must deal with it. Along their journey, our heroes will encounter various obstacles. One of them is Foul Fate. Foul Fate tokens can appear on hero sheets as well as in obstacle zones. While occupying a Foul Fate space on a hero sheet, the token affects the adjacent action space to the right. If a hero performs that action, he discards the token and resolves one Foul Fate card. Foul Fate tokens in an obstacle zone affect the corresponding region. So if there is a Foul Fate token in his region at the end of his turn, the player must resolve one Foul Fate card. He must oh, also sucks. resolve a Foul Fate card if he moves along two routes. Monsters are another type of obstacle. Certain game effects spawn monsters on the board face down. Each obstacle zone can contain any number of monster tokens. When a hero encounters a face-down monster token, he flips it face up to discover which monster he will fight against in battle. If the hero defeats the monster, it is removed from the board and returned to the bottom of its stack. If the hero does not defeat the monster, then its token remains face up in its current obstacle zone. So it's like a world boss that's Battles saved. occur oh, okay. when the hero encounters an enemy which can appear as an effect on an investigation card, one of the quests on a quest card, or a monster encounter. To fight a battle, the hero first resolves any before rolling effects. Then he takes the battle dice along with his hero dice and rolls them. He totals the number of each symbol rolled, adjusts for any modifiers used, and then resolves the battle's outcome. Geralt encounters a siren. Then, he rolls the three white battle dice along with his three red hero dice. He obtains the following results. Three swords, one shield, one witcher sign, and one dodge. Garrod spends the witcher sign result to trigger the effect on his R development card, which causes each sword symbol to produce one extra sword result. He also spends one dodge, which subtracts one sword result and adds one shield result. After adjusting for these modifications, his final results are five swords and two shields, just enough to succeed against the Siren in both attack and defense. He did not fail his defense, so he ignores that effect. Then, because his attack was successful, he defeats the Siren. He adds the VP gain to his total, removes the Siren from the board, and places it at the bottom of the silver monster stack. But if you don't defeat it, does it stay? When a player completes his uh, third quest, the remaining I players think so, each and have one more turn, you do after the bad which stuff on the, the game ends. The player with the most victory points wins the game. I think that means it's it, because it's all dramatic right now. Yep. Well, it's dramatic as fuck. The Witcher yeah, is a good. game offering yep. unique experience. All right, I get it. We get it, guy. Thank you. Thank you for your input. Shut up. All right, cool. So that's uh, that's how you play. You probably don't understand how to play. We don't really either. Um, we got a general idea, but this will be our first time, so it should be something. And we'll definitely understand it more as we go along, I'm sure. So if this is something you'd like to check it out, then uh, feel free. If not, then, uh, that sucks. And I'll catch you later. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna try this game out. If that's okay. Uh, so. Let's try this. I made a, uh, uh man also gets game. it, by the way, if we need to help. You made a game? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna hide this really quick to put the code in. Uh, gotta give me the game name. There you go. Oh, right, I can't talk in TeamSpeak because I'm not an admin. God damn it. Uh, you can put it in the other chat. Oh, right. Here you go. Oh, thanks. It's a good name. Thanks. Uh, 
Alright, I'll wait until everyone's joined before, uh... Whatever you do, call it. Show the screen again. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. And just need snake. <clears throat> I think this will be a fun time. Don't you? Yes. It'll be a learning experience, that's for sure. It will be. I think, see, these these kind of games are fun. It's just they're hard to get into. But once you get into them, I'm sure it'll be fun. You probably, it's probably enjoyable, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that one game that we played when we, before Tabletop Simulator, there was that other game. You know I know what you're one? talking about. Yeah, that was like kind of difficult, but it was fun. It was edgy. Yeah. Roll the dice, I get that. Okay. Roll the dice. I did a 15. I got a 10. Right. 12. Make other players a roll. Okay, I gotta choose my character. Oh, Snake got last. Right. Why has he got a 103 and you still had the 565 and I don't get it? <laughs> what the fuck? I am going to be Triss. No! What, you wanted to be Triss? Triss. Like he wants heads. the magic mizzle. Uh, yeah. You just wanted because you literally like the sex scene with Triss. Mm -hmm. Alright. And I know Russ wants Yarpin. So, Yarp. Obviously, Snake should get Dandelion. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey, Triss. Yarp. We're gonna bang later, right? We sure are. Yeah. What are we doing? Are we doing a 10 or 40 uh, minute? I did the 40 and 70. I did the default right. one, yeah. Choosing. <laughs> Choosing the one it, character. It picks abstain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Go, Geralte of Rivera. Dude. All right. I gotta select my quest. Let's see. Find a smith There's willing to make a special weapon, but he requires many exotic ingredients. Or. Retrieve a white rose from the ruins of Sheroaldoval, one of the most beautiful city, once the most beautiful city of the Ain Sade. Hmm. The end shade. Well, to L2 Litcher Litcher lore. God damn it. Fuck it. I'm going to do this one because it makes me a sword that I'm not really getting, but it's cool looking. You gotta defend a, my, defeat a monster. I do. I also gotta go to Machain. Mach 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 comes all the way down there. Shit. Alright, well. Get the moving. Yep, bad. Trap. Wait, what's fast travel do exactly? There's like a skull next uh, to it. Um, mm, I think it's one of those foul fate things. Oh, nope. Fuck that shit. Also, thank you, Kakuna's favorite iridescent brook and mellow reaper. Alright, I'll just do normal travel for now. Yeah, because I can only go one way for now. Yeah, I made it over here. Um, this part still kind of confuses me a little bit. But, oh wait, that would be that. Give me red. Oh, when you zoom in, you can hear the rain. Yeah. Eh? Oh, that's it's cool. It's over Vinnerberg. That's cool. I like that. Can it, is there like snow area somewhere? No, there's not. Above. Yeah. Oh, is there? There is up top. Where you're at? Yeah, it's all windy. Oh. How do you zoom? Oh, yeah. oh we can't tell you. Get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I can develop or investigate. I don't really need to investigate here. You better develop your backstory. Yeah. <laughs> try to, okay, try to do the development cards. Let's see. A survey battle. I may spend one that from this card and roll an Ember battle. This is like a Civ 5 or board games. I know. I kind of like it, though. Let's survey battle. You may suffer one. That's like. Fucking berserker mode. Fuck yeah. Alright. Witcher's only, gear. I, I have no real obstacle, so I'm good. Oh wait. Oh, so it draws a monster randomly. That's the result. I guess so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anyway. Oh, Nilfgaard, yeah! Before rolling, advance the war track. Successful... I... What? Successful... Weapon receive one VP failed. Oh, if I'm successful on the the attack, I receive one VP, and if I fail, I suffer one. Okay. All right. I'll do it. I don't know what the war track part meant though. 
obstacle phase. All right. My dice is everywhere right now. I only have two of those. I need one more. So, use this. Yep. I hurt myself. At least took it on an action. What? <laughs> sure, I'll place it on Brew? Oh, one thing that I can't use now. Okay, right. So I put the... Right. Okay, yeah. Now you can't so... brew until you rest or something or undo that. Yep, but now I have... Uh... I have three. Wait. Aren't you yeah, done? Yeah. No, I gotta slide them on him. It's weird. Can I just throw another fourth one? No, I can't. Alright, drag and drop the symbols, and congratulations, you're done. Yeah! Side quest completed. Yeah, I did it! I got a VP! End turn. I hurt myself a little bit, and I can't brew potions right now, but what I'll. What stops live. you from just continually, like, doing shit? There's, there's just there's a limit. You can only have two okay. actions. There's yeah, there's a like a steps you're going through to do each thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think you only have two like uh, action moves you can do like traveling and investigating or traveling to develop etc. I should have put the defense dice up first. What does that mean? Why? Because then you probably wouldn't have taken the damage or something. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. I I'm not entirely sure. Game's been out what two days so far. I think mm. so. so next time you can put the defense up first and roll again so you won't if you don't have enough attack. I didn't have to I didn't roll again though. All I did was use that thing and it, I just had to hurt myself to get more um more uh stuff. I I hurt myself for one damage and get two attack swords. That's all that card did. So I can mm. see that you drew a little siren. You performed develop. And now you're thinking about things. You're thinking about Geralt, aren't you? You miss him. It says when you perform a, a, a prepare action, place one additional triangle or like square symbol on the chosen spell card. I don't know what that means. Also, what the hell is the war track? That part I don't know. I saw the war track and I was very confused. T-Mad probably knows. He, he's apparently played this game. He's very smart. T-Mad's also Teleportation? Stuff. Oh, dude, teleportation? Overpowered. You now you can it. kite people. Where the hell? Where am I, by the way? You're in Wazinama. Wazima. Oh, Wazima. Okay. Alright, uh. Hmm. Oh, he I think that's all you can do, him. can't you? Okay. Oh, because I prepared a spell. Why is cryotic thinking? Is that just a bug? Probably a bug. It says damn it, was thinking for me. Okay. Oh, I gotta fight someone, apparently. Band of thieves. The full yeah, what do I do? do? Uh, was, does it say anything on the top right, or I don't know what you're, what you're having to do? It just says band of thieves. You don't have to survive any shield. You just gotta beat him with a... Uh... Wait, you spent one gold. On what? Did you pay off the thieves? I think you might have paid no. them off. Maybe they stole from you. Oh, before they're... rolling, spend one. Yeah. Yeah, and there are it's... things like you have to do before you fight things. And then if you beat them, you can get the gold back. And if you fail, you just suffer pain. Oh, alright. I'm confused. Oh, okay, so I don't have enough things, so I fail this, I guess. Well, what about your spell? I don't know, I can't... I can't use it. Let me see. It will... That doesn't affect this. It affects traveling. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, you should have picked Ice Bolt, Lightning Bolt. I know there wasn't an option to that. What about Cone of Cold? Cone of Cold. What about Cone of Colors? Yeah. Oh, you gotta place Foul Fate. Alright. Pretty much disables one of your shit or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Um, so now you won't be able to investigate. How do you get rid of foul fate things, though? That's what I wonder. Draw one foul fake. Oh, when you do use it, you draw a foul fate card. Okay, that's how it does. Oh, okay. okay. So, so it's, why? It's, why? Like, it's cursed now, pretty much. Why? Why couldn't I travel anywhere? I'm just curious. Because you prepared and developed in the same turn. It looks like. Yeah, because uh, travel takes an action. two actions. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, all right. Fair enough. That's what stops you from doing a bunch of shit. Yeah. Uh, fucking red quest. Ah. Uh, I kind of wish I could see your shit that you're saying, but maybe it's yeah. to prevent you from. Well, I mean, we can see it if we hover it over on the fucking right side. Yeah. So I'm not sure well, why. I have the choice to explain to halflings that foolish to fight in the social atelier. Quetel. Yeah. But oh, I'm a dwarf, so I'm gonna I'm, I have to go fight that crow's pass. Yeah. I need to go to Murrible. Murgle. Murgle. This is this is just like the tutorial, so I should be able to like do it perfectly. Pick one card. Yeah, you slide. Oh, stick one. was completed. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And how would I pay peasants to help you spend four gold? Oh, I don't have it. Huh. Where's our I, gold list? At the bottom right. I have a bunch of things. Yeah, uh, you I see need it. Four okay. VP to do that. Well, time to develop the back character of this amazing dwarf. Oh, uh, yeah. What's, did he grow up in a circus? I, uh, maybe. I don't know. I want armor or weapon. I'm going to pick weapons. And that's that's it. Oh, foul creature. Place one silver bligate bling on your region. Oh, I made a harpy appear. Oh, uh. no. You drew a foul creature. Oh, I are mean... you in a bad zone? No, but I've just made a bad zone kind of thing. Where is the thing that shows the That they were talking zones? about earlier? Yeah. I don't know. It's not in the bluff side. Is it like on the bottom somewhere that I'm not seeing? I don't know. As far as I zoom out, it doesn't show anything. Yeah, I just see like food. Hmm. And candles. But there is like where I was, wherever I'm at, Marinable. Uh huh. Directly to the left of it, that thing's a one now instead of a zero. Maybe they just put the silver like cards and all that in the region themselves. You see how there's zeros around? There's one next to you. Are you sure? Yeah, I think those are what those things were. See, when I hover over the region thing, it says enemies in this region, one X silver, and it has the little Witcher symbol over yours, it says one X bronze. Where your guy at is at right now? Uh -huh. Hard carry. <laughs> I don't even know how to say. Directly south. You see that little purple thing? Uh huh. Yeah. Hover over it. Oh. Those are the things that we that were supposed to be on the left side. Oh. Then now he has one. Okay. And the lion. Weird. What's the lion? He drew a very precious kaga. It's Druga. <clears throat> I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's so sneezy. Alright. You received one lead because he did a little bit of investigating. I wonder why some of our names have, like, numbers after them, though, for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you mean I see what you mean. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. I Maybe guess. there's already another cryotic or another Sue. I guess so, but I don't no know one role plays as us, John. We're in love. <laughs> Damn no role players. Damn no role play. There will be other monsters in the main areas as cards will show up in the far left. Thank you. Oh you're battling the band of thieves. Oh shit, they're mega new too! Oh, those guys are assholes. Alright, so this is where they first mug you, and you gotta kick their ass. That is not good enough. It says damn no HTML, I was thinking. I am thinking. Ah, what are you thinking? Boobs. Nah, different game now, buddy. Look at these little... You see those, like, gold tokens on, like, the left of Snake right now? Like, on that... Why are you asking us? Yeah, I think that's money you have to pay to take the ferry to the ship. Oh, that makes sense. Because it's, like, a quick route there. Yeah. 
I know the ones with the hearts are the ones you can get healed at. I yeah. guess just by going there. I don't know. Makes you feel better. Oh, dude, you put it on travel? Oh, that's silly. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to rest anyway. That's fair. Does resting get rid of health? I don't know. Things? It gets rid of health, actually. All right, so I'm trying to get to where again? Machain. Oh, you already did. Geralt is masters afoot. Don't get Zounds. killed. I'm going to investigate because I need one blue thing anyway. Use an investigation there. Blue! Savola. You have a score to settle with this old salamandra mage. Roll your hero dice three times. Each time you do not obtain a success, discard one of your investigation or development cards. That's terrible. I don't even know how good investigation cards are. This is a setback. This is bad. Did I win? Yay! Alright, so I need that... that type of win. Okay. Good. I need to do that two more times. Give me another win. Yes! I got a win. Alright. Good. One more time. Give me the win. Yes. I got the win. Fuck you, Savola. Give a prick. Resolve all obstacles. Alright, there's the bronze thing, so I guess I gotta be battling today. Yep, a bear! Shit! Successful is remove one heart from your hero sheet. I still got. Really? Successful is I still hurt myself? Wow, that's terrible. Alright. Fuck it, let's battle, bitch. Bear right. battle. Bear battle. And I kicked his ass. I didn't even gotta do anything else. I win. Fuck you, bear. Oh, it's a good souls I remove one, not add one. Right. I didn't even have to rest. Sweet. Well. Good job, Geralt. Kick an ass, buddy. Hey, Triss. Hey. Mm, Alright. I'm kind of impressed that they put the apostrophe after her name and not apostrophe S. Dude, Triss is... It's very Triss important. This is Marigold's term. Yeah. I wonder if you can, like, fight each other. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. It's, it's really just progression. Then, like, but it you... mentioned that that you would you could help people or have people yeah, help you it's like a it's you it's like a co-op thing i believe but i don't think it's like you could hurt your buddies i get you i'm sure you could do things that would make it harder for them but i don't know it seems like you could just like help them and get stuff in return for helping them or just do mm -hmm. stuff all on your own and trade in some of the dice or like a reroll or something Don't even ask me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're in Duan Kanan. Can I see how many? Oh, okay, never mind. Mm. Murder train coming. Yeah, that's a scary murder train. God damn. I don't live that far from the train station. <laughs> Seriously. I was in the game, I was scared. Oh, an amulet of power. Cool. Good job, man. On this card edges play, place three spell things on it. Once per battle, you may spend one spell thing that's on it. On this card, I don't understand what a war track is, though. I do not. I think it's just like the thing that you resolve at the end and it like rotates depending on what you draw. I don't know. It could be. It might not be. Who knows? Am 
Whatever you did, you drew. You did three swords, though, so you're probably kicking ass. Like magic, you gotta beat their toughness and defense. Yeah? Something like that. I don't fucking know, man. Huh. Yeah. You resolved the I... obstacle phase. Good job, buddy. I killed it. I did it. What were you fighting anyway? I didn't even... Oh, you're battling a wolf. You didn't really do anything. Like I never do anything. <laughs> well, I mean, like you didn't like get anything for killing him. I know. Like the bear healed me. Well, I'm fully healed anyway. I'm in a heart town. Nice, true. All right, Yarpin. Where you do, going? Do, 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 do. Oh, with Zima, dude, they have the best bread. Uh, I think I want this one. I guess. Why is the train still around you? Because they're probably leaving the station now. Shit. Like trains. Now you can't travel twice, huh? Nah, I guess not. So be it. Well, you received the leads. Well, I'm not sure then. Me either, friend. Yeah. A chance to make some coin. Mm. I'm taking that. War Track is a dial that gradually increases obstacle difficulty in the specific regions as the game progresses. If you do more things in a certain region, especially fighting monsters, the War Track dial will increase and the obstacles will become more difficult in the resolve. So if you stay in the same area, that one area's War Track will get stronger. Okay. Hmm. So There's a band of teams. Oh. I'm fighting them. They're mugging you, man. Do that. Oh, shit. Be able to deal with that buddy, he needs some help day. I, I don't I don't know what else to do. How do you help me? I can't. I didn't think so. I'm trying to figure out what these little like diamond shaped things to spin one of these things. I don't know what those ones are. You may spend that diamond thing from this card to produce. Yeah. I don't know what that is. If you have a diamond shaped thing, that's like you would roll that. That's something you would roll. I think. I don't know. Did, did, no you, did you not roll something that looks like that? I don't know. I don't know. I received one of these things because I did bad. Oh, uh, so you didn't win it? I didn't win it, man. I'm sorry, buddy. You got mugged. See that? Took your gold. Boop. Boop. Hey, no so fast okay, travel, please. Man. Hey, Dandy. You know, you are a cat money boy. Me either, even though they're like, well, are four unique characters from the Witcher universe. Yeah. Johnny, He's really probably just Yarpen like, probably just nope. some merchant that you accidentally run into. Yeah. Just a random merchant. <laughs> random merchant. So you sung your little tunes just to make the fairy around. It's, it's fair. You can hang out with Triss. Get out. BFS. Oh, you got a fake card. Oh, dude, you can't sleep that night. Night before I'm rest, you do not resolve it. Discard, discard. It's, Bro, it's horrible. Wait, no card. Huh. What is the point of investigating? It's to get little tokens on the bottom, like, uh... You see how you need to have a certain token for uh, the main quest? There's like the blue ones. The blue ones equal the blue hourglass. So you need those to complete the main quest? I believe so, yes. They're the consequences. Will you hear it, Ice? What is this shit? Oh, from yours. Why do I have it now? Whatever. Will you hear it, Ice? If you did not obtain success, suffer one heart damage. Why do I have this from you? Get fucked. God damn it. I did not obtain the thing I needed. God damn it. I hurt myself. Must place a wound on me. 
How do you obtain fate cards? Uh, you use one of your things that have a foul fate on it. I still wonder oh. how I got that, though. Let's see, I'm trying to go to Pain. Right. Almost there. Hey, I'm almost at Rivia. I'm from there, you know. I can't travel? What? Can't just regular travel? Oh. Why not? Is something you gotta do? No. It's, maybe it's because I put that thing on the fast travel thing? I don't... I didn't think it would affect it, but I guess it does? I might have fucked myself there, huh? Well, I guess I gotta rest then. Wait. Develop and then rest? No clue. I'll rest first. Ah, because I don't know if I can be able to travel or not next. I can't, okay. Cry, everyone's whining like a little bitch to turn down the um, music. It's beautiful. Well, they're being bitches, though. So. Alright. I like how you go to the menu, the only option is to mute the entire game. Ah, mixer it is! Yeah. Because I thought the music was pretty fucking loud too when I started it, and I was like, oh, I guess it's just mute now. <laughs> Alright, there's a bad thing in this area. I gotta go, though. I gotta resolve the bad things. Phew! Nothing happens. Alright, cool, I look- I managed to avoid- avoid a problem. And drowning. And drowning. That was a good day. Alright. Yep, Chris. Yeah, I didn't realize the music was that loud. And then suddenly everyone's exploding about it. Now the music's too quiet. God damn it. God damn it. There, I go halfway between the two. Should be fine now. I drew a setback, yay! That's a one damage. Bad thing. Damn it, fine. Phew! Dude, you got it, man. That's mine. So why didn't I get any... like, fate token deals? Even though I used the Fell Fate card, why didn't I get like the purple thing? You were because the those are card. like you see in every city that has different colors. Oh. That's how you obtain those. Oh shit! Okay. And I think you can somehow convert the other ones next to it, the resources or whatever, to something. I'm not entirely sure. You just got both. The red and purple. Oh, that gives you both. Shit. Yeah, the half and half you pick. Well, those ones are... Sentra's great, then. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's actually the only one that gives you two. I love Sentra. I want to go there and uh, grow up. You're a Toys of West kid. <laughs> Dude, you're fighting okay. that harpy that I made angry. Oh, <laughs> great. Good luck. He's fucking pissed. Yeah. Ah, oh, God, she's so yeah, gross. fucking luck. You received one VP and one... was that, gold? If you beat him? At the bottom? Oh. Dude, I don't even have enough dice to do this. Yeah, right? How's you, that possible? If you had a spell, you could do it, maybe, but you don't have any spells with teleportation. You gotta develop your character more, dude. You're fighting higher level shit than you should. Do you get more dice? You get more things to help your dice, I guess. I'm not sure. Alright, let's say, because it would be impossible, because I don't have six dice. How could I possibly... Cause like, the thing I have, at least, I hurt myself and I get two more uh, sword dice that just throw out, so... Beats me. Just know that Geralt's gonna win every battle or not. What is this little, like, spell thing that I can't drag anywhere? It's like, it looks like, it looks like an eye, it's not a shield or a sword. Uh, where at? I don't know, it just looks like a... 
It just looks like an eye. I don't know. I have no idea what it does. I am not sure. I just have to fail. You tried, buddy. Apparently I got hurt like eight times in a row. You should probably rest. And I'm poisoned, apparently. God! Yeah, you really I should rest. I have no fucking idea what's happening, dude. I hope my character just dies so I can stop this. <laughs> Roll your hero dice if you do not obtain a successful... Success for one. What? The okay. The thing or whatever? I guess so. No, Dangerous Times from Dandelion. Yeah, that's what I had. Oh, I don't, I don't have this at all, so I lose, I guess. Oh, no, I, I win. You win. Alright, so... Dandelion, prick. I'm gonna use command. I'm gonna pick... I'm gonna pick, uh, this, she, uh... This guy. He's a dwarf. He's a good dwarf. I have no idea. Dude, you got gold. I got dwarves, man. It's uh, pretty cool. Dude, what the hell? Where they come from? Dude, we're a band of dwarves. Is what we do. Just roam around with a bunch of dwarf people. Yeah. You Isn't that what you one do? one purple to get one blue. The fuck is this shit about? I need blues. How'd you even do that? Uh, this is part of whatever I used to command my dwarf. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, get more blues. Band of thieves, shit. Oh, Four rolling, no. spend one gold. Successful, get a gold. I gotta fight for my own golds. Get them. These are dwarf friends. Dwarf friends, help me. You. Oh, Fuck you. You. Uh, and my money. Larry, I'll I need it now. 100%. It better be better now. Hello, Dandelion. Don't fuck us over this time, you asshole. Fine, cheese. Thank you. Also, Quigglepuff, thank you. Appreciate it. Playing this game, like, on an actual tabletop would fucking suck. Because, like, you'd have to manually do all this shit. I feel like this game is going to take like four hours to beat. That's not. We have to all complete three quests. Mm-hmm. The thing said 40 to 70 minutes. I feel like that's just like an approximate. I thought the thing was you have to do three quests. That shouldn't lie. Those never lie. That does lie. Exactly. Do I really sound further away from my mic than normal? Sound the same to me. People are weird. They're making me self-conscious. They know how to push your buttons. I know, they do. Anything audio related pushes my buttons. Oh dude, you drew an eye on my enemies. Whoa. I don't even know what you just did. Alright. Neither do I. Good man. I'm going to develop my character. Do it. Once per battle, you may spend one of those to have an extra that. Oh, wait, have each that produce one that. Or, at the start of battle, you may spend one whatever that is from this card to prevent all heart, but not the evil, evil heart that you would suffer from any enemy effects during this battle. I think I prefer this one. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go to Rivia. That's where you're from, man. Going home. Hello, home. Hello, Witcher. War track has been made more. Alright, bye. Get out of here, Witcher. Alright, bye. Yeah, Rivia, you don't like me. 
music still slowly overpowering on my god. Damn it. <sighs> there. Hopefully it's fine. I will never understand. But don't you understand? How to make everything just work all the time. Hmm. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Duh. Ta-ta. 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 Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-
Did I not pass that already? Ah, oh, shit, it was right there. I didn't go there. Fuck. All right, like, see how it says for your, your quest you need, um, you need, uh, one blue thing and one red thing to do it? Uh-huh. Well, you only have one of the, one of the blue things on the left. You need five of them on the, on the left to even get one blue thing. And then really? you need three. You need three of the red magnifying glass things to get one of the red thing, and that's just to complete one quest. And we've been playing for about forty-five minutes. I'm telling you, this is gonna take like four hours. I thought it was one for one. No, it's not. Look, click on it. There's like a conversion rate. It's five yeah. For one. Well, it's it's different for everyone, but yeah. Yeah, it's. Oh, so it is. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going back up to Don Blah Flum Blah Blah. Go, Gerald, go, slide. Yeah. You really showed them. Go ahead and investigate, buddy. You should look up red stuff. Is that accurate, Lord Zell? Let's see. Receive one red thing. You may spend up to three money. For each money, you may see more red stuff. Okay. How much money do I have? Two, okay. Oh, I see. Alright. I only have two gold now. What is, else is gold used for, though? Is this kind lots of Lots of things. There's lots of things used for. Mm. Like... No, well, you don't have it, but one of my quests was to spend four to f or five gold to uh, complete a side quest. And you also travel the seas. I like seas. Yeah, with sea we couldn't say can't. I understand. Poor kitty cat. Wait, was the kid. said his first game took him five hours to complete. Oh, was he doing, doing a long game though? Doing three quests. Nope. That's a long time. Yep. Yeah. Just saying now, there's no chance I'm doing that. There's no chance probably any of you guys are doing that. Alright, how about first person to complete their main quest wins? Okay. So I still like it though. It's like civilization style in my opinion. In that sense of... Well that doesn't negate the fact that it's gonna take five fucking years. I know. But it's like, I like it in the sense that people like civilization. So, because it takes five years. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, it's... It's this little I can. thing. Like, I'm not I gaining... I'm, tr I'm doing the investigate thing, and I'm just not gaining any of the purple things. Just nothing's happening, and then I have to end my turn. I don't there's understand There's no purple what the things there. You're in a red and blue thing. What are you talking about? You're... I'm not. It's purple and red. Oh. I, I and then, then I draw a purple card and I just don't get one. And then I just... Nothing happens and my turn ends. I think the purple cards are investigation cards, aren't they? I don't fucking know what's happening. Oh good, something I... It is impossible to kill because it requires six again. It's Kiki Mort. That thing's scary. Sure. I don't understand. Like, I don't have enough dice to kill it. How am I ever supposed to kill this thing? It's impossible. Because your character's not developed enough. So you so you gain more dice then? Is what you're saying? I, literally, all I know is there's things that make it so you do something, and then you do something to give you more dice, yes. You can, like, exchange... investigate cards... to give you more attack, or things like that. Yeah. Convert certain... It's like uh, Munchkin in that sense. I think you are in just too high of an area, yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to know that, though? The... I don't... I don't think it's a matter of you being in a high-level area so much it is, or as it is RNG with the monster draws. That probably could have shown up anywhere. Actually, no. 
Because, uh, you see in his area, he has the three silvers in that region. That's probably Is that why. a level thing? I think so. I don't see any of this shit. It's right there on the map. Where? The number three, right under Brooklyn. See that? Yeah, but how do you know that's the area? Because it's the color that's around the banners. At least the same banner color. Where are you, Cr Oh, you're over there. Uh, well, you can have that then. What? What are you giving me? I moved the bronze guy to your area. <laughs> oh. Alright. Dude, your VP is so high, bro. Yeah. Dude, one purple. Crazy. In turn, whatever. Hey, dandy. Hey, you zoom in on Dandy, it's all watery. It's gross. Aww. That's cool. I like how they did that. Well, it's going well, it's just it's kind of... It takes a bit and to slow. understand. Yeah. It's it makes sense to me. Yeah. You just have to be dedicated about it. Yeah, Shine, does uh, make, Shine makes a good point, though. It's it's an interesting game, but maybe it's not the best stream game. Yeah. I'd still like to at least get one main quest done. That's the thing, like, I don't even have the draw to do that. Like, well, maybe just, you I'm can't like... get the extra things because you've been in the same place, and you can only get one in the town and then you gotta move. Yeah, every time I move to a town, I get one. Yeah, so maybe it's just because yeah. you've been in the same town. Well, in that case, I'm so far behind that it's not gonna matter, because I've been in the same town for, like, every one of my turns. I don't know, I just don't find myself caring about it. But Triss. Yeah, I don't care anymore. But I'm just tired Triss. of my eyes hurt. I don't care about Triss anymore. I care about Triss. I want the blue one. Side quest completed. Yay! I did it. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to investigate in the blue. I'm going. I'm going to click the little thumbs up next to the thing on the activity board, and then when you go in the chat. This is, I tell you, well played. Thank you. You're welcome. Well played. Investigate the blue pot. Rians. Oh, it's a setback. From the stories you have heard from the Rians, he's not someone you want following. Unfortunately, you are sure Vilga Fortz's pet mage is now somewhere nearby. Well, you heard ice three times. Each time that you did not obtain a success, spend one gold or suffer one very bad thing. All right. Got it. Gotta do this two more times. Come on. Yeah. Got it. One more time. Got it. Almost didn't get it, but I got it. Fuck you, Rience. I gotta resolve a ghoul in the area. Successful, I received one red thing. Failed, I flip one of my heart things into a bad thing. Alright. Let's go, bitch. Metal. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. I get rid of the fuck out of you. Later, nerd. Alright, cool. Well, I'm kicking ass. Yeah, no. Well, I can't travel for some reason. 
Oh, because you're a uh, thing. rest. Yeah. Yeah, this is why I don't care. <laughs> You're so far behind now. No, you have to... No. Wait, you can... What? Can you travel now? Yeah. Weird. Oh, right. That's how that works. Oh, cool. I got damaged again. Hey. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Nothing happened again. Oh, right, Look, two job. things that are impossible to kill. Because you're still Look, in the another same... thing that's impossible. Still... Everything is impossible to kill. Because you're still in the high level area, dude. Well, I, I can't get out of it without yeah. battling more shit and yeah. just getting hit over and over again. Well, the best way to have done that was go back to uh, Duan Canal through the water. Then you would have been in the blue area. But you're still technically in the, uh... Whatever this region is. The light yellow green thing. Hey, Arvin. Hey. Uh. Still need things. Asian boy, you seem so pissed off right now. Oh, dude, you going to the main quest? Uh huh. You had to turn that shit in, bro? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> I need some dwarvesy dwarves. Oh, dude. You get support. If someone spent three blue things, they could support you. Please support me. Um. I don't know how. Me either. <laughs> Uh, you need more friends though. You're doing so well. Are you throwing just bad guys at me? Yeah, I move them from one region to the next. How the fuck do you do that? Oh, uh, it's like my like. You have your uh, I don't even know what you call it. Let me look what it's called. You have your brewing like stuff. Uh -huh. Well, I have one called command. It's on the right over there. And I do that. I pick two dwarves, and they have two different uh effects. Okay. And then one of the effects is move one creature to an adjacent square. Oh, that's a dick move. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Guys, we all understand. We all get the idea. It's a good game, but not for streaming. We get that part. We're just getting through to at least get one main quest down. That's all we're doing, okay? It's okay. We're not gonna do the entire thing. But I still like the game. It's also very pretty, in my opinion, for a board game. You're pretty. Whoops. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's my turn. Hello. Hello, world. Let's see. Hello, moon. Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna travel up here. Whoop. Hello. I need to investigate because I need more blue stuff. Arcane. This is blue Salt. stuff. Game disconnected. And then, yeah. Okay. The, the arcane assault was really strong. It disconnected the game. Is this something that you can rejoin or am I about to be very happy? Um, <laughs> let me see. Let me try. Let me see. 
I think you're gonna be very happy. It's just kind of sitting here and waiting for players to join the game. More shit I cannot possibly kill. I hate this fucking game. <sighs> yeah, see? We're just kind of sitting here. Huh. Yeah, I think. the lobby and once you start the game that lobby no longer exists so you can create multiple games technically with the same name unless i could just straight up join off of you which i cannot my ddos worked <laughs> ah. just sat there and ip config pinging him over and over <laughs> Well, the arcane assault was uh, intense and took out Geralt. All right. The game wasn't bad. <coughs> I no, it was very it's bad. well designed and shit. But I just don't think that's something you'd ever want to stream. To. Like a full game would be like five, six hours, dude. No one's gonna want to watch that the entire time. Let's play Monopoly instead. God. That game's a no lot board than game. Monopoly. No board games for a month. That game's so much better than Monopoly, though. Fucking Monopoly sucks. Yeah, well, this game doesn't have boardwalk, so. Exactly, that's why it's. Monopoly is amazing. No. I life, like Monopoly. Life is so much better than Monopoly. I disagree. Are you bad at Monopoly? Is that, is that why you're saying this? He is terrible with money, so. Yes. Yeah. I am bad at Monopoly, that's why I'm saying this. Also, the game is only like. Not that much. Uh, eight bucks. Eight bucks, was it? Yeah. The game is cheap as hell. So. Yeah. Go ahead and get in and play it with your buddies or something, because it's fun. Man. <sighs> That's a shame that that happened. Oh well. I'm never going to be able to convince anyone to play that with me again. I'll play it. Oh yeah! We'll play it then, buddy. It'll be grand. Yeah. Yeah! But until then, we gotta do a break and then come back with some Phoenix Wright. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back, guys. Hey. That's my line, you stealer. Oh, Russ copier. Sorry. Hey. 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 So I just realized also I don't have the image I had on the right side anymore. Which one? Uh, the one that just said objection and stuff. I think I still have it because I used it. Can you can you chuck it my way, man? Or if there's another one you know of? Uh, I, I'll look. I may have deleted it. All right, because I lost it when my hard drive exploded. That mm. one time. Remember yeah. that time? That was a shitty day. Is she with she be day? Yeah. Don't do that. It stuff sucks. Hmm. But it's time for Phoenix Wright. I feel mm -hmm. like we do this like once every two weeks because we always have an issue. With getting yeah, it we done. should we should probably not do it next week then. Yeah. Not plan to do it. Yeah. God, might as fucking well. I'm just saying. Well, if we don't do it next week, the following week I probably won't be here. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, then... So maybe we will have to do it. Wait, yeah, I guess so. Wait, 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 wait. If I get this right... Um... Would it be... Would it be getting back on the night of that? Um... Huh. I don't know if I would be getting back the... Mm, I might Let's... be back. Sorry. I wouldn't promise it, and there's no way I'd be able to put a video up for it. But the fact that there might be a stream or not is still into question. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. 
that's the week after that one. So this next week and the coming week, I would still be here. But the week after that one is when I wouldn't maybe not be here. Okay. Okay. Just so we know. What's with the one screen? Because the other, the top screen of the DS right now is just black. That's... Yeah, I can't find it. All right. But other news, I kind of want to like a Phoenix Wright amiibo. Just saying. <laughs> like I know it's like random. Just saying. I don't think they got one, dude. I don't. I'll just have to make my own custom one. I understand. It looks like looks like like second season of amiibos are coming out soon. If they're mm. not out already. Yeah, I'm getting a Phoenix. Uh, not Phoenix. <laughs> a Captain Falcon one. I just wanted DDD. Yeah. What are amiibos exactly? Uh, glorified AIs that you can level up and they would train the Mash Brother Pokemon. Kind of, yeah. Like I you think... fight with them or against them, and they learn off of how you fight. Like I think I'm not entirely sure, but you know when the like intermission between the loading screens when you're doing one v one glories, mm -hmm. it feels like that DDD is getting a lot better in learning what I've been doing. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's the same effect. Maybe I still kick or, its ass. So. Oh, me too. But I'm just saying, like, it's doing some crazier moves than it used to be. Like, I'm wondering if it's just cranking up the AI, like one level at a time, or I have no idea. I wonder what the hell the whole purpose of that thing even is. What the little training set to keep you busy while it's loading or whatever. I guess so. Here, I'm gonna put it on another screen right now while I go find a uh, Phoenix Wright image to use. Okay, cause yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Have it on my thing. Yeah. Let me see if it's on uh on here somewhere on old Google image search. Oh, there's some nice ones. Oh, this will work. This is a good one. This is from Namely. Namely is the person who did the pajama paints. I like Namely. She's a nice lady. Okay. Okay. Why does that look like that? There we go. Alright, so add image. Yes. Browse. And then we go here. And bam. And then bump. Ah, perfect. I mean... Perfect, just because you won't be able to see the little hair on him. All oh, right. Is it the gif one? No, no gif. No gif. No gif, please. And I don't want to like be on your parade, but I'm kind of kind of glad that the gender bender game failed. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, I don't know why you hate that one so much. I don't hate it. I just knew it was gonna be a bad idea. You hate her. That's what she is. That's all you are. I hate, hate it. I it's so unnatural. I get Remember, it. you can freeform, freeform stretch. Do I want to? I don't even know. I could try. I don't know if it'll look good. Probably not. But let's see. Uh, that's gross. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, it was like the hangover cure all over again. God. Hangover cure was great, dude. <laughs> I feel like I can make this bigger at least. There we go. That's that's better. That's better. I wish there was a way I could show the hair on him though. You'd have to like add the outline yourself. Yeah. You might be able to if you go into properties for the image source. You might be able to actually add a uh, outline of white. Cause you can do it with text. Really? Yeah. Um. Ah. I tried. I looked. I could give the background like a, a, a little bit of a lighter black. That could work. Yeah. How? How? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. Don't ask me these things. There's no like I mean, add solid color thing or something. I kind of wish there was, but I don't think there is. Yeah, I know what plus, I could do. I'll plus just, someone knows. I'll just open up paint. And then I'll do, go to go to the black for the colors, and then I'll just raise it a little bit to about a gun black. And then I'll do that, and I'll just save that shit. Boop, boop. Boop. And then you go here, and then boop, and then beep. And boop, and beep, and boop, and 
beep and then boop and then and then and then and then and then beep and beep oh, yeah it does look better but I need to shrink them now that I see the hair and stuff. <laughs> now that I see everything in its glory, it's too big. There's one on Tumblr right now that looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I kinda wanna see him now. Thank you. I link you. Oh shit, that is good. <laughs> and it's transparent. And it's transparent? Uh-huh. Alright, we gotta do it. Who did this? Oh, uh, it'd be good to give credit, huh? Yeah. Hey, look it up. Oh man, it's I don't even know. It's gone forever. No, really? I'm just kidding. Uh Suda. Suda Wuda. Suda Wuda. How do you spell their name? S O O dash D A. S O O dash D A? Or TAC. If you're one of those people, instead of saying dash. Tack on Titan. That's the real song, just letting you know. It's true. Don't throw up. You just got over being sick. I know, I'd be so pissed. Alright, there we go. And I can hide that gray. Perfect. That looks, that looks good. That looks good. I like how the A hangs over a little bit. I think it looks good. Are you asking me? I think I saw the work in progress of this. I didn't know they finished yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, no, I think they're drawing me as Maya, and I guess they changed their mind at some point. Was that it? It seemed. Yeah. At least the 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 me on the right seems familiar. Yeah. That's cool though. Well done. So, Congratulations. Now that we got that out of the way, we can actually start playing this game, huh? I think so. Should Make I, ready. Should I move this down? Yeah. That sounds like a yes to me. Cheyenne playing? I don't think Cheyenne wants to do that. Do you want to Cheyenne? I don't, but I always want to extend the invitation. Yeah. I don't think she does. It's not. I'm surprised we got her to do the gender bender one. What? She she voice acted a little bit. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was great. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Were you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just got back. Uh, Welcome back. I just heard the voice acting part. Yeah. You don't want to voice act for this, do you? Or do you? I was offering you if you yeah, wanted yeah. to. Don't I have to have the game? Yeah, we'd have to send you the file and shit. Would take yeah, I don't. like ten minutes tops, right? Yeah. Roughly. You'd have to Unless, play like, along. Unless like Cry did it really though. quick. Like you'd have to click along and everything. Like you can't just sit there and watch. How long is it gonna go for? Hours. Okay, then no. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, because we go a long time, so. I thought you were finishing the game. Yeah. We're trying to. And we're not very far into this case, so. We're on like the first day of the trial, and there's gonna be three at least. Yep, yeah, we got a while to go. Okay. Yeah, no thanks. All right. Fair enough. With that said, let's get on to this uh, shenanigans then. I'm ready to say no. I'm ready to say no. You ready to say no, Snake? No. No. I mean, yes. <laughs> Good. Why is it black? Why is it black on my screen? It oh, should God. be black on top. No, 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 like, it's like cutting off in the middle. It's not supposed to be that way. No. You hit no already or no? Oh, wait, there we go. It fixed itself. Okay, we're good now. Okay. I, yeah, I hit no. I hit no. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't hit it yet. Alright, so we're good now. Uh, it was a weird black bar, though. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, God. I need to know if this is too loud. It, it sounds louder than normal. Okay. Alright, so give me a sound check, please. Waiting. We 
Really? What the fuck is wrong with her now? Well, there's lots of things fucking up right now. Yeah. Is there know. is is there any windows up over or under your? There uh, might be. Cause that happens. Okay. Hopefully you're okay. The music could be just a few decibels lower. Lower? Just a little bit. Yeah, it seems a bit, a little and bit too And it looks fixed. Looks fixed. Okay. I don't know what was going on. That was really weird. Okay. All right. I'm good to go <clears throat> then. You guys good? Yep. Who was this lady again? Was this Snake? It was you. It was me? No, it was was it Snake. I don't remember. Snake, you wouldn't remember if this was him or not. Right. It was... Lana? Um... That was me, I think. I think so, yeah, because he was Phoenix and I was his sister. Alright. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Ryan? Frankly, there are still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yeah? A defense attorney should never believe their client. <gasps> the defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Oh, hang on. It's being really glitchy. What the balls? Really? Yeah. That wasn't in the script. <laughs> I it was not in the script, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. You may want to try closing your uh, DS and then opening it again, maybe. So save you state first. Uh, I could try that, yeah. Here a sec. I was going to reset the subregion as well. Yeah, it might also help. And then put it there. Ooh. Alright, so let's see if that works. Okay. It did not. We... I'm gonna close oh. I'm gonna close it really quick. I'm sorry. This is like a Pokemon speedrun problem I had a while a while back. Yeah, this is really weird. I've never yeah. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, guys. This is like the first time in the entire Phoenix Red this has happened. It's really weird. Um. This one. It's gonna fix itself. I swear. On Jebediah. Whoever that Jebediah. is. Jebediah. Don't know who that is. Okay, it's still doing it. I'm gonna completely reset that that uh, region then. Like I'm gonna delete it. Mm. And re put it up. Be it. It's gotta be done, dude. You know, Has sometimes, sometimes an issue occurs, and you just gotta gotta bite the bullet. And kill bullet it. Bullet's been bitten. Bite it. Just eat the bullet. Ow. Eat the bullet. It's really weird that that's doing that, though. I'm gonna blame OBS. Cause you know how OBS can be. Oh, totally. Yeah. Alright. Bam. And now we just, uh, wait, let me... Okay. What the balls. <laughs> what the balls. Why? What is that? But he's dead. I don't get it. Do it, should I like move it to another part of my window? Fine. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be it's so a sign. mad. It's not a sign. It's a sign. No, it's not. It's absolutely a sign. No. Phoenix Wright is a staple of the late night the crying rush experience <laughs> lately because everyone loves it, including us. Hundred percent true. <sighs> Maybe I gotta restart OBS. Should I try that? That might it might work. I'm not sure though. All right, I'm gonna restart OBS. I'm 
gonna do that. Don't freak out, please. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It's not a sign, though. <laughs> As you. Be right back. Not disconnect me from the server. Hey, what was that movie? Like the aliens? What was it called? Uh, uh, Independence Day. Signs? Is that it? Men in Black. Stop naming movies with Will Smith. <laughs> uh, Alright. So for some reason it just straight up said disconnected earlier. I don't know why. But hopefully it's good now. I don't know. <sighs> God, are you guys ready to go again? Yes. All right, I'm on this guy. You, in case you guys skip ahead. I'm right there. Nick? Red October standing by. Good man. All right, let's hope this doesn't explode again. <clears throat> Back in the character. Think of justice. Miss Sky, you're I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Hmm? What's going on? Game's not. Dude. What? It's still doing the thing. God yes! damn it. It's still doing the thing. I don't understand why. <laughs> I have no idea why. I have none. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Is it doing that in... on when you need him. Is it doing that in um, OBS or the emulator itself? It's, it's just, a... just OBS. Yeah, it's OBS. Alright, so I just did a game capture of this. Now I'm gonna do a separate. Let's see if it doesn't fuck it up when it's doing that at least. Let's just see. You remind me a lot of Mia. It's fine like that! So you know what I'm gonna do? Hmm. There you okay. Go. Hang on. I'm gonna make this fucking work. Alright. So. See? Let's stretch this bitch out. Do it. This is going to fucking work. We're playing this game today. Today. That's not even a way to say a word. Oops. Right. It's close, yeah. <laughs> this is such a fucking bitch. <laughs> it has never been this hard. Alright, I made it too big. I made it too big. I can make this fucking work, though. We're still playing this. Don't even think we're not. But for some reason, window capture is giving an issue. Game capture is fine. Too big. That should be fine, actually. Okay, and then I just move this. Uh, hide that. And then. Stretch it out like this. Slide it like this. And then... Make that one darker. Okay, give me one second. This is working. I swear to God I'm making this work. Spoon's calling me. Why the fuck is he calling me? I don't know, you better answer. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you want? 
on. Hey, yo. Hey, man. Hi. What, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, playing Hi. Phoenix Wright, being a problem-solving motherfucking genius. I know. Yeah? Yeah, I, uh, I'm actually just about to finish solving it because God, I'm so all smart. God, these people in the chat are so annoying. Yeah, because, like, that's what smart people do to fix their problems is just crop all their problems away, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so, what's going on? Uh, you know, just justice. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fun. I like Justice. Yeah, Justice is pretty good. Yep. If you don't like Justice, you're pretty much a commie, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm glad you understand. Yeah. I Yep. Cool. So, uh, yep. That's enough? Uh, the, wh what? What? No. Um, maybe later tonight, but we're gonna be doing this for at least another, like, few hours. Two hours? Uh, yep. Justice knows no length in time. Except three days, because that's all you get in Phoenix Wright. Two hours? I know, three days, it's ridiculous. No, I know, it's <laughs> a bitch. Oh, we have the... Uh, okay. We can do that. Oh, he wants to get smashed. Yeah, you want to get smashed later? Later, come here. Um, how later? Don't ask me, man. Um, we can go right now for all I care. Unless you got a, well, unless you got fixed. Uh, well, we could do it right now for all Russ cares. Right now. Yeah, we can put Justice on hold for a little bit. Because, I mean, um, well, unless Russ was just trying to say that, but he didn't really whoa, mean it, whoa. it was like reverse psychology. Hold the fucking phone, Justice waits for no man. <laughs> Snake, Snake, however, just said Justice waits for no one. I understand Meaning that too. It doesn't wait for Spoon either. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't say no Spoon, I said no man. Yeah, he's also so, a horse. You pretty much need to pay s someone some money right now. Fuck that. Okay. I mean, you, can, you can just play some justice. Well, I, I thought he wanted some smash lessons. I mean, I would, would, I'd do it for like. Would you like some smash lessons? For 1,600 Microsoft points. We only use That's MS points. Right. Yeah. Yeah, give me 50 bucks for like 5 minutes or some shit. Yeah. Uh, I just got that for What if we trade and like he gives us Call of Duty lessons? If, if, like, if we give you Smash lessons, will you give us Call of Duty lessons? Call of Duty lessons? Yeah, because really you still know it better than we do. No? Yeah. I mean, well, what the fuck am I following him on Twitter for? Why are why is Russ following you on Twitter then for? I don't know. I thought oh. <sighs> thought that was my like number one resource for Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean we sent news to each other. Oh. That, that's much it. So do you want to play Smash Brothers then for right now? I mean, I mean if you want Smash, I mean I'll smash you so hard. All right, get on to you, speak. Bye. <sighs> Alright, looks like we're playing Smash Brothers for a little bit, and then we'll get back to Justice. But we are playing Justice. But did you- We aren't playing Smash Did Brothers you get it fixed, though? Yeah, it's fixed. Oh! It's totally fixed. Thought we were- Thought we were just gonna do Smash as an alternative. Not as an alternative, no. Oh, whatever. Things have to happen, I guess. But we- We had to cut off the game early tonight, anyway, didn't we? Uh, oh. the last game we just played, because we didn't finish it. As well exactly. as... That was that. no, because it's the same fucking as long as you expected it to run. Was it? Yeah. You said like a fucking hour and a half. 
Oh. What about the DNA fiasco? Or gender thing? Oh god, that... Did we actually expect to go anywhere with that, though? I did. Well, you suck, though. You hopped on that train and rode it right out of the station. I... Can you put the TeamSpeak password in TeamSpeak chat really quick for me? I don't know what it is now. Um... Oh wait, I think I... Alright, but... Absolutely promise, guys, we are playing Phoenix Ray tonight. We're just gonna play a little bit of Smash, okay? Is that with cap- no capital letters? No caps. Alright, All right, so 100% promise we are playing Phoenix Wright tonight. Just doing some Smash, okay? Promise we're doing it. It's just, for right now, we're gonna play some Phoenix Wright. I mean, <laughs> Smash. Phoenix Smashed. Phoenix Smash, yeah. But we are not not doing that. We swear on everything. And if you're mad, you can blame Spoon. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yep. 100% blame him. Them's the rules. You should be allowed to do that. You can't hear me. Am I really that quiet? Do I sound quiet on stream? Uh, maybe a little bit. Really? I can help myself if I do, but I didn't think I did. Oh fuck! If that's the case, I gotta switch back to 60 FPS. Otherwise, hello. This is hey, I'm a spoon. I'm streaming. Hello. Is there anything secret? Hi. Uh, no secrets happening right now. Yay! What's up? What's going on? Uh, we were just about to do justice. And we fucked everything. People went into my fucking stream and said you needed help. Yeah, because they were like fucking uh, spoon support, and it's so got in the way. It's a good meme. Oh. It's a meme. <laughs> yeah. Christine87 <laughs> is just subscribed. Thank you so much. Here. <laughs> Christ. All right, we gotta, I, I gotta restart my stream just because I gotta put it on 60 FPS, so we'll be right back. And then I'm gonna have my volume because I'm apparently quiet. And be right back. What? That. Wait, you never burped before? Nope. Are you kidding me? Yep. Well. Well. Alright. Huh. Isn't that something? It's whatever. Yeah. It's video games. Alright. So, Spoon. You're about to go through the training course of Smash Brothers. Dude, I don't need no training for Smash. You're gonna get a fun experience right now. Nah, dude. I know what I'm doing. Nah, dude. You don't. No. I know exactly what I'm doing. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. It's fine, dude. Yeah. What? Alright. So. Let's do this shit. Alright, well. I'm loading it up. Bit me. Uh, you would have to join yourself when I make the room. Make the room. Is it just gonna be me and you? Nope. Me, nope. you. Russ and Snake. Oh shit. Yep. I don't think I'm ready. Why? You guys are like pro Smash players. Absolutely. Hey, <laughs> <sighs> Alright, whatever, I'm ready. Oh, we can just hang out and Wii U chat, guys. Fuck Smash Brothers. Just hang out and Wii U chat? Fuck that, hang out and Wii U <laughs> chat just in a casual setting all the time. Right. Alright. Oh. Someone just said they'll bet on me. Well, <laughs> sorry, man. You lost all your money. Back to the mines. <laughs> the salt mines? Back to the mines. Alright. Let's fucking do this shit. Also, I turned off my game volume. or music. Just because I was tired of hearing the same things every day. You could just change it. Nope. You could have just changed nope. it though. Can't do that. You could have just. You know what I do when I play? I just put um, Milky Way's boss fight on loop and I just play. Oh, dude, that's one of my favorite songs. I know. Shit. You're me. All right. 
Go ahead and join when you're ready. Nothing about it. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh God. Okay. I'm not good at this game. That's fine. Me either. We'll show you why you're bad. We're still actually not that good <sighs> either. Some people expecting professional player are gonna be disappointed. Adam's on. <laughs> oh no. Not well, at all. We're not West Coast. Well, good stream, guys. Later. See ya. Wow. I miss you. Dude. You guys gotta join. I'm trying to, but the network's all like, please wait. So I gotta <sighs> please wait. Oh, fuck. Wherever darkness is, just subscribe. Gross. Thank you. Thank you so much. Not gross, okay? Gross. What I do, man. When people sub, I shit in their ears. Ew. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Thanks for subbing. <laughs> Thanks for subbing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Spoon. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll sub again later <laughs> next month. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Please, right, please right. keep shitting in my ears, please. Is, is this not letting you connect? No, just keep getting please wait. What the fuck? And I'll restart my Wii U. Alright. Start that Wii U. Please be Mega Man. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. Be Mega whoever Man. you want to be. Mega Man, Mega Man. I'm choosing random map. That's fine. Snake, is it not letting you join either? Just now starting it up. Apologies. That's fine. Eh. <clears throat> Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Do you guys use the GameCube controller? No. I used to, but then I Good. don't anymore. Good. I have it, and I'm looking at it, and I don't touch it. I have two of them, I don't touch it either. I'm sorry. All my friends are like, GameCube controllers or nothing, and I'm like, get with the times, dude. You use the <laughs> Wii U gamepad? No, I use the Pro Controller. Yeah, me too. I plan on going to Anaheim one day. Why? Well, gee. No, I'm becoming a pro player, man. Get that pro money. Oh. Do it. Thinking about it. How the fuck do you play Mega Man? You don't. Just shoot things. Do I need to remake this room? It's not even the room for me, it's the getting on the actual network. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me check my internet settings, I guess. Alright. It's weird. Yeah. Eat my leaves. I'm just sitting here waiting. I can do it. Damn! That's awesome. Yeah? Did you make them eat your leaves? No, I made the sack like fly really high. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah! Hey, while you get that set up, I'll, uh, I'll do a quick round against him then. Yeah, you gotta go for it. This is so unfair, you know how to play it. I kind of play a character I played once before, so... What fuck is Mega Man doing? Can I look at his own... He has no combo list, I'm sorry. So weird. This ain't Killer Instinct. Hello. Pika 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 Chew. Pika Jago. Jacob. Oh, it's so laggy. Is it? I'm fine. Nope. I was just making an excuse like most first person shooters. <laughs> first person shooters? Yep. Dude, come here. I'm Pikachu's. Dude, why can't I hit you? God, it must be a lag. Has to be. Never my fault. <laughs> it's the iframes. The head button. Can you not? No. Not really. 
I have no idea how to play Pikachu, by the way. I have no idea how to play Mega Man. Oh, okay. So, just so you know, pro teaching is not happening right now. At all. I'll pro teach you in a second. I'll be your M2K. Okay. That'll be great. Do you know who that is? Nope. I just ran into that. Hell oh, yeah, you did. It's not pro at all. Oh, is that Togepi? No. No, that's a Cubone. No. You're saying you don't like Cubone? Is that what you're just, like, suggesting? But that's oh, sad. Look, it's oh. Those are Doug Trios. Actually, no, just one. Diglett. Oh, okay. The Diglets. True. I God damn it. You. What the? I'm sorry. Quit dodging. I'm gonna hit you with that stuff, okay? Okay. So when you pick characters, do you just like pick random or what? Uh, yeah. Oh. That's what I do with most of them. I guess it works to learn the characters, but... Generally, you're supposed to like just pick one, learn them, and then move on. Yeah, but that's boring. Okay. Isn't that what you did with Killer Instinct? No, I choose random on Killer Instinct. Oh. Yeah, but there's like no characters in Killer Instinct. I just killed myself. Yeah, you did. I win! Yay! Hey, I'm back. No! Oh, stop! Hey! Can you not? Any luck, Russ? I hope that is a good silence. <laughs> Dude, you got me with that thing. You're really talented. Thanks, man. I tried really hard. Yep. Why does it make me change it? Because it's Pokemon Stadium. Haven't you seen this Pokemon? Is... No. That's how their shit is in the arenas. Yeah, but I'm not a Pokemon. Well, it's still. Do you want to be a Pokemon? Yeah. Maybe. He wants to be a machine Pokemon. Or whatever the fuck they're called. Metal? The Pew. Yeah. Quit blocking, what are you, like a pro or something? It's pretty basic, actually. Quit blocking, what are you, pro or something? I wanna be a pro one day. Oh my god. I did it, and I'm rolling Thanks. on the ground. Thanks. Alright. Oh, is... My name is now Jimmy. Alright, cool. Take it, you! Any luck, Russ? I think, I don't know. I have to reconnect or get back in the smash. Alright, how about you, uh, Snake? So done. You have no idea what you're about to face. Yes. I'm just chilling. Propane! What? 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 Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Gone, Jim. Loading up now. There. Oh, there he's Jim. This is your demented, yeah. Oh god. It's not your one. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Challenger named Snake approached. I don't know who he is, but he approached. Oh, Russ approached Russ. too. Yeah, it's good yeah. sign. That means everyone approached. Let's go. Hey, you guys who approached. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. They told me to play as Little Mac. Yeah. 
Yep. So well, have we, fun. We gotta, we gotta teach him how to play. So, do we wanna do the thing where he fights all of us? I guess so. <laughs> Alright. What? No, uh, not at a time. So, like, they would kill themselves. And stuff. No, it's just fucking play. That's not how we play. Fucking play. You don't play like that. Or unless it's like a 2v2 situation, but no one does free for alls. Fine. That's like for casuals, dude. Dude, I'm fucking casual. Why? Cuz just wait, you'll see. <laughs> ah. Hey Hank. Hey Hank. Hey man. Alright, so. Do you, what do, do you, what do we do? What do we do with this situation? Huh. You wrecked me. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> Alright, well, and items are on too. God damn. Fuck it, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> you see what came out of the capsule? What the fuck? Yeah, it's a giant fucking, it's like, um, the, I'll uh, tell you what. in DBZ. It's propane. And propane. I've never actually seen a blaster one before, it's kind of amusing. Powered by propane. I see! Yeah. Hold that! No! I'm big as fuck! God damn it. God, God damn it! Big Mac! Little Mac again! I want this, I'm not getting it. What the, the fuck is Samurai is Jack that? doing in here? I know, what the fuck? Oh, I went right into Samurai Jack. Alright. God damn it. Oh, holy shit. God damn it. I'm afraid to go near Russ over there. Oh! Give me that shit! No, I need my propane! Holy shit. Am I? Holy shit! You fucking assholes! <laughs> Alright, well, good round. Well, let me wow, dude, you suck. No! Well. Good hit. You really showed that DDD. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Distraction. Damn it. DDD is so fucking huge. Because he ate a mushroom, dude. Don't you understand? Oh, it's because he's fat. No, it's because physics. <laughs> oh, dude, there's no physics in Smash. Oh, so you never learn with items, noob. God, no wonder why you're such a casual. You rely on Are you kidding only. me? Yari underscore just subscribed. S sorry, he's subscribed to such a casual. Thing. What? Excuse me? Um, listen. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, that follows you. I forgot. Sorry about that. <laughs> and the bomb. <laughs> and the fucking cow block. What? Alright. Make sure to turn off the damn items, man. Who's host? Alright, here. We'll do it 2v2s. How about that? Alright, 2v2. Who's on what? I feel bad, whoever. Oh god. Um, Is it, do you really want this? Alright. Guys, again, we here. got this. Don't fuck this for me, man. Oh, wait. Got this, I gotta make sure team attack is on, so I gotta get even more mad at Spoon. Are you All kidding right. me? Dude, yeah. don't put it on team attack. That's how it's supposed to be, dude. Uh, Hell no. Yeah, dude. Jeez. Oh. 
kidding me? Yeah? Duh? God. Did someone just... What was that bloop sound? Oh! Russ DC'd. Shit! What? Russ straight up DC'd DC'd. No. Oh. That means his internet pooped for a second. He'll be back. Fine. I have trust in him. I think anyway. Anyway. Uh Nigel Thornberry. God damn it. What? God damn it. What? You got a problem? Yes. Why? I think it's smashing. <laughs> of course you do. Alright, you know what we could do is 2v1 and then I'll like take out two of my stocks. So I have one stock and you have three stocks versus snakes, three stocks. You think that'll be fair? No, because my three would be gone in like. Yeah, because Snake is the best of us, so. Point. Yep. Well, let's go. We can try it. Give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Good luck. Boy. God damn it. You did it, okay? Why this map? Because this map is a good map. This map is a piece of. Hey, man! Dude, you're the one who got hit by it. I didn't hit you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, cry. This is not intentional when I hurt you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did this. You did this to us! Oh shit! Oh. Yeah! Well met. Got him! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> drowning! Happens. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know either. I liked it though. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Fuck it. Ow! Would you get out of my way, man? Why would you do that there, in a loop? There's only one oh, room. Ow! <laughs> Come on, dude! I'm sorry. Ah, ah! Oh god! Okay. Good luck. I'll leave him to you. Dude, I got now. him. I'll okay. Be, okay, I'm going in. Okay, go. Get him. Get him. Yeah. And don't hit him, don't hit him. There we go. Woohoohoo! Alright! I'm alive. Oh, shit. Ow! God damn it! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, he's gonna do an up B. No, he's not. He did a side B. I almost had him. I don't know what you're doing, him. Ah. Oh shit! 
try and help us win. Oh. Ow! No, oh, it's all up to you now. Come on, he's 81%, dude. Ow. Oh. I got this, okay? I'm at zero. <sighs> Come on. Come I on. got it, man. Don't worry. Come on. I am Nigel Thornberry. I know. That's what's scaring me. Why would it scare you? You feel safe with me around. It's not helping. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! That was my shadow move. I should be able to go through projectiles. Nope. Come on. No. I'm not gonna die. Come Don't worry. On. Please get him. Okay. All right. Damn it! No. Ha! No. No. Smashing. Hello. Hi. Welcome. We won. Great. God. Damn it. Nigel. <laughs> you wanted to be on my We two you won against Snake and I took out two of my stocks just to make it so one stock of me versus uh Snake when Spoon has full three stocks. And almost got Snake, but I didn't get playing. Snake. And his sister was playing. Oh. So it's okay. So she's really good, right? Yeah, yeah. she's great. She's yeah, great. She was amazing. Yeah, not bad at all. Yep. Nope. Not bad at all. It'll be America. Okay. So I guess your uh, internet hiccuped? Something like that, I have no idea. Uh. It happens. Alright. So, let's do proper 2v2 then. Can you guys just fight my amiibo? <laughs> I wish. I mean, they're, they're better than me. How is your Amiibo better than you? Level 50. Really? Yep. Huh. Well, I'm sorry you can't beat your Amiibo. Hi, America. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, you know, just being a giant monkey. Sorry, Ow! Hey, I got rust somehow. He didn't get shit, I fell off. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend it was me. Fucking platforms. Fucking Sorry. Donkey Kong over there is catching a fucking earthquake. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Ow! You gotten that. I did. Getting thirsty, bro. It was really thirsty. God damn it. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> I didn't mean that at all. Uh oh. Ah, oh, God. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, so that's a block. I was pushing the wrong triggers. Oh, I'm dead. Mario. 
Wahoo, though. God damn it! Don't die. Mario! I won't die, man. Oh you god. Mario you got me all wet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spray. <sighs> Sorry, Mario. Oh, 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 there we go. Damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> that was so fucking much. They almost went too deep there. Never. Never? Never. Oh, sorry, Mario. Ow! <laughs> sorry. America's red, white, and blue, and they're on the blue team. It's hard to connect. Oh, god damn it. Bye. Jesus. Oh, the fluid. No, Mario, no. I sacrificed myself. Oops. Oh, I saved you. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't help. Oh, well met. <laughs> well met. Oh, God. The wombos. Oh, uh, God. Oh, God. I'm alive. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm dead! God damn. Bro, he gets so low. Good god. Yeah. Well played, you valiant fighters. Fucking, my first two stocks were dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Ah, but it gave me credit for him. Alright. Oh, is this how we're gonna go about this? Yep. Me and Spoon versus you and him on both different teams, okay. I can dig that. That'll help Spoon out, right? Yeah. Am I that bad? Yeah. Do we want Spoon to fight us 1v1? Would that- would that help him or no? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. I can, I can just wanna play. Yeah, I got you. Let's do this then. I feel bad for you, Cry. You're on my team. Uh, you, you... Technically, <laughs> you can only do good unless you kill me. Hmm. But... Technically, you help the scoreboard, so... <laughs> oh my. Duck is... hunt, dog. Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm scared now. Are you serious? What? Do you know how to play Duck Hunt? Nope. God damn it. You think I know how to play this game, dude? Well, he's like one of the hardest characters to play. And items are on! God damn it, Spoon! <laughs> God damn it! What? What did I do? You left items on! Dude, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home. I'm not fucking whatever. I got it. You, yeah, when you, the first person to die becomes host. That's dumb. It is. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, no! Oh, God, no. Get away from me. Oh, God, me. I can't hit damn it! Damn it, your oh, boomerang got it! it. Okay. He missed anyway. Yeah. God. Play? I kind of want to play. No! <laughs> oh god! All these fucking items! Casual city right now. <laughs> Draw! Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. Snake just needs one more of the things to make that thing happen. And there we go. Hey, a bob bomb's right there. Yep, there it goes. Everybody run! I wonder if I could eat it. I don't know. Christ. Hey, it's one of these thingies. Yeah. Give me that. I want it. Oh, you got oh, it's it. Mine. Yeah, yeah. Go fast. Oh god, that really. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Holy gotta go shit. Fast. 
No, I have less PC. My Damn it, friend. Well met. Ow. I think you just killed yourself. So the good cuts. Shit, the thing dropped that I picked up with my hands. Hit my duck. Oh, I don't want the duck. It's fucking bad. I'm a penguin. That's kind of cannibal. I don't know. Is there really? I don't know. Both avians, aren't they? Well, I mean, that's kind of like a man eating a monkey. It's fucked up, but technically you should be able to do <laughs> so it. Right? monkeys are delicious, right? I guess so? Alright. <gasps> Beehive! Get it. You want, who wants this? Who wants make it? Mad. There you go. Sna Snake obviously wants it. Yep. Yeah, bees. Give me that. I got this thing. Alright, Russ, I need your thing. Oh, it's mine. I need it. Mine. Mine. I Dip. told you I need it. Come on, man. No goddamn dogs, man. Got it. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here! He missed. Did I really? Wow. Oh, yeah. God. I thought he was gonna jump slower than that. Oh, this. Ah, you fucking asshole! asshole. I forgot you're on my team every time. Are you kidding me? Hey! You don't deserve it! Don't even hit anybody! Oh, there we go! I was hoping you hit Spoon, please. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Got it. Pissed them off now. Yeah. This is the wrong game for that. Ow. That's me too, shit. God Everybody damn. gets hurt. They're so mad. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, good job. Sorry, buddy. What is this thing? What the hell is this? I want it. What does that do? I don't know, throw it at somebody next time. It's like a fucking time. universe. I want the universe. <clears throat> oh, that thing's just... Oh, look at that thing. It's adorable. Hi. Bomb just... Yeah. Ow. Get it, spoon, get it, get it. Ow. Oh, Price it hurts me because team fucking damage. That's silly. Best Pokemon. Oh, wait, Ball. Pokemon. Yeah, it's got a Mewtwo probably. Even though it's gonna be a character. Moltres! It's my least favorite of the illusion. Sorry, Snake, you were the biggest threat. That's true, Snake. No! <laughs> Good job. You fucking asshole! <laughs> Go home, bomb snow, please. Oh, uh, no. Pokemon. <laughs> Got too many Pokemon. Ah! Oh, so with this? Oh, oh, dude, it's that thing. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> hey, this thing. Time for skills. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Skill based. See ya. Hi. Didn't even hit you. Damn it! I killed you with the dog too! Platforms! <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Platforms! Yeah, we win, Cry! Dude, we won, man. We got an Anaheim! Yeah, whatever that even means. Woo! MLG Anaheim! It really helped, see? You gave one kill. See, at least I got one. I know, right? You're getting better. See, we're teaching Spoon. Yay! Yeah! Wanna play Counter Strike now? No! <laughs> Alright, right, let's do one or two more, then we should probably get back to Phoenix, right? Cause that'll, we've already been doing this for like 40 minutes. Really? Yeah! We started this at like 310. Went by fast. I know! I'm surprised. Alright, so let's do two more matches then. Do I have to turn off the thing or? Turn off what thing? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Falcon. I haven't Falcon in a long time. God damn it! I'm really. Blood Falcon. Well, it's Blood Falcon. He's time cool. for the Double Falcon, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Double Falcon. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. 
ready. <sighs> It's already gone by this fast, shit. Double Falcon. Double Falcon. <laughs> I can hear it in his voice. Quit dodging me, you fucking Matrix. <laughs> fucking Matrix. Oh my god. What is this map? It's Cry's fucking pick, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Brush you in like three years. Alright. And he will be the master. Yeah, you're with that. Misty. Oh, God. I forgot that's so close to the edge. It is super I'm close. just gonna go over here. <laughs> you too, I'm fine. no better, Spoon. I'm no better. I don't even know what I should do, man. Just, just flying just around use the your, sky. Your knees. Like this. Eh. That thing. Eh. See that thing? Hit him with that. Eh. Or you can just stand eh. side B, I guess. Eh. Eh. Ah. <laughs> I guess it's working? I don't know. Are <laughs> no. they scared? No. <laughs> Better be. I am terrifying. That hurt, oh. that hurt a lot. I don't want to be down here. Yeah. Oh, I just killed myself. I have one stock left. Spoon, don't fuck this up for us. Do what I want. I'll let them fight. Genius. See? No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, DDD. No, you come with me. Oh, fuck you. We have fun times. No, oh, I'll show you fun times. Have a gordo. God damn it. God, Zax fucking killed me? Yeah, it's creepy. <laughs> End battle? No, what the hell? Who did that? I didn't do it. It's a slippery slope I slid down. Right. Uh. Oh god, I ran into it anyway. No, uh -oh. stop uh owing! Ow! Yeah, you scrubs. Don't do it! Don't touch my butt! Alright. I need. Yeah! Don't know how to play this fucking game! Hi, Kaylin! Okay. I got 87% health. They both have three stocks left. Bye! Alright, cool. <laughs> Two stocks on one of them. Oh shit, one of them's coming for me. Spoon, I need you back up quick! Ow. I'll see you later, chump. Uh, later, chump. Get him! We're gonna. No, my I'm head. weak! <laughs> I must retreat! You didn't have enough vertical recovery, huh? I guess not. Sorry, Cray. Yeah. Snake wins this one. I don't feel safe down there. Fuck that. I feel safe. It's all of you, man. Oh god. Funk. Play fucking volleyball with me. God damn it! I swear to god that oh, fucking god. kills me! Alright, I need to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> what? How does that work? Just, uh, like up here? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Wait. Damn it! Oh, I'm dead. Well met, Cry. Well met. I love you. I know. We put up a good falcon. Kind of. That's like kind of good. Uh oh. Hey. Hey, man. Hello, get back in the Do it again. Come with me. Nah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. DI works. Okay. Jesus Christ. Snake never dies. I know. <laughs> some of this? You want some of this? Not really. I don't want him down there at all. But the belly flops, man. I know. Oh, DI. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, the knee. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm 200%. Oh, 
Dunk. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> okay. Bye, Kai. No, I'm fine. For now. For now. 212% dude, you're dead. I know. I throw Gordo. <laughs> the rain of Gordos. The Gordos they rain. <laughs> One Gordo's gonna send me launching too. Oh, hey, hey. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just the Gordo dispenser, man. Oh, shit! No! Oh my Bump. god. Good fight. Jerks. Harsh. One more to win them all. Yep. One more to win. win. Finally. Yeah. I almost came back after that terrible situation. And Russ, still you have a chance. One day I will get good at this game. I just realized DDD's belt is just a little bit of wild. Uh, yeah, he has different ones for each skin. I like that one. That's cute. Yeah, me too. I'm done with the uh Braden, whatever it is. Yeah, I like everyone uses aesthetically it. Aesthetically pleasing, at least, but I do like the uh, the belt on this one. Uh oh, that was dangerous. Was holy shit, dude! Damn! Nope, I did it. I did it. I did it. I rolled too much. You you got a big grady there. I was noivous, I had 160 some fuck percent, man. Kratic, dude, I just watched a huge titty female streamer with a cleavage reaching down to her belly. Oh, it must be Christy Plays. Maybe. <laughs> with a cleavage reaching down to her belly button doing squats in her live stream. She just raids the bar. Your move. Good god. Iced. That's impressive. Oh, yeah, yeah. one kill. That sucks. Hey! <laughs> At least you got one. <laughs> god damn. Please turn on the new Twitch feature where people can sub with gift cards? You can... What? I didn't know that was a yeah. thing. Yeah, that's and a thing. I didn't know that was in demand. Yeah, I didn't know that was in demand either. I have so many gift cards and I want to subscribe. Yeah, like, I'll absolutely turn that on. I just didn't know that was a thing I could do in the first place. Do they have Twitch gift cards? I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely turn that on. That's absolutely no problem. Um... I'm gonna do Lucario. More right. like loser Cario. <laughs> Pretty much, because I don't play him. Alright. Spoon, don't fuck this up, buddy, okay? Oh, dude, I won't. There's like no way I can fuck this up. Good man. Alright. Um, I'll be ready for Bowser. Bowser? Boozer. Oh, yeah, Bowser. Boozer. Koopa. Koopa Boozer. Cooper. Hey, Mr. Koopa. Mr. Cooper Bowser. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, ready. Some, some places Twitch gift cards are popular. I guess just not around here. Maybe in Brazil. Oh, I don't know if this is an event or not. If it does, we might have to... We might not make this as the last one because... You know how events I don't think there game. is. That Gordo had a long life. Items are on, though. So be it. Oh, I almost tried to kill Spoon again. God damn it. They're trying to kill me. That's Sorry. the reason why items are. I, I have the cheeky. I just realized you're Marth. Never see that. They mad at you now. Oh shit. Maybe over here. Hey guys. Hey, hey. You can go with me, Spoon. No. Hey, Spoon, you're alive. Hey, man. Good job, buddy. I'm up here now. You're there. Down here now. You're still there. Quit ah. sleeping, Russ. I'm just gonna live in my little cove thread like the hermit I am. Ah, uh, yep, here's the event. Oh, you do. It's okay, I'll snipe. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! I think I fell. I heard him! Yeah, you got him. Ow! I killed yeah, it because I'm the best. we finished him! Oh, he's on my side now. Have fun with oh. that. Oh, great. Five, my friend. You're dead. That's that's perfect. Alright. <laughs> Ow. Items! Hey, feed me. I'm hungry. No, dude. Stop. 
I bought this with my own Lucario wallet. Ow! Oh, go buy that. Go buy the moon ticket. I need to not be up there. It's dangerous. I'll be down here. This now little time. No, I come help you. I don't know what this is. Eat it. How? Absorb it. I can't do that. I'm not you. I don't do that. Well, we'll eat. Then I'll eat it. Yeah. I threw it on you. Did it like I'm move fuck with green. you? No, I'm just glowy now. I'm gonna keep up being up being you. Know? <laughs> I noticed. Oh, dude, I got this. No, oh, no, oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay. Bonk. Thank you. This level's really kind of weird to play on. It's like I don't want to be up here because like I'll die super early. Oh God! Oh, shit! I'm always gonna make us be sleepy. God damn oh God! It's gonna no. put me. Don't put me to sleep up here. Don't do that. No, it just slows you down. Oh, okay. What was the thing that puts you to sleep? That's like that. Pokemon? Might be. God damn it. Shit! God Fuck. damn it. Okay. We're, what's happening? We're, what? <laughs> what was I that? I guess it's like super guess... close range. I was just right up on him. I guess I dodged just in time. Might have been the angle, because it's like a slanted down area. That's true too. No, I just want to party. Are you Conan O'Brien? I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! Oh, this guy's back too. Has some uh. bees. <laughs> this is not the time, Conan! Jesus Christ. Every day is the time. No! Oh, God. he's. Are you kidding me? You. Are you he's kidding me? Oh, bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was too good. Ow! Oh. Kind of saved me. Bunk. Oh. oh, Jesus. Ow! Oh. Hey, Pokemon. Good Pokemon, go. Well, it's a, this guy. Wormple? I don't even know. Holy shit. Wow. Is he still around? You're done for. Hey, Sorlax! Oh, great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's so, so happy, you know. Oh, food! Nice! Hey, Pokemon. No! <laughs> God damn it, I was eating! I just threw a Pokemon down. He was doomed. I was, you know... Hey, that thing! I'll never get it. Except that one time I got it. <laughs> no, Lucario, please, no! Run away! Hey, Mega Evolve. Lucario. I don't know what this entails. You're just stronger until we beat you up enough. Get out of here. <laughs> there, you're dead. That was really fast. I need that! Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> I was only... Ah, uh, Jesus. I don't get this fucking game. Mash. Well, you gotta think about Smash with items is like Mario Kart. Oh, you nice. Just play to lose. <laughs> then you get really angry later. Yeah. Smash with items off is like Mortal Kombat. Whoa, whoa, we won! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> 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 I've never seen anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Do it again. No, I don't want to ride the death box. <laughs> the death box. It's like I couldn't get off the damn thing. It's like that Ooh, fucking wild ride. Are you? Mars? Man! Alright, oh, here he comes. I think he's doing something right now. Oh god! Here he comes. God damn it. <laughs> I thought he was coming from the right side because he was on there, but nope. Oh. Surprise, you're, surprise you, don't, you don't main Wario. Spoon. Wario. No one wants that. Do you want the waft? <laughs> well, oh, I thought you just killed yourself. No, no, no. Well met. There's so much dashing. You guys are so advanced. Yeah, bees. Skill. He's got a sword. I got a knife. It's like the same thing. Just counter it, Snake. You'll be fine. 
How dare the bees? Too bad they didn't have snake in this version. When he gets hit by the bees, he becomes the pain. No. 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 Fuck. Well. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, that's some straight grade A bullshit right there. Holy shit! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> fucking Conan in the back. <laughs> that, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, start and play one more. Sorry, right, since that was like a weird event match and shit, do you want to do one more? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was amazing. Holy <laughs> shit. God. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. I'm just gonna put it on like... I don't know. Fucking... Uh, yes. God. All right. I'm using my sleep. All right. Have fun. This is it. Okay. Ah, oh, Christ. Ben Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> I love your movies, but I must murder you now. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, you. That rolling bullshit. Good job, Nick. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Lord. No! That's gonna be a problem later. I gotta go to Spoon, don't go on that side. Stay on the left side. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Hi, no, those pancakes on them. What the pancakes? Coming in. Now I'm supercharged. God damn it, cry. I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you throw bees at me? <laughs> yeah, I did. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 I don't understand that thing still. They're bees, they don't have to make sense. No, 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 the, the nebula thing. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Double hell. hammer, Tuck. Bye! <laughs> hey. Mine. Hey, Yintai. Damn it. Bye, Yintai. That is oh shit! I didn't mean to throw that. It's on Snake. Get out of the way from me, buddy! Jesus. Alright. Got Stop him! Oh, fuck. Get out of there, Snake. I saved you. Got him again! Get him, buddy! Oh, uh, there, you're done fuck, I'm wrist! Failed. Sorry, Nicholas Cage's back arms is not long enough. <laughs> what? What did I hit? I, hit I don't know, you slipped, though. Don't! Oh, don't end battle! What the fuck? Why does that pop up? Probably keep starting start, yeah. Well, the start button shouldn't be on the pro controller. <laughs> At all. Uh, you have to talk to your Wii U. <laughs> Wii U start. God damn it, I let out a bomb. Here's the whirlwind thingy. Take it. Skill based. You hurt your buddy. Skill based. You like skills? You not. Nope. God damn it, cry. Skill based. God damn it, cry. You like skill based? What just happened? That uh, was me? Fuck this game. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> skill based. Got him. Oh, God. Take sword. <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. It's all up to you now. Don't worry, I'm Nicholas Cage. This is the final match, man. Come on, fuck it up. 
You're done for. Oh, not again! Oh, wow. Watch out for the van. Oh, it's blown up. Cage looks so intense when he makes those punches. Yeah, he's mecha Nick Cage. Why did I do that? Oh, because the ball form is John Travolta. Come on! Damn it! Come Fucking! Come on! This is why we don't play items. <laughs> <sighs> Nicholas Cage, god damn it! <laughs> god. All right. Do you want to voice Phoenix right with us? Oh god, oh. We, we have to get him set up. Oh, uh, you're right. It would take forever. Yeah. Full oh, five to ten minutes. That was like a good game. Yeah. Good game. I'll get better, eventually. And then maybe another time you could voice Phoenix Wright, but I don't think you're ready, man. I don't think you're ready for the commitment it would take. It takes a lot of commitment to voice Phoenix Wright. I just suck. Also, that. It's okay. Yep. I do too. I suck a lot. I'm, I'm a fucking shithead. So that's cool, man. Yeah, good games, I guess, so far with your stream. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Indeed, have bye. fun with your stream. Bye bye, bye dude. I will. Bye. Toodles. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, hey, bye bye. Alright, so, I'm gonna take a five minute break because that was like an hour and shit and stuff. And then we'll get right back into Phoenix Wright that we played for all of half a minute tonight. Nice. Yeah, and it should work just fine now because I fixed it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, be right back, guys. Hey, we're live. Hey. Oh, hello. Hi. Sorry about that. Um, I, I'm going to just say I spilled water. That worked. I'll let you determine whether or not that was a lie or truth. Whether my charisma is good enough to pass this check or not. You have to roll for it, man. They have to roll for it. They all individually can roll. If all of their dice does not pass 19,000 total, mm -hmm. then I win. Cool. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. But, we're back. This should be good. Everything should be fine. Yeah. Alright. So... Phoenix Wright. Can we... Go off of, um... Can we have a quick recap of what happened last time? If you recall exactly? I don't. Shit. How about you, Snake? Do you remember? Not exactly. Shit. Well, last time... We got a bunch of clues, I remember that. We got a bunch of clues. Edgeworth is the guy that we're going up against. Marshall Lee is... Uh, he was not, he's not a detective. He is not. He's just a normal cop. Yep. Yep. Um... And some other stuff happened. There's a cough up queen. Yeah? That's yep. true. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. This is what happens when we take a week break between these each time. Or two week, I guess. I don't know. Basically this lady here is a suspect of God damn it. It was it was it got pushed away. This lady hears a suspect of murder, and she says that she did do it, but Wright and his sister of the suspect doesn't think she did it, so they're fighting against her saying that she did it herself. Oh, that's just the basic idea of what's been going on in this case, but yeah, that works too. Alright, fuck it. <coughs> well, let's, uh, just, just get to it then. Alright. Um, <coughs> Miss Sky Yu, you remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and Hoi. And that is? 
You're not a defense attorney. Mm. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. Thank you. Good luck to you, too. My first trial without a Fay helping me. No one's gonna bail me out this time. Oh, hey. I'll be all alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be there with you the whole way. Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. Yeah. I am also yeah. going to lower it <clears throat> just a little bit to get rid of that little flashy thing. There we go. That should be better. February 23rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 9. Uh, Snake, you want to be a judge this time? Um. How am I going to do this? I believe the last one is Western. <clears throat> yeah, but now we have the Marshall guy. Oh, shit. Um, Hick. What's the difference? There's a difference. How about... Um... Jackie Chan? But... Unlike Jackie Chan, I do want trouble. Shit. Canadian works. I don't. I don't know how to pull that. I, I, I can just do the judge. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready for a while, Your Honor. Edgeworth. I haven't been in court since Edgeworth's trial. It's been a while now. I hope that personal feelings will not part of the were not part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. <sighs> I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment is to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Well, he's a much more forceful person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. <laughs> However! You will now pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to a crime. A professional witness. Well, call then call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Prosecution calls its first witness, first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The cough up queen. So <clears throat> since you don't have anybody, do you want cough up queen, Snake? Um, I can, I can try it. Yes, all right. Hmm, haven't we seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? tried. Oh, ho! caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. The judge is really wolfing it down. Mm. And for you, I have a fiesta bone. Uh. Thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? And you, sir, did you order the thing to print lunchbox? It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's true, it's so tasty, it hurts! 
I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. Yeah. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Mm. Name! Profession! No. Me? The name is Angel Star, don't you go forgetting it. I find myself right in lunch land these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished cheating. <sighs> Hurry it up! <clears throat> Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. <clears throat> As you know, you usually call the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Um, huh? What exactly does that mean? <clears throat> Two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. He was a first-rate homicide detective. <laughs> what? Starr was a detective? Wow. Mm. Ah, ha, ha! I, I know who you are. Cough up! Cough up, Queen Angel Star, your honor. Long time no see. V very well. Y you may continue with your description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is, or a block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. The C block is close my window. Okay. Chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes. Crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with a knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was the valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Oh, no. We knew that. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, I mean, go ahead. Then give them your words, Miss Stark. Wait, are they talking about me? Well, yeah, actually. Oh dear. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. <laughs> When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. Then, through a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then, she thrust the pointy end of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Hmm, bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. Hmm, <laughs> as you can see, there's no room for doubt. The key to- the key point is of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... the point of the knife, which you saw being stabbed into to Detective Goodman. Don't make a joke about this matter. So how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I- I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Oh, White. Oh, fuck you. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination of the witness. Mm. Also, I'd like to point out, I don't know if we've noticed before, but her hat is a rice cake. 
Yeah, it's too. <laughs> Fucking lame. So one thing she said is uh, in her right hand. Yeah, that's what I noticed. That seemed pretty there important. Any, is there I mean, anything that we have? Do we? Yeah, let's look at the. Uh, is there an autopsy report or like maybe the knife? We do have one, but the knife I think doesn't say has any evidence on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing on there. Autopsy no report. Prints. There's the autopsy report. Male, February. Also blood from chest wound. One was caused by a 12 centimeter knife. A single stab wound was found. Okay. One thing is, she just said she always knew a day like this would come. So why would she know a day like this would come? Yeah, press her on it then. Yeah. Alright. HOLD IT! How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. <laughs> it's true, the lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim, killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Star, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I'm a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well, you may continue, Miss Star. Ah, uh, so she hates prosecutors. So she hmm. probably doesn't like Edgeworth, and she also has a reason to not like this lady. Yeah, she's kind of got a motive to put her behind bars for no reason. Exactly. Uh, no reason to press the delivering lunchbox to her boyfriend, that's pretty obvious. That sense something thing's kind of weird. E. Fuck it. Hold it. You sensed something? So, you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like... How would you say... Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Speaking of a detective's instincts... Wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well... He was like a young cheese. A uh, young cheese? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> a pale white cheese not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. He had mm. rookie eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, am hard, yellow, sharp as a tack. I bet you stink too. <laughs> in any case, there, in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Through a wire fence. Alright, let me look at that map they just so gave That us. definitely means, well, where he got stabbed, she would have to be on the civilian side of that fence. Yeah, then. she was on the B side. So then... Press her for it, maybe she'll say she's on the A side. Maybe, yeah. So... I will press her on that. Hold it! By garish car, you mean. Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. B Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife which with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's, wasn't it? Mm, indeed it was. Oh my gosh. Probably Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you sure it was the defendant? I saw her from no more than 30 feet away. I am certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. 
Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can just always complain. Why would you say that out loud? <sighs> Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. Good one, right? Yeah. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, Rookie. Huh? R rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That's a that, threat. That sounds delicious. I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism? <laughs> I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh, she got picked. Oh, God. A, a photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap, I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. <laughs> of course it is. I suppose that's more exciting than just her hanging it around her neck. Uh, this is my first time seeing this photograph. You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. <sighs> my boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well... This is most certainly the defendant. See, here's the thing though. She could have done it and then just waited until like she came and then she saw that and then she just snapped a picture. Right. Yeah, something's definitely up. Yeah. But... Oh, that is a mistake of Lena Lana Sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? She's holding a knife in her right hand. I want to look at that picture. Yeah, her right hand's under the coat. Or not really like right under it, but... Is that a knife in her hand though? I don't, I don't see know. anything in her hand. But I'm... What's odd to me is if you were to stab someone with your right hand and the majority of the coat's on your right shoulder, wouldn't it fall off? True. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean... How would you fucking stab someone with a coat like that on anyway? And just keeping it there, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna just ask her about this first. Yeah, so press, press it. Hold it. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Is that right, Mr. Eggsworth? Is it, it is your knife after all. Uh, yeah, yes, that's, that's about right. Prosecutors are by nature well versed in the location of a man's vital organs. <laughs> what? Okay. An accusation. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I, I mean, a person. <laughs> and perhaps a chicken salad <gasps> set would have been a better metaphor. So, the defendant was holding a knife. What then? So, also the fact that it was Edgeworth's knife, that, like, she just wants to get all prosecutors, in my opinion, that seems pretty... No, yeah, I get you. It's, like, even more evidence against them. Yeah, I feel like I want to present the picture though, like at that other part where she was holding the knife and stuff. Maybe, like, I'm going through this just as blind as you are at this point. I get you. I don't know. I think we should keep pressing. Maybe press on this last one, then do that. Is there another one after this? Uh, then she point the pointy tip mm. into the chest. No, I think this is the last one before it starts looping. All right. All right, let's press that one then. Then she throws the pointy tip of the knife into him and just pulled it. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm, the defendant's out as a point. <laughs> Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. 
The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I... I see. It's all in the flesh room, Mr. Right? We can make That's it! That's the second time. You said that before. Anything else? Uh, scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless! Sounds pretty fatal to me. But what do we do? Is, is, it, is my sister guilty? Shut up! Fuck! Let's just keep her as cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me is... makes me calmer. Don't smile like that, you creep! I'm not smiling on purpose. Alright, so now it loops. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. Holding a knife in her right hand, and then I want to look at that picture one more time. Do you see a knife there? In the picture? No. Yeah, because I don't see a knife there. But, look at the autopsy. Does it say if the knife was stuck in him? Oh, oh I'm not sure. Uh... A single stab wound was found, but it doesn't say anything. Caused by a 12 centimeter knife. Really? I don't know if that's like a big deal, but yeah, it's what it says in the assessment part of it. Really, really? Yeah, it says 12 centimeter knife. Not 10 shit. centimeter. But even then, I'm, I think that's kind of a trivial detail. I don't know though. Yeah, but. That's not trivial, though. That means that a different knife was used to stab him, not Ezra's <gasps> knife. You're right, actually. So, how do we get back to that part? Uh, Where she said it was it 10 was centimeter. Part of, it was the part of the pressing. Of uh, that. So maybe we can't bring that back up. Yeah, it might actually... That might not be what we need to press at this point. Which, But it's still a thing that we should press at some point. However, yeah, exactly. she, she was holding a knife in her right hands, and we can uh, we can present it to her with the picture she just gave us then, right here. Right, of her not holding it in her hand. Yeah, looks like. so let's do that. Alright. Objection! Uh, we're, we're giving her the photo when she says, uh, I'm holding the knife in her right hand. You got it right, actually. And you witnessed this? You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with the knife. Speedy man, we're doing a voiceover because that's why the fuck not? Fun that way. Yeah. So As I've already said, yes. I swear on my finest salmon swirl lunchbox. That sounds disgusting. It I does know. Sound. Mm, I'm sure that is the t grossest <laughs> shit you got. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Don't <laughs> fucking do it. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. All right. This is a photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Ah, good find, bro. Thank you. Hmm. Um, I think we all know. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection, I guess. Uh, let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? It is you that needs to be more careful, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This is taken after the stabbing. Objection! Objection! How can you tell that? Blood's better. Huh? See the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat? It, it's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's hard to see. It's hard to tell, but uh, this could be blood or jam, I don't know. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem? Except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take this kind of abuse? Uh, you got a better idea? I think we should object, because... <laughs> just sitting there doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, so... Objection. Ob objection! Wait! That contradicts what the witness said in her testimony! Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime! Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Uh... Um... 
That's it? If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo-sized lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. Fuck you. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Scott was cold, calculating. Like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Uh, objection. P premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hand in the photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? <laughs> uh, if it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. I like gloves. Me too. Those gloves do seem to tell a tale of pre premeditation. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. All right, now should we uh, more? The murder, no, dead. Is there anything that says the murder was not planned? <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, it's a possibility. Mm, let me look at the knife. No prints. Mmm. Shit. God damn it. Checking the cell phone again, because I remember it something happened. It did have something. How do you check the message on it, or was there a you message? You spin the, spin the phone, there's a blue button. You hit that, and then you hit the, another blue button. I don't see but the blue button. Thumb the other side of the phone. Oh, that button. But th you can't check it, just saying. Oh, okay. We still we can still press her on the thing we're on right now too. All right. If that, if that gives us more. Let's yeah. Let's press that then. Hold it. What if she was just in a habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves? Objection. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Hmm, <laughs> impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking it was all planned. She can prove this claim. The trial's already over. I've gotta think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Fuck you! Can you! Make it. <laughs> you said that before two times! Anything else? Oh, uh, just hold it. We've heard this. this uh, is the loop. I hate you so much. <laughs> it's only a flesh wound! Fuck, shut up! So, is, we have to have some kind of evidence then, I guess. Yeah. That knife thing, though, is definitely something important. Hmm. Hmm. It's strange that if it was premeditated that she would know that Edgeworth's knife was in his toolbox. True. Well, that would... Why would that not make sense? Oh, yeah, I can understand, too, but... We never actually pressed on lunchbox to her boyfriend. It could give us something yeah, stupid it like might. that. Yeah, so fuck it. Press on that. Hold it. This boyfriend, he's the detective. Not that boyfriend, the security guard. Th th that boyfriend? You have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Get it joined. <laughs> the yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with my lunch thing. <laughs> Note to self, the judge had to think before replying. <laughs> 
the security guard room is in the lot in A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. Wait a fucking second. If she was in there, then how did she get the picture from the other side of the fucking lot? That would be the room of the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchboxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B lot. Though, she was in B block when the witness to crime. Oh, which was... Where she was and took the picture and that's why it has the fence. Oh, damn so, it. So, it kind of checks out. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Through the wire fence, I saw the we chief also... here standing. Okay, what's up? Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking of something else, but I'm wrong. Oh shit, I went through them all again. Like so. Yeah, 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 quick, just give them all quick, 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 quick. There you go, okay. Um, alright, we're gonna look through this shit again. I'm trying to think of the one that would give us the knife, though. Is it Might we be gone now. Exa I'm gonna try to examine the knife again. Examining the blood on it. This must be the victim's blood, right? Yeah, that, that cut himself peeling an apple. Edgeworth doing that We've said anyway. That yeah, we last did a long, time. long while back. Edgeworth in the wild. Yada 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 yada. Any ideas, Nick? Go away. I'm working on it. Okay. We're not trying to read chat, by the way. We don't want anyone to spoil it for us who's actually played the game before. No offense to anybody. It's just we're trying to, uh, you know, do this uh, on our own. If that's okay. Oh yeah, what was the victim's memo found in the car trunk? I forgot One what that six, was. Push to seven five and twelve two. Yeah, what was was that anything yet or no? Uh, I don't think so. I don't even remember we, who gave that to us. We just retrieved from the underground parking lot. Yeah, it was like on the ground or in the trunk, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so it's looking through the fence. And then I'm gonna look at the floor plans. There is a fence. She was in B lot. Uh So she would have been like Right there. Because, like, in the floor plan, just the car that you can actually see that's, like, detailed is the one that had the issue, right? The one on the left side. I think there's only one car on there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the one that's detailed. <sighs> okay. This is fucking a thing, all right. For real. I kind of want to present Edgeworth's knife at the murder was planned, the rubber gloves prove it, but I'm sure that's wrong. We can try it. Could. I mean, we have we have five points to fuck up at. We do, but we don't know how long this this first day could go. That's true. that uh just i guess it might be something later but the parking stubs at 512 then the phone call was at 518 yeah there's no way we can present that right now no nah, i know my biggest thing is the fucking knife thing yeah there's so many things we want to present but right now we can't at least we don't see where we can present it i'm sure chad is flipping balls right now if they play this part Sure. Oh, we're trying not to look at Chari now, guys. We don't want. I'm not to, looking at it at all. <laughs> yeah. 
minimized. Yeah. So I always used to I used to call them things bad and things terrible. Mm -hmm. This electric rescue thing there. All right, so on then through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing there next to the garage guard. That's where we saw the knife part, right? I don't know. You want to press again, just check. Yeah. I don't think we need to read it, but yeah. So garage guard. So yeah, that's when the knife is brought up. Okay. That's terrible. Oh my god. All right. So at that point. Oh shit, I accidentally pressed on the murder took place part. And that's when she was just driving blows, yada yada yada. I gotta go through that part again. Fucking hell. And then you're gonna have to loop again. It's yeah. only a flesh wound, I Nick. I know. Nick! Don't. It's not a flesh, flesh wound. wound! Stop! Dude! Dude! Fuck you, Emma! My glasses are cute, fuck you! I don't know why you wear them. On your head, you don't even wear them. They're forensics. <laughs> Alright. The garish car. We're gonna present the knife. Alright. Oh boy. Objection. Nope. Damn it. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. You're dumb as fuck, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry. They aren't, are they? Nope, not at all. Bluey. Damn it. <laughs> Why can't we just present during that part? Because that would make this game a lot more complex, probably. I guess. Was there no present button during that part of talking? Nope. Okay. It usually, like, gives you a multiple choice when those kind of things happen. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. I'm sorry, everyone, who's very disappointed in our detective skills right now. See, I'm kind of. I really want to present a knife on that murder was planned part because the rubber gloves prove it. But I'm... there's no prints on the knife. How can you prove it? Yeah. Well, the fact that she's wearing gloves and there's a photo of her in the trunk. The evidence is stacked on her, and we're just trying to find contradictions. <laughs> Kind of like that whole Steel Samurai thing of, uh... Someone's in the suit doesn't mean it's necessarily him. Looking at the photo... She is an A. Is that the same car? Nah. See anything wrong with this photo? Not exactly. I noticed that partition to her back, but I don't think that changes anything. Yeah, that's that's in the floor plans anyway. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Anybody says they saw it from there, you'd be like, there's a wall. There's an A and everything. She was in B, and she saw it happening in A. Yes. But so let me get this straight. She she witnessed this murder. She witnessed this person stab Goodman in the chest. Correct. And, and it took her that long to snap a camera, and she did this all without being seen. Apparently so. And for some reason, Lana's yeah, Lana's guy just wants to like give herself up. I don't understand that either. I think she's just like Edgeworth, where she just knows that she, there's no way to actually prove it wrong. Yeah, it's a possibility, I suppose. They're just trying to cover something up. Maybe. Uh... You know what? Hmm? I'm gonna do it, and I'll tell you if it's wrong. Do a, do a safe state and let's say thing for it? Yep. <laughs> Alright. I'm correct. Is wrong? No, I'm correct. 
present the knife at the Seriously? part I told you. Yeah. God damn it. All right. <sighs> present the knife and the murder was planned. Let's do it. Objection. Witness, do you know what this is? This is exactly what we wanted. We were just at the wrong fucking part. Yep. God damn it. Are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That is a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. It's a knife. What's with this case? The bloody murder weapon in a red car. I'll belong to the prosecutor there. The defendant is the chief prosecutor of the district, right? Well, I'll be prosecuted, bad people. The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? Don't you fucking rookie me. Because in your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon. <laughs> this knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon! <laughs> like how it's always dramatic, like they get punched. Yeah. Order! Punched with justice. Order! Don't punch her titties! Great! Now the tide is turning in our favor. Great right, Mr. Rage, you boo boo sisters, cook free! Doo -doo -doo. Mr. Right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. What? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is the lunch lady over there. I've been spotted. <laughs> Got it. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. That is the only thing the prosecution need to prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If she wasn't, why would she have been wearing... I believe I'd like to hear the testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you. My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. That is so anime. R really now? God, she's so anime. I don't really understand how... How what? I don't understand the logic behind the home. Not bringing the murder weapon. Well, it's premeditated. So unless she knew that Edgeworth had a knife in there, how would she have killed him in the first place? But well, why are we automatically ruling out that she didn't, or the possibility of her coming right? in? Well, it's just to make her do another testimony. That's all he was trying to strive for here. I see. Yeah. Lattice guy intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife ag in again and right again. There. Right yeah. there. Right yep. there. Single stab wound. Yep. The victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? So... If I order a pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? Yes. In any case, the defendant may now cross-examine the witness. Well, she also... How the fuck did she know about the whole calling him to the place, anyway? 
So you just want to go ahead and present the I, I autopsy? I do, but I'm kind of curious about... That's why she called the victim. I, I want to know how she knew that, too. So what are you doing? Uh, that's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. Like, how did she know that? Because... Oh. I, that's the first time I've heard of that, right? That's true, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to press on that. Oh, they... Now, that, that has come up before. Has it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I do not remember well, that at all. even in the press, he... Hmm. Either way. You have no proof that Miss Sky called him there. You have no proof that she didn't. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth thoughts? There's no record of a call made to the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's phone. She <laughs> might have written him a letter. Okay, this is bullshit. Come on. You could have tried public phone first, at least. In any case, the victim came to the prosecutioner's office where he was murdered. I'm sure it had a reason to be there. Witness, why do you think the suspect who summoned the victim that day? I also kind of want to question about that, too. Yeah, this is the first time we've heard about this, too. Yeah, so press against the grudge part. Hold it. What kind of grudge? Like the movie? Well, I wouldn't know that. I haven't seen it. Oh, of course you haven't. It's too scary. Rookie. I have a lunchbox here. No, what's inside right now? What's inside? Uh, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a psychic person. See, we agree there's a lunchbox here, but we don't know what's inside. There is no spoon. Oh. A person's life is like a lunchbox with pretzels, don't you agree? No. I, I get it. That's why my lunch is so salty. Oh, shut up, Judge. This judge isn't a very good with metaphors. The suspect had a grudge against Detective Goodman. Will you tell us what your basis for this thing for thinking this? It's simple. And here we go. Yep, here we go. So should we press first or present? That's a we can. Do you want to press first then? Yeah, let's just see what she says when we ask about it. Yeah. Hold it! A human machine. That's a contradiction! <laughs> no objection! Please! Can't you find fault with something with substance, Mr. Wright? Well, yeah, we know. Note to self, Mr. Edgeworth's size smells like citrus fruit. Oh, okay. Um, you say again and again. How many times did she stab him exactly? We often say chop into a thousand pieces, but we don't actually mean one thousand pieces. What difference does it make? Does it make if the deed is done? How come she's getting mad at me? Let's just say she stabbed him several times, several times, and leave it at that. Wink. Leave it at that. This is a murder case, people. Mr. Wright, you should speak up if you have an objection. You know. Miss Stars turned out to be as short-tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. The short wick burns out the fastest. This is a scientific fact. Oh, I wonder. Wouldn't it depend on the size of the candle? I mean, add more wax, and even a really short wick will burn longer. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. Or Google it. Shit. I don't know how to Google. I understand. All right, so you Bing it. present that autopsy. Yep, again and again, we go to the autopsy report and just give it to him. Just give it Bazinga. to him. Bazinga. <sighs> Bazinga. OBJECTION! You say she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that! Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. Four times six. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, twelve? With my moth surprise. Sixty. I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. And what do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. It's in the book. 
<laughs> the autopsy states that the death is due to loss of blood from one stab wound. Well, uh, even he agrees. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Good show, Mr. Edgeworth. Fuck you! What a hunk, he's my hero, really. Fuck you! What about my objection? Has no one noticed? Well, witness. Oh my god. You got the crime scene set, right? Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. Ooh. <laughs> Splattered blood from the victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw, what you thought was blood! Testify! So fucking her, this contradicts her earlier then! God damn it! <sighs> her red muffler looked like blood to me, that's how ghastly the whole scene was. Alright, let's look at the goddamn photo again then. You wearing your muffler in that photo? I don't even see it. Yeah. Let's present the fucking I mean, it's kind of, photo it's then. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty big. So I'm down for that. Present the photo, like without even pressing. We could try to press, but I don't know what how far that would get us. What do you think, Snake? Press or uh present. Let's press first, no harm. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Alright. Her red muffler. Yes, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck. So she can easily be hanged at a moment's notice, I suppose. Christ. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sky was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? But wait. Isn't it odd that you mistook that for spattered blood? Well, people often mistake my beard for a bib. Well, that's understandable. A judge with a bib. That's why this place feels so much like kindergarten sometimes. Actually, I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. However, the autopsy report is clear on this matter. There is only one knife wound. Apparently, Miss Starr isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Mr. Wright, this is our chance! Chance for what, I wonder? Miss Starr has turned out to be a short-tempered out. This is just repeating now. Oh, sure. Is. Yep. Alright, then well, it's all candles. Just a flesh wound! Bing it! And say Bazinga. Bazinga. Yeah! Alright. Well, let so... me look at that picture again, just to make sure, because it was high up on her throat. Yeah, I don't even see- it's not- it's not on her throat whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't see shit on her throat. Yeah, she's not wearing one at all. That shows her whole neck and everything, she's not wearing one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so present it there. Go. Objection. Miss Star, I demand an explanation- OBJECTION! The witness is clearly not suited for detective work. Oh, she's mad. I wonder what's around her throat. Looks like a th octopus? He's one of those hot dog octopuses. Maybe. That actually would make sense. Snake, you're with us, right? Um. I might have clicked past. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. You, okay. you say, just say what. What? Perfect. The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you've proved it yourself with this photograph! Only a true professional could be so clueless. I'm sure you'll make a good lunch lady, have no fear. Hang on a second, Snake, did, did you completely 
not click the right one. Are you on the same thing as us? Yeah, but I was a bit behind, and I thought you had read oh. a bit ahead, so I clicked to catch up. Okay, you're caught up now, though. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Hmm, harsh words, but good. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. Fuck all of you. <laughs> Fuck. He's so good, and you're bad. But, but it was there, a scarf. No, not that, but something red, really. Well, now, when were we? What? Where? When, where? Oh, shit. The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but now back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. Most important part? How'd you think that? And I said it. Well... Um... The part where your sister stabs the victim? This next testimony might just be the moment of truth. Oh my god. Oh, the music just got pumped. Yeah. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her and explained her rights to her and arrested her on the spot. Ah yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Why would she mention her muffler? You're quite determined about the scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. That's me, Angel Star. Angel Star's such a stripper name. <laughs> Cough-up queen, bro. Yeah. I have a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Selling lunches ain't that great. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kind of a snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. No thanks. Note to self, attorney Wright gets bitten by snake. <laughs> the chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rar. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Alright, so here's my question. Hmm? I want to look at... There's a the... lot of questions. Yeah, I want to look at... The map. Like, how'd she get on the other side so quickly? Exactly. That's my biggest thing. Because there's a fucking gate there. There's no way through. Yeah, right? Yeah, so... After... Alright, um... So that would be the second one. I quickly caught her and explained her rights to her and arrested her on the spot. I want to press, press her on that. Hold it! You say, quickly. Were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm, maybe I should press her from- Duh, yeah, yeah press definitely. her. Yeah, definitely. I'd like you to see this, uh, I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just to be safe. The Lunchland car was. Wait, oh. She was a visitor, thought she was parked in B Block. So you witnessed the murder from... here? That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that yeah. correct, Miss Starr? What's up? Yes, that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you? I went over it, of course. What? Amazing! The coffee queen! Lunch lady athlete indeed! It would have taken her a little time to climb over that fence. So she couldn't have gotten my sister that fast. 
Plus, I thought it like came all the way down. Oh no, I guess it is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fence was about nine feet high too. How come Miss Cat didn't get away? I like her to prove her climbing fence ability. <laughs> I'd like to press her on mentioning her muffler. That's fucking weird. Right? It's like, don't arrest me, I have a muffler! <laughs> well then, she mentioned her muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remembered exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky bastard. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. And AutoZone. <laughs> exactly. Just that one word? So, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? You mean, the cell phone? Yeah, she was talking to her sister, right? She was Emma, like, yeah. It would have right. been about the same time. Alright, I'm gonna ask for it. There's no reason not to. By phone, do you mean... This cell phone, discovered at the scene of the crime. Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. No, the court doesn't see Miss Stark. The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car. There was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. And so she used her cell phone? Indeed, the emergency phone was out on the of order that day. Mm, yes. mm, good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should of course add this to your testimony. The things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. You still call the fucking rookie after all the shit we've done. Christ. <sighs> Jacob trying to use the phone on the wall, just use her cell phone. I mean, is there any uh, other reason to that? Lana's cell phone evidence now says the word muffler was overheard during the call made to Emma at 5.18 uh, whatever. Do mm. we have any way to actually remember what the real call message was? I don't think it would help us. It would probably tell us what it was if, if we needed it, you know? Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna see if you can push the button and hear the message now. Just give me a second. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's all like, oh, I gotta hear that message. Yeah, you can, you can, you can. Oh, okay. Alright, let's examine it. Alright. Oh, no. You still can't hear anything. Really? Yeah, it still doesn't do anything. There's no need you to push this again. What's yeah. wrong? You look like you're doing finals. Never mind. It's nothing. Yeah, it won't. It won't do anything. Damn. What the hell? That's dumb. I couldn't press the button earlier, so that's kind of weird that it let us open now. Yeah. Mm, all right. Fine. Be a dick. Fuck it. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's see what the other stuff was. Chief Prosecutor made to escape, but against the Angel Star, resistance is futile. Some of these guys tried to run. I say we just press her again on the cell phone uh, comment we just got. Alright. Read this part though, man! What part? I, I just kept pressing forward through him, so now it's like, I'm sorry, Mrs. Just suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I'm sorry my sister's so suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it! You have to believe me! Oh, shut up. Alright. So, press her on the phone? Yeah. Alright. Hold it. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Ma, I was going to ask the same thing! I'll only say this one more time, so lickin' or listen close, Rookus. Lickin'. Rookus. <laughs> like it. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. How would she know? She can't see from there. 
So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. I think it's common knowledge that it was out of order. Edgeworth even said it. Yeah, but how would they know she picked up the emergency phone? I don't think she would care if she picked up the emergency phone at the point. She's just going to try to get her. I don't know. And during the time you climbed over the chain link fence. Or maybe you're right. I don't know. Then when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this. Mm -hmm. What is it, Mr. Wright? Eh, 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 eh. Alright, so if at that part then, could we present the floor plans again? Yeah, that would or even yeah, I guess that would work. All right, Probably so what you want to do. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall. Uh, phone and on the wall. And just use your cell phone. All yeah. Right, so parking lot floor plans present there. Objection! That's good, we did it! Good job. I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection! The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by my personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor prosecutor? You, who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Oh! Mmm. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Humph. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me and I'll make you cough it all up. Gladly. <clears throat> Let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't have possibly seen Miss Sky making that phone call. Good job. Thank you. Shit. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of the partition. If indeed you were in B Black, you couldn't have seen it. Well. Wow. Oh my god, you're going to have seen it. Order! Order! What is the meaning of this? It's simple, your honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies! Grr. Objection! That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question? Tell us exactly what lie this witness could have told, told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about what she saw. What she saw. Or, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, because that doesn't make sense then otherwise. Mm -hmm. What she saw. She lied about what she saw. In other words, she didn't see Miss Sky using that emergency phone. It does seem hard to imagine how she could have. Very logical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Star? Cat got your lunchbox? That sounds dirty, Mr. Wright. I hate to bother you while celebrating your victory, but why would Miss Star lie like that? Huh? Why would she say that my sister tried to use a phone but failed? Doesn't make any sense. Why lie about something so insignificant? Oh, dang, she's right. I mean, maybe she really did try to use the emergency phone. I see no room for doubt here. You ordered the patooey on rice, right? Mr. Wright, I thought you had something there. Ah, uh, one more try. Hmm, I see it in your eyes. You haven't learned your lesson, have you? Tell us exactly what the lie she told in court. Where she saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that makes a lot more sense than where she did saw it, because she probably saw it then, if she saw anything, from... On a side. Right, yeah. so she's not technically lying, she's just where she saw it from. Yeah, okay, right. yeah, where she saw it then. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be <laughs> pointless for her to lie about it. It's a blunt. Yep. Pointless to lie, I see. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. Objection! A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if I've ever heard one. Objection, though! Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it! 
Let me ask a question of our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimonies we've heard until now points in one direction. The place where Miss Wasser witnessed the crime, here, at the security room. Because right. that's where her boyfriend would be, right? I guess so, that... but the thing is, she has that picture with the... Yeah, but he could have been over there. Like, he could be part of this shit. Because he's, like... Why wouldn't he? We have no evidence to support that. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, her. why would she not be in the security room? Right, but I understand. Because there's no really other, like, other way to get a picture. I mean, like, see the phone from anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, so they've she's already also there. made a point that the security room is a thing in the first place. And that's True. where he, her boyfriend is in the, also the first place, so. All right, let's do it. All right. Take that. Take that! This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room? Indeed, the security room in the parking lot is a well positioned. It's built on the second level. You can see the entire lot. Hmm. She would have been unable to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? Why so min Why are many other places where sh she could have been uh, seen the phone? <laughs> Shit, I can't fucking read. I guess you have another feel. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness, not being part of the prosecutor's office, couldn't park in a block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and 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 the back of the partition is here. If I remember in your testimony, you said you brought a lunch to your. Boyfriend in security guard room, yeah? Well, Miss Star. Mm -hmm. How many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables could be turned. Today a man has got the better of Angel Star. <laughs> better. Order, order, witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You knew you should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Sky? Um, Mr. Wright, doesn't it strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? Could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That means something else, someone else took it then. That truth still stands. Objection, Objection though! It still stands. I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Me? Who else? Her? Miss, Miss Wright, it's not me, they're talking to you. Oh. Right. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said that she saw it from B Block. It must make a vital difference, but what would change? The uh, mm -hmm. angle. Well, of definitely the view not of the, the crime. lighting. Gives a shit about that. Yeah. The view, the distance, of course, also, but the angle of the view, absolutely. How would yeah, she have taken the picture like that then? Yeah. Yeah. So angle to the view of the crime. <laughs> Why, the angle at which she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Um, uh, well, the fucking partition. The security guard station is on the second floor, and, um... She would have sort of a more 3D view of the crime. And this is important why? Um... Mm. Uh, oh, come on! Mm -mm. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider, Mr. Wright, you're <sighs> fucking up. Right, let's review what we Shut know! Shut up, Emma! You're not helping! So okay. it's distance, then, because yeah. it's not lighting. Who gives a shit about lighting? That's... stupid. <sighs> Whatever. Even though- wait, that's like the same distance, though. 
No, she would still have to climb a fence too, though. Hang on, here. I'm gonna check the floor plans really quick. What? Do you really think it changes the lighting? Like, that is that the vital thing? How would she be able to get from the security station down to catch her? Hmm. True. Burst through the window and just tackled her. Burst through the window. And then she cleaned up the glass before the police And put a her. whole new paint Elbow up. Elbow drops her. <laughs> well, I mean, I could do distance, I guess. Just do it. Because I already right. did it. All right. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Objection! Objection. My condolences, Mr. Wright, but this look at the floor plans. It's quite clear. I told the distance you. between the ah uh, shit. Well, why does it change lighting? I don't know. <sighs> this is between the scene of the crime and the guard station is thirty feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Oh wait, wait, objection! What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it took for her to reach the scene of the crime. Okay, all right, you got <sighs> it. I'm dumb. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there? To the scene of the crime, where you arrested Miss Sky. Well, witness, you. Yeah. You ordered the squid wheels, what? Right? <laughs> the quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. I was bringing a PB and J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Boysenberry for the boys and boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass walled station. Comes the elbow drop. And before I knew what was what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. That's a so long I ran a fucking time. marathon. <laughs> Holy I'm, shit! I'm a champion sprinter, don't you know? That's why I had to go through the visitors' parking lot in B Block. That's quite a detour. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. F -f -f five minutes? It's a huge difference. Holy shit! Yeah. Mmm, this changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographic evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. I want to see that spork. You have a point, and a spork is a wonderful invention. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely! God damn it, Judge. Oh. Right, you have to do something. I'm sure we do. I am so sure we do, but exactly what is my question? Well, the parking stuff and, and the, the cell phone are like six minutes apart. Which one? Parking stub ticket and the other thing. The cell phone call are six minutes apart. I don't know if that has anything to do with what. That's true. Hmm. So then, she was just standing there for like five minutes, just next to the car? Yeah, that's what I don't understand, man. So then she took a picture and then launched over the fucking fence? I don't know. This, there's because she was she was in the um, security thing when she saw the crime happen, and she ran to left or left to go. I guess snapped a picture, and then however she gets climbed the fence, then I guess. Yeah. Present the blue badger panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Alright. So... So, the parking stub. Record of the parking stub in the prosecutor's office lot. So that means... This is the parking stub from the guy who died, right? Edgeworth's. Oh, from Edgeworth's car? Yeah, I believe so. So... Wait. Really? As in Edgeworth got there at 512. I think, yeah, received from Miles Edgeworth. So, as soon as Edgeworth got there, he left, and then right and after like one all minute. this happened? Yeah. Holy shit. So it's like, how can... That's so... Know. That's so premeditation. <laughs> that's so fucking... How? And that's so bad for Goodman to be there at the wrong time, so something must be up. Yeah. Man... I know there's something obvious that we can easily use, it's just we have like two, two strikes left. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> Could sit back and observe. No. Maybe it's a trick. It might be a trick, but I don't think it's a trick. I think it's a trick. You think it's a trick? I think it's a trick. Yeah? Yeah. Because, I mean, five minutes is a huge time. It is, but I don't even know what we're trying to object here. Any evidence to stop the fact that, like, she would have been able to take this picture and everything during that time? I believe it. You see someone, like, stabbing somebody and then you run, take and do that run and take the picture. It looks like in that picture she's already stabbed him and stuffed him in the trunk. So you think we should sit back and observe? That's my vote. What do you think, Snake? Three-man team. I'd go for object. Because that's... Five minutes is a very long time. It is, though. Yeah. I think I want to object to, like... It could be a trick, but okay. I really, I don't think... Well, you want to click raise an objection and see what happens after that, then? Might lead us to something else. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Objection. objection. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make a pasta in that amount of time, if you look at it, if you like it al dente. I've got lunch boxes that the past, or that tie past into knots, rookie. <laughs> a five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do for five minutes, Your Honor? Well, um, I guess I'd see the flee the scene. Hey! D don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> You're the murderer, Your Honor! <laughs> but you would have the instincts of a killer. You have the instincts of a killer. You would run. But this time was different. Miss Sky dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> well then, you didn't even have to present any evidence. I know, it's great. She has a grudge against the defendant, and there is a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, is the next witness ready to go? Unfortunately, I appear to have under overestimated this witness account of her professional history. Get it. We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. Th that was too close. I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned! Oh my god... What? Cough of Queen. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me! I prefer not to take the defense's team's leftovers. Uh, anything else to say? I... might be able to save you. 
I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask you, Miss Star. Uh, is this your jumbo lunchbox? Whoa, <laughs> triple decker! God damn it! Out of the defense of the witness's determination, I'll uh, one more goddamn testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch mat, lunch land motto says, you won't be disappointed. But she's gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time. She's like a freaking magician with lunch. Bentos. The fresh lunch. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring this up? You did not. Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. And the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's blood. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. What? What? There was blood found on that shoe. Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. 1995. <laughs> Objection! This witness! What's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. This is totally not, you know, like, infringing on I justice know, or right? whatever it is. Yeah. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. You are obviously a whore. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law, Miss Star. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. That right, Miss Wright? It seems so. That's where the sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Eggsworth. Mm hmm. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, uh. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. <laughs> you could say you could at least study some evidence law. Really? Shut up. The prosecution complaints notwithstanding, it appears that the evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. Well, it seems you have yet another court against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. The victim shows added to the court record. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness for the fourth time. Judge, let me just say that this lady is a bitch. <laughs> Good God. I'm gonna look at this shoe. Look at this shoe. I'm gonna look at that shoe. Oh, I can spin it around. Alright, I'm gonna look at the blood on the side of it. Wait, is this is odd? There's blood here too. This blood, it's my sister's right. Oh shit, that must have a different part of the shoe. I got the other side. Let me skip this real quick. Shit. Thing, there's the underside of it. Yep. Alright, uh, where is it? Where's the blood? It's on where's the left blood? side. Alright. Blood! So my sister's right! It appears so. Lana's right hand was bandaged when I saw her in jail. She must have cut herself at the time of the crime. Poor sis. I know. 
But yeah, the bottom of it too. Yeah, that's gross. Ah! There's play here too! On the sole of the shoe? It's gotta be the victims. She must have stepped on it in a puddle of his own blood. Oh, that blood is horrible. Hmm. This blood might be an important clue. Really? How did he step in blood? And why are there no footprints at the scene of the crime? Yeah. I'm gonna look at the photo again. Yeah, like there's no blood on the ground. Like, you see any blood on the photo on the ground? I don't see any blood on the photo on the ground. I don't remember seeing any blood at the crime scene either. Yeah. I think we would have checked that out. Like, at all? Nothing. It looks all clean. So, uh, let's see. Should have mentioned yada yada yada, and now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did it not bring this up? Let's let's press that on the shoe part for now. So, and now to the matter of the victim's shoe, did not bring this up? Press that. Hold it. And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime. I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe was my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. It carries heads and voodoo dolls. And contraception. Ew. <laughs> and that... Cough up, queen. Happy for you in your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of a crime. Now tell us what you did next. God, she's so bad. Let's see. One, of course, was the victims. I like to press that because fucking there's no blood on the ground. Mm -hmm. Hold it. So, you brought this to the forensics department. If you're going. To submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Makes sense. After all, a man was stabbed here. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman? As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. Mm. Really quick, I want to look at the ID for Goodman. I want to zoom in and check actual ID. Name and ID number written here, Detective Bruce Goodman, and ID just a bunch of numbers. You looking for blood type for some reason? Yeah, I thought there might be a blood type. Letters silly, they yada yada yada, written in language in the first place. True, Detective Bruce Goodman, yabba dabba. Yabba dabba? So, yeah, I remember that part now, yabba dabba. Yadda yadda yadda. Yabba, yabba dabba. Yabba dabba isn't a blood type, right? Not to my knowledge. Alright. Wait, on the back of the card, is there anything? Nah. Not really. Not even a signature. Not even a signature. How could he? How could he? Alright. The thing that stands out to me is that there's blood on her shoe, but there's only traces of the def or the victim's blood on the knife. Yeah, that is also a thing I saw. Yeah, like if you look at the photo, there's literally only blood on her coat. Just the, like a couple dribbles. Oh, and her shoes are black in the photo. But it's, it's the, the victim's shoe. Yeah, it's Goodman's oh, shoe. Oh, oh. Yeah, I thought that too for a second. But her blood is on it, and her blood isn't on the knife. That too. So she must have been cut some other way. Okay. But how? So did... it is possible that she did kill him. Like it, like it legitimately happened, but is in self-defense. But how was the blood on the bottom of the shoe? Maybe he wasn't killed there. Well, no, he would have had to, well, said within an hour, right? Uh, hour, half hour. Something like that, let me check. Within an hour of 4 p.m., I think it's in. 
Uh, it's out within an hour and a half, 4 p.m. Hour and a half at 4 p.m. But the so car only showed up at 5, whatever, 12. But that's, that's the car that had... That would have been Edgeworth's car, so either he was killed there and Edgeworth brought him in unknowingly. Yeah, huh. like he could have been placing his trunk earlier. That doesn't explain what well, well, Why wasn't there blood on... Wait, no, he was in his trunk, right? Yeah. yeah. This is certain. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, then he could have been planted there. Yeah, but... Getting blood on her coat is the biggest question. Could be her own blood, and then they framed her when she opened the trunk. Possibly. And her hand was cut too. Yeah. It could have it could have been cut when she was uh, Angel was getting her. Mm. I think that would have been in a testimony. All right, well, either way, I'm going to press on the uh, Miss Lana Sky's blood. I'm going to press that. This one? Uh, and the other one, and the other was the defendant oh, Miss Lana okay. Sky's blood. There's no reason not to press it. You can't say for sure that the blood belonged to the victim with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie. Huh? Well, speak up. Um, well... Blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was performed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, if you combine all the various blood tests, there's a, there are a million of types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood down a sample down to one person so or so I hear the millions of types if I had a little more time I would have gotten DNA test results but they said there's very little doubt if it could be anyone but Miss Lana Skies hmm so the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe that ties her directly to the death of detective Goodman I was afraid he was going to say that. She proves it. it's false decisive of evidence. You want to press that? Uh, why not? I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. Ew. Ew. You the peppered fish guts, right? No. Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some, like your client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. Right. Do you, or do you have a problem with the shoe? A problem? This is critical. What's wrong with this victim's shoe? There is a problem. Yeah? The blood on the bottom of it. Alright. If I'm not imagining things, I say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a pepper fish gut now, but you couldn't take the heat, could you? I'm not really good with super spicy food. Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is the contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with the evidence. Okay. Underside of the shoe. On the puddly part. I'm putting it like right in the middle of the big puddle part. Sounds good. Take, that. Take it. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. I'm threatening you in court. I don't give a yep. damn. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about the blood at the bottom of a shoe? Uh... The picture, I would assume now, because there's no blood there. You think so? Well, I mean, even you said it. Well, I mean, there's no, like, blood on the ground. Like, but, like, what if he was, like, laid down 
and his like foot was propped like bent and the bottom of the shoe was like on the trunk I'm trying to help you here man you're just like i know i know <laughs> but i was going off the presence like that was her shoe for some reason i don't know why i get you but still there's no blood on the ground whatsoever there's yeah. no blood anywhere in there there's a significant puddle if but like i'm just thinking of like maybe it was in the trunk i get you but i don't know then there would be more than blood on the bottom it would be on the sides it would be yeah pretty much everywhere and it was only one stab wound too yeah so at one point he had to be stabbed and step in his puddle of his own blood yeah just one little stab wound like that wouldn't produce that much blood that fast but this is anime and you know how that is oh yeah right just like i mean if you if you stab a person you're stabbed in the chest right yeah i assume it was to the heart yeah it, it could produce that much blood and probably fairly quickly but but does it get Enough. a puddle effect on the foot like like on the shoe that way you would have to be an actual puddle yeah and you would you would be able to see it in the photo i think yeah all right so give him the crime photo there's an in it all right take it the problem lies in the footprint The footprint. Note that on the bottom of the victim's shoe, it's covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Baha! As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this goddamn shoe! Objection! This picture only shows part of the floor! So there could have been bloody footprints. Objection though, what you just said, bullshit. If there were bloody footprints, they would have been found. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. I was there too, I didn't see shit. No blood, not funny. Order, order, order. Well, witness. What, huh? I, uh. Where you going, Mr. Wright? But. It's true the lack of footprints is a contradiction, but then we have to ask why there was no footprint. Oh. That's true. There was to be a reason there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright. Think! Uh, I... I don't know why it's not there. I'm just gonna find the contradictions. What? Hey. I see. Now I get it. Get what? A witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked for the ver to the very end. But she slipped. There's one vital hint to the truth of her testimony. But what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hand aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rawr. I thought that was a strange thing for a normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask you a very simple question. The oil drum. Was it empty? Oh, that. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness! Well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! Uh -huh. You don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains that would have become evidence against her! That ties things up quite nicely. 
The blood stains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to the murder. Then, after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me. Miss Guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she'd cut herself when she stabbed him? Though my sister's blood's on the shoe, that's when it happened? Well, I see no pro reason to prolong this trial. M Mr. Wright, do something, please! What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it! But... Enough. There's no reason to further debate. The verdict to your honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution side! She could have been lying about the water! This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Uh, oh. What? Little girl, what did you just <gasps> say? Oh. Huh? Me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you are. Saying my sister had evidence by raising bloody footprints. Well... I thought you had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called... Desire. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Witness, don't tell me you have something else. Objection! You've reached your verdict, your honor. Any further con comments will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the Kafa Queen. Look at this. Another one? A photograph? I haven't seen these in ages. I have this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm. I see no room for ever error in this evidence. M Mr. Wright, wait! Look at the asphalt in the photo! Hey! It's clearly white! <laughs> <laughs> Erasing the last trace of doubt in the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I... I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mia. Hey. Hey. Right. Wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. My favorite flower is chocolate. Huh? Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. Like dark chocolate. Love dark chocolate. Me too. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. <laughs> Objection! Objection, motherfuckers. Your Honor, hold the fucking phone. I don't even have a phone. Can't I hand down verdicts in peace anymore? Nope. Whatever is it, can it wait? <laughs> no, it can't. Then it'll be too late. Look at this photograph, the one that was submitted. I'm laughing! This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with the latest piece of evidence? Acha! Yeah! Huh. I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since you've come this far, you should give every claim a fair shake, hmm? Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with this photograph. Okay. The, the muffler! Muffler! 
Muffler! Ah! Uh, why is that got that in that? <laughs> why is that in that? I'm gonna look at everything else first. I know we're gonna do that. But I just wanna look. I know. I get you. Our our car lots usually they have like that beam right there. Like uh, behind it? I don't I don't know. It's a weird thing with I don't know. Japan. I don't know. Japan and America. In America. It's one of those car lots where they like take your car and they put it in an elevator with a bunch of other cars. Uh and it looks like the, the knife car. was left in his chest, by the way. Definitely. Yeah, like that's a knife. You see that? It's yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Then she took off his shoe. Yeah. He should have so much more blood on him, it's not even funny. Yeah. Right. All right. Especially if it, like, spilled and poured everywhere. I guess... the fucking muffler. It's like a geyser. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why she said the muffler in the first place. Exactly. Because they meant this muffler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Get in the yeah. zone. All right. Yeah, out of zone. All right. Take it, please. The problem in this photograph is here. What's that? What was this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, you said muffler. However, I see no trace of muffler or scarf in this kind of this photo from no other. Muffler is a part of a car motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. Idiot. What's this suspicious looking claw sticking out of the car's muffler? So what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection to your statement, please. Sorry, Miss Star. But it's not gonna be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think the piece of cloth and the muffler, muffler is related to the case. Uh, the phone where muffler is said. Correct. Alright, I'm gonna straight up present the phone. Take, Take it. Miss Star, recall your testimony for the court. Whole thing? Uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Garg. Yarg. Shut up, pirate. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Not through to the heart. And not Miss Sky is to blame. Well, it seems we have quite have to have to suspend the proceedings. S suspend. Find myself wondering about the piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? Hmm. I guess so. <sighs> I was close. But we made it. At least for now. The court will adjourn for 30 minute reasons. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry! He ate so many bentos! <laughs> to be continued. Shit. That was a long fucking. That was the two hour court proceeding right there. Yeah. Good lord. I think that's, 
think that's it for me tonight. My voice is pretty strained now. Ah, shit, son. Fair enough. Fair enough, sir. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. Well, thank you. I come from the suburbs. Ah, dude. I think I might do, I don't remember. Shit. My yeah, childhood was a blur. <laughs> I was huffing paint all day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all that's like rubber cement and shit. Don't forget to save seat. I did, of course. Why would I forget something like that? Oh, it'd be monstrous. I know. Ah, oh, boy. Five extra minutes, oh. Cry. You want five extra minutes? How would we do five extra minutes? Nothing would get done in five minutes. That's just one of those kid things. Mom, five more minutes. Oh, I see. Five more minutes, Mom. One of those people. Oh, we like need those more people. Minutes. And oh. then they actually want like 50 more minutes. Yeah, like... Oh, right. We owe them. Yep, when we said we would have a five minute longer stream when we wanted to stop. What? Because we started Did five minutes this? late. Oh. And then we said that we would keep the stream up for five more minutes. But what happens if we wanted to end at 6.30 and it's now 6.36? Well, that's a loophole. That's not fair. <laughs> I don't think that <laughs> one's fair. Well, then, I don't know. Play, like, fucking Happy Wheels. Go for it. <laughs> I don't know if I can play Happy Wheels. Well, I don't want to stream for five minutes longer, but you apparently have made this contract with these people that you have to fulfill. <sighs> Check it it's not anything, but I will go through with it. Yeah, so, you seem like you want to honor it, so just go for it. Dude, I will end the stream at 6.43, my time. Alright, well I'm gonna BRB, because I gotta pee anyway. Alright, man. Hi, Snake. Hey, how's it going? Hey, do you think the muffler might perchance contain some vital clues? I think it's possible. But... Jury's still out. It is indeed still out. Like, cause I was thinking, maybe she put something in the muffler that would help the case in terms of proving it was not Hoy who did it. Also, I totally let that thing cover that. I am so sorry. But I will know who actually subscribed in a minute. Actually, I have no idea who subscribed. There it is, Yamato Dagas. Thank you. It wasn't me. I can tell you that. It was not you. No. No. Do that. Indeed. Do we have four more minutes? Four more minutes. Four more minutes. This is the final four minutes. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 it's the final countdown. <laughs> it's the same fucking little jingle the whole time. Pretty much. Uh. God. Only a flesh wound, you big pussy. We got 10.5 fucking thousand viewers still. What the hell is wrong with tonight? Still? We kept that at 19,000 people. That's a lot. I know. That's the most we've had in a long time. And like, fucking league streams get like 23,000. Yeah. Shit like that. So we're like, we leagueified shit. With a fucking gender bender game. <laughs> Dude, that's our <laughs> calling. We do gender bender games. Uh, well, that's how we I get guess, all the Twitch box. I guess we just have to get in contact with the admins. Be like, hey, we just need to do this one game. Maybe we should call... Not call I'm still not voicing it or having anything to do with it, just saying. Oh, dude, you're missing out, brah. No. It's a great game. Kind of bad, but good. Like, I half listened, and it was terrible. It was so I heard there was, like, good. a template. Or not a template. A placeholder image. Placeholder explosion, yes. $25 game for a placeholder explosion. But it's an early access early $25 game. Gripes. It's totally fine. 
I don't remember who was exactly twenty-five dollars. Let me check. Maybe it was. Right. Maybe it was cheaper. Let's see. I gotta get my facts correct. It was yeah. cheaper. It was twenty-four ninety-nine. What about tax? Steam does charge tax. Don't even lie. Um. Like, like, start buying it again and see how much it was. I okay. I'm trying to help you fill the five minutes. I understand. Uh, let's see here. I got to do the thing where I log in again because it's a bit of an asshole. Give me just a second. Even though I say remember me on this computer, it never does. Uh huh. I want to put this in my inventory for later because I'm obviously buying this again. It's not charging tax. Hmm. It's for freezes. Well, then go look in you. you Dang. I'm pretty you sure there was no tax. I'm pretty sure. I think just your state does the tax. What? Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, no tax. Weird. Yep. Yep. Why is Texas one of tax matics type of tax games? It's taxes. Taxes. Yeah. Didn't you know that? The Lone Star tax. Dude, that's amazing steakhouse. The best. Five minute D and D session. I just go. saw that. All right, Snake, get the DM. Hit it up. Okay. You walk into a bar. Mm hmm. The exits are north and south. I want to look around for a lantern. Roll for it. Yeah, I really wish I had a D20. You roll for me. I know you have a D20. Don't even lie. I have a D20 in a tin somewhere that I don't have with me anymore. It's in like a bag of mine still. It's been five minutes yet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it has been five minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I rolled a 10. Do you find the lantern? You find a lantern with about two minutes worth of fuel. Sweet. Oh shit. I look at I look at Cry Chan, the half elf, and ask him what he thinks of the situation. Well, Ruskoon, I think we might have a bit of a problem with this situation, you see. Because I immediately go south, I don't want to hear this bullshit. <laughs> Ruskoon, no, don't what the <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me, it's dark. All I say is whatever you goo and keep walking. You keep walking, you make it to the south end, or exit. Oh, I found the exit. Fuck this labyrinth. The door is locked. Yet! You are eaten by a group. No! <gasps> no! But I had the lantern! It was not dark! Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Who said the lantern was that well lit? Right. God. It's true, I only had two minutes left anyway. Indeed. Each turn might have taken a minute or two. Something funny is, like I told you, I think I told you, I have the uh, player's manual in my bathroom that I read when I'm taking a poop. Uh -huh. And apparently there's, when you use rope to throw a grappling hook, there's a chance that if we roll badly enough, I guess, it'll hook to the wall, and then after four turns, it'll drop you, whoever's on the rope. Yeah. <laughs> that's impressive. So that's a, that's a thing. Way back when, um, one of my first times DMing, I ran a campaign for a group of friends, and one of them had to use a hook shot in order to scale from one balcony to another. And the player nearly died four times. Jesus. <laughs> like he kept falling and then retrying? Pretty much. I nice. am the worst Batman! <laughs> <laughs> I will get it this time! <laughs> I also, I also heard a D and D story of a guy who would uh, tie ropes to the corpses of like whatever they killed, and then like sling them across the room to find traps, and just reel it back in when they didn't have a trap. Got a guy who had um, this buckler that he would use. He would just slide it across the floor. <laughs> Why? To trigger you gotta, traps. Yeah, you find traps. Huh. They can ruin you. It's kind of smart. And you're trap gullible. You just roll all around. Shit. Can you just have a little volleyball bounce around room? Maybe. 
I want to do that. That's why we have a halfling. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nina. We haven't done D&D in like nine months. Rip. Rip. So you want to call this stream then? Yeah, I'm tired. Alright. How about some parting words of guidance? Garuda Sandstorm. Okay. You snake? Never play a celestial badger, it doesn't end well. Okay. Uh... Never... Take a bento from a crazy lady. Mm-mm. -mm. Especially not squid, pepper squid. Yeah. Guts. Or squid wheels. Yuck. Yuck. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you all for sticking See, around. See you next week, probably. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.